that's not even all the way? How loud is all the way? Very. Okay. Yeah, let's keep this right about here, I want to say. Um, okay, cool. Let's fucking go, dude. You've played this, Marcy? Episode 1, Pilot. Uh, Z, Z, Z. I'm slipping. Hey, don't just lie there. Get up! I don't know what voice I'm doing. Is this a me voice? Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. Watch me, bitch. This is actually me. Okay. Oh, that's how you want to play. Hi- uh, Did I just get karate chopped, my guy? I did. I certainly did. You did play Cthulhu, Cthulhu waifu game? I watched my friend Par play that game. Oh, hi. You're cute. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Ow, ow, ow. Did you just hit me? What? I realized originally I was doing a different voice for myself. Oh, sure, sure. No, I just got here. I just chased off the person who hit you. Bullshit. Really, you should be thanking me. Yeah, no, I'm calling your shit. Alright, well, since she's cute and winked at me, I'll buy it. Just this once. What's with that look on your... Okay. And back to sleep I go. Okay. This bitch is just beating the shit out of me. You better be careful, you might make me cum. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Mommy Milker. Agreed. Of course not, there's no way I'd hit you twice. Actually, you hit me three times. You hit me three times. What was my name again? Good question. My name's, uh... I can't remember it, I'm sorry. Wait, what? I swear, I didn't even hit you that hard. So you did hit me. That's not important. Try to remember. God, if I'm doing voices, I gotta take one headphone off so I can fucking hear myself. Let me move my mic into my voice acting position as well. Here we go. <laughs> if you can't remember anything, we're both going to be in big trouble. Why is that? We can talk about why after. What was your name? It's... Uh... You know what? You're all just gonna be calling me daddy. Dead T. <laughs> and my pronoun is... Oh. Based? My name's Daddy. It's Daddy. I can't remember anything else, though. That's the only important part. Don't worry. We got it all. I should try hitting my accountant sometime. Do you remember where we are? What you're doing here? No, I can't remember a thing. Everything's so foggy because I've been hit in the head three times in the first minute of this game. All right, I can give you a rundown. You're on a reality TV show called Fine Love or Die Trying. Though we just call it Fine Love for the uninformed. What does that mean? I'm the producer. The name's Cat. I love you. I'm in love with you, Cat. Have you considered tying that belt around my neck, Cat? The premise is that you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women, and one of them is your soulmate. I have I haven't even met them yet. How would I know if one of them's my soulmate? It's a reality show, dude. Come on. That's just how it is. Welcome to reality TV. You'll get to know two of the girls over the next six days, over three dates with each of them. Oh, I only get to pick two? What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Then, on the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you at the final ceremony. That seems straightforward enough to me. Not so fast, partner. Okay, Kona. The girl you choose will be given a choice whether or not they accept your proposal. As she says yes, you two will get to fade off into the sunset in a gold-plated yacht on the last day. 
happily ever after forever. Except without the yacht. It's a loner. True. If she says no. Well, we're gonna have to kill you. Wait, what? Killed? You're joking, right? <laughs> now that's the reaction I wanted to see. How do you say a question mark? Really, you look like I just took a shit in your cereal. What's going on? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, where are my manners? The name's Damien. Damien Black. I'm the CEO of Royal Black Media, the biggest network for Battle Royale games on the planet. Battle Royale games? Like, computer games? Yo, this dude runs the Apex games! Fuck yeah! You've been living under a rock, stink-ass armpit? What the fuck is that line? You made me read that? Real people killing each other is in this season. What? <laughs> well, was in this season. I swear, I put in hard and honest work into making top-of-the-line killing shows, and what do I get for it? So we're trying a new kind of killing game, spicing a little romance on top for the people who fart dreams and bake cakes out of rainbows. Give Damien a reach around and tell him to bring back the Spitfire. Dude, I think the Spitfire is going to be ground loot in Season 13. Don't quote me on that, though. That's where you come in. And hey, it's not a bad deal. Yeah, I want to try to fuck Damien. You might find love, or die, whatever. Just put on a good show for me, hmm? God, I have more voices. Excuse me, Mr. Black. <laughs> what is it, one? We're missing one of the aerial cameras for the backfields. Well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot himself. Give him hell, Kit Kat. I, I already forgot what voice I was doing for her. You don't need to tell me twice. Look, I don't know how, this is my voice, dude, I'm getting mixed up. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting out of here. No, dude, it really appears that you're on an airplane. I don't know how you're getting out of here. For starters, I can barely remember my own name, let alone if I already have a partner. Like Zoink Scooby John? <laughs> like Ara Ara? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gun Buddy Scoob? <laughs> if that's what you're worried about, you didn't. And not for lack of trying. How would you know that? Yamete <laughs> Scoob! I'm not, I can't, I can't with you. How would you know that? A good impression have money? <laughs> Thanks, Mako. <laughs> Oh, it's in- I like this Pokemon. Hold on, I want a Chinchino. Cat side. Look, you don't have a choice. Damien will kill you if you try to escape, or if you tell any of the girls about the truth behind the show. The girls don't know? They have no idea that your life is in danger. They just think it's a regular dating show about finding your soulmate called Find Love. If you tell any of them the truth, you won't just get yourself killed, you'll get them killed as well. How could you... I don't make the rules, Daddy. I'm sorry. I just realized that I'm the one voice acting this and will have to be calling myself Daddy for the next few hours in a female voice. Fuck. Really, you're a pretty serious person, Daddy. Most people would be a little happier to hear that they're alone in paradise with five beautiful women. What's there to worry about? Oh, you know, the whole getting executed thing if the girl I ask says no, the little bit with not remembering who the hell I am? I'm my own Daddy. Oh, dude. Nice. How about this? I need my show to be successful and run according to plan. 
and you want your memories back and presumably to leave this show alive. That depends on what the memories are, but yes. If you'll be a good suitor for my show, I'll help you get your memories back. It's really not a bad deal. Most people would kill for a chance like this. I'm gonna add voice acting to the tags, this is fun. <laughs> for the first time, I will pull anxiety out of my tags. I did it. Anxiety is cured. <clears throat> Seriously, all you have to do is get to know five lonely women and ask one out. Yeah, get your dick wet or die. God, if that was the case, I'm fucked. I'll be with you every step of the way off camera. Before you know it, I'm sure you'll be having lots of fun. Who knows? You may even fall in love. You wouldn't be the first. But if you survive the whole show, I promise that I'll tell you everything you want to know. Pinky promise. How does that sound? Uh, I assume that I get fucking murdered and I die if I click that one. I'm not trying to get every ending here, bud. Maybe eventually. <laughs> Sounds like a deal! Let's go. That's the spirit, sugar. It's daddy, actually, but I'll let it slide. Who knows? You might even be thanking me for this one day. We'll see about that. <laughs> Trust me, I'll make sure that this show will be the best time of your life. It'll be so great that everything after will feel like a disappointment. Oh, so it's, it's like having sex on ecstasy. That's a depressing way to look at it. What if I ended up with one of the girls after the show? A little more legally binding than a pinky promise. Yeah, there is murder involved, so I think that maybe some paperwork is in order. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with the show. Follow me. I'll take you to where you'll meet our lovely contestants. All right, so I'm going to pick one right off the bat because I'm a slut. It's going to be the one with the fattest fucking milkies. Cat grabbed me by the hand and pulled me along. Remember, you can't tell anyone the truth about this dating game. No matter what, just smile. Got it? Got it. We stepped out of the bar together. I didn't realize it at first, but it was a bar and a small airplane. How the fuck did you not real- You- Okay, going on. I guess I must have been flown here. We walked until we saw a mansion in the distance. Oh, dude, it's the X-Men school? Wow, it's huge. I can't imagine how expensive this place is. You'd be surprised. Since we're all the way in the some forgotten corner of New Asia, the land comes pretty cheap. There's a New Asia? New Asia? Have you never read the news in the past decade? Memory loss, remember? Okay, so this is a fictional location. Right. Well, I sure hope you haven't forgotten how to talk to girls. <laughs> Babe, I never fucking knew how to. Let's rock. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, what? We're starting already? Not quite. Oh, God. This is like a Team Rocket intro. Uh, what voice did I do for him? I did- To give the world top tier enjoyment! Oh, God. To protect our ass from unemployment. God fucking damn it! This is a Team Rocket reference. To make the world believe in fate and love. There, I'll just do James for three. How about that? We work like- I'll just do James for all of them. We work like slaves for, for the shills above. This- there's so many. There's so many. There are so fucking many voices to do. This sucks. I'm not doing voices for all these guys. I'm sorry. I'll- I'll just mix it up. I can't keep them straight. We're the Brothers Five. I like this- One, two, three, four. I- I can't, I can't, I can't keep five identical voices straight. <laughs> Prepare to fucking get the set ready. I want to start filming yesterday. 
I've, a cat's gone in a lot more valley girl direction as time has gone on. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're not important enough to finish our intros. Whose idea was it to work in the TV industry anyway? <laughs> this wouldn't have happened if we just had decided to be accountants. Wait by the man. Wait by the mansion doors and thank me later. It's showtime, people. Let's get to work. To denounce the evils of truth and love. Okay, we walk to the doors. Hey, Daddy, can you hear me? Cat's voice boomed across the island, though she was nowhere in sight. Cat. The valley girl's hot. What are you liking the valley girl voice that I'm doing? Or are you just talking about cat? Because cat is hot. Cat looks pretty hot. I wasn't kidding when I say when I said I'd be with you every step of the way. As long as you're on this island, I'll be able to see, hear, and even talk to you. Yesterday. Yes. <laughs> just think of me as a cuter and sexier big brother, like a big sister. Ooh, ooh. That doesn't sound nearly as good as you think it does. Hey, how else could we film the show? You really want to meet the love of your life with a camera sticking out of your head? You're a whore for accents and dialects? Oh boy. And sure, it can be both. That's fine. <laughs> good point. Anyway, head on into the mansion already and go meet the girls. I recommend checking out the library, the kitchen, the games room, and the backyard. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. From here on out, the cameras are rolling. Don't be stupid. I'll see you later, sweet cheeks. Cat out. All right, I'm finally here, and there's only one thing left to do. Find the nearest bathroom and beat this shit out of my dick. Anybody home? Oh, hi. My eyes were drawn to a girl wearing a white dress pacing around the lobby. You are not getting picked. You look too young. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, what voice should I do for her? How high? Hold on, I'm gonna mute my mic and test out a voice really quick. Perfect, it's as ridiculous as I was hoping. <laughs> well, didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, it's really you, Daddy. That's me. How did you know my name? It hasn't been that long, has it? It's me, Yui. Yui Fushikawa. We went to the same high school way back. Okay, so if, I, if she's my age, then this is chill, okay? Come again? Sheesh! <laughs> Damn it. I read yeesh is sheesh because my brain is broken. Yeesh, you haven't changed one bit. Always forgetting everything important. I can't go that high, man. I got like a low register. Grr. <laughs> Wait, calm down. I know how it sounds, but I've got amnesia. You don't, ex you don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't lie to your student council president. That's perjury. It's true, really. I wouldn't lie about this. You really can't remember anything? Really, I wouldn't joke about this, I promise. Oh. I can't believe you forgot. On second thought, that may be a good thing. How on earth could it be good to forget everything? You know, moving on from the past is the best way to live, and all that. This girl did something fucked up to me in the past, I can tell. Cockney accent? Dude, what the fuck? I can't... When people from the UK talk, my brain just turns off. I don't know. <laughs> I can't process it as words, typically. Except for Irish people, because they're funny. Is that well? I Ireland's not like the UK, but you know that general. Whatever. Everyone has things from high school they'd rather forget, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not doing this girly laughter. 
Scottish? I I think of Shrek. I I can only hear Shrek in Scottish. I also can't understand half of what Scottish people are fucking saying. Like um like Horizon and Apex. It's just nonsense. She's like, eh, DNA fashion yourself. It's fucking just making up words, man. <laughs> it's good to see you, Daddy. You haven't changed. Daddy never changes. It feels just like when we used to fool around back then. Or fool around like in a family friendly sort of way. Pinky promise. Like family friendly in Alabama? Why is everyone pinky promising in this game, by the way? It's good to see you too, Yui. What brings you out here? I, I'm, what laugh? I, that's a very, send me, you would, you would have to send me a link of what that sounds like and maybe I can impersonate it. Oh, you know, to be honest, dating apps or shows or all, all that really aren't my thing. Why is she here, by the way? Is she in the dating show? Is she, oh god. But I saw that you were. What are you making me say? Uh, besides that, welcome to the mansion. It's ginormous. I'll spare you from embarrassing yourself, asking me, and show you where my room is. Oh, thank God. We're already going up to her room. Oh, wait a second. I haven't cleaned it up yet. <laughs> Damn, bitch. You live like this? She rushed off before I could get in a word. Somehow, I get the sense that this has happened before. I guess I'll see her later. I should get back to exploring the house. Where to next? Mother- Dude, I'm the fucking- The game's room. I'm a gamer. What? Yeah, generic school friend. Oh, she's a gamer! She's cute. And loudly playing on a controller in her pink- Loudly making controller sounds on her phone in her Pink Floyd t-shirt. This- This song's kind of a jam, though. This is cute. Yo. As I walked into the games room, my eyes were drawn to a girl playing on a handheld game device. Oh, what voice is she gonna have? Oh god. Uh, she looked deep in thought as her fingers moved and pressed buttons at lightning speed. Oh, she's a gamer. Uh, uh, oh god. I can't do that many female voices. Uh, um... Whatever. Woo! New high score! Aw, oh, man! It's a shame I can't submit it! Oh, sup, dude! Oh, she's totally gonna have, like, a... Like, a lower... Oh, sup, dude. Yeah, Tara? Tara's such a, like, yeah. Do you know what happened to the internet? What? Ever since I came to this island, I haven't been able to get any signal at all. I'm literally going to die at this rate. Are you okay? Tell my followers they were the best. <laughs> Terminally online gamer anime GF? I'm here for it. What does a person even do in this situation? Are you okay? No worries, daddy. She'll be fine. Oh, hey, cat, what's up? <laughs> we had to turn off all the internet to make sure no spoilers for the show get out. Tara's just a bit overdramatic about it. You'll get used to it. Yeah, it, it, this might be Marcy. I, dude, I, I'm getting lost in all the voices I've had to do so far. Those five dudes threw me through a loop. Not like that. Fuck, hold on. I figured out why my expressions aren't reading. It's because my fucking glasses. Okay. Yo, you tell me I'm being overdramatic when you literally sent us back to the Stone Age. There's a fucking flat screen TV behind you. With games and electricity and other things, but still. I was so excited to stream for everybody when I got here. <laughs> You're a streamer? Fuck, dude. She's a streamer, too. Yes, sir, that I am. I'm mostly a variety game streamer, but I also stream real life, too. Oh, so... 
she she does a bit of camming. We 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 do a bit of a adult content. And I can't now. Maybe you could just record things and post them later. I guess that's what I'll have to do, but that's so last year. Yeah, dude, I, I agree. I hate doing YouTube, too. By the way, what's this whole show about? Wait, what? I honestly have no idea what I got into regarding pretty much everything to do with this show. You didn't even do a little bit of research before you decided to come on here? Hey, don't get in my face about this. From what I heard from Kat, you didn't either. Hey, amnesia and not doing a bit of research are totally different. I forgot to do my due diligence. I can speak English. Due diligence, and you forgot your life. Same deal. It's not the same deal. Anyway, it's a dating show called Fine Love. Kat can explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much what you expect from any generic dating TV show. And my name's Daddy. I'm what Cat calls the suitor. No, Cat calls me daddy too. She will by the end of the playthrough. Huh. So it's like a visual novel dating sim game, except I'm stuck in it rather than getting to play it myself. This is too meta. This is too meta. I guess so. Well, since this is a game, I'm gonna win it. I'm not sure that's the right way to approach dating, but look out world, Tara's coming. And she always wins. Alright, well, she seems fucking stupid, so obviously she's right for me. Tara ran off with the fiery look in her eyes. I've got no idea where she's headed, but who would? I guess there's nothing left to do here. I might as well head on over to... Um, let's go to the backyard. Wow, calling this a backyard is like calling what happened to the Titanic a leak. The field goes fur farther than the eye can see. It's like that, uh, like that, like the meadow from, uh, from Howl's Moving Castle. But with less flowers, obviously. My eyes were quickly drawn to a girl running laps across the field. She's quick. She's getting closer and closer. She's gonna bump into me. Nope. Oh. She slid to a stop in front of me. Fuck. God damn it. Cute kind of... Tomboy is fucking peg me, please. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Allie. It's nice to meet you. Your daddy, right? That's. I don't really care. Care for a jog, though? Uh, gonna pass, sweetheart. <laughs> Actually, I'd rather. All right, let's go. She be zooming. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her at breakneck speed. Ah, I'm not, I'm not. She's so fast. It takes all I have just to keep pace with her. The wind on my face feels nice, though. For some reason, I feel like I've missed this. Actually, I don't think I've ever gone this fast. <laughs> Come on, keep on up. We'll have you in tip-top shape in no time, soldier. All right, she's already a no because she called me soldier. That one's, I'm out. Whatever nice thoughts I had floating in my head were thrown out by my newly assigned drill sergeant. Okay, so this guy just is me. I thought I signed up for a dating show, not a fitness show. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm starting to hit a comfortable pace. Is that all you've got? Ellie was widening the distance between us with a smile on her face. Call me simple, but I started to run as fast as I could. I'm listening to the background music, and I think that they just did a very small reference to, um... Yeah. It's a gourmet race from Kirby. I gained more and more speed and watched as Allie slowly fell behind. Wow, you're running even faster than my dad did when he left. Oh, cool, she has daddy issues. She might actually be back in. Family party? Hell yeah. It's not a family party without daddy. How dare you exclude me? What the? <laughs> I unconsciously slowed down, my face contorted with shock. In just that single moment, she caught up and quickly surpassed me. I'm kidding, jeez, no need to take everything so seriously. There have been some uncomfortable moments, yeah, I... I am... I understand. I don't go to family things. The 
bastard died before he ever, ever got a chance to. Oh, so you're mad at your dad for dying? Or what? I'm confused. Oh, I'm so Don't be- I- What? What? Don't be- I killed him myself. Cool. She might be back in, actually. The look on your face is hilarious. Don't worry so much, Daddy. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Or am I? I felt my heart start to give out less from the running and more from the emotional roller coaster. What is up, Nocturna? Thanks for the raid. How was your stream? You're playing some Dead by Daylight. Well, welcome in. Nocturna's viewers, I am Haunted, I am a demon mage VTuber, and I am playing my first dating sim right now. And, uh, I'm either gonna get my dick wet or die by the end of this, so, who knows. <laughs> Welcome, we're dating now. Congratula Congratulations, you're all my girlfriend. We finished jogging a few minutes later. What's up, bomb? What's up, unicorn? Hello, hello. I'm completely out of breath. That was fun, Daddy. Let's run again sometime. And thank you for the follow as well, Unicorn. Welcome in. I fell to my knees to catch my breath and watched as she walked away effortlessly. Well, you'll have to be faster than that to keep up with me, suitor. Hell yeah, Nocturna. Well, thank you, thank you so much. Not not quite a blood hunt stream today, because uh, we reached the channel points goal for a dating sim, so I'm gonna do this one today. But, you know, blood hunt. Duos is finally out in blood hunt, so I'll be playing more of that soon. I laid on the grass like an obese walrus gasping for air. Is this how I die? I don't think I'll have to be worried about telling Ellie the truth with how hard it is to breathe. I think I'll live, at least for now. I rolled onto my back and relaxed for a moment. After I get up, I'll head on over to... I'm gonna go to the kitchen, your boy's fucking hungry. Getting crapped on as usual? Yeah, I feel that. I I've only literally won one game. I'm not doing all five of these guys' voices again. She's pretty. I like this one. She's pretty. She has very long hair. Uh... These ribs are well done. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Oh, she's... That was her voice. Um, what would she sound like? They were supposed to be medium rare. Remake them all before the hour is up. I knew we should have just worked in accounting. Then I've just the opportunity for you. One, I brought one of the neighboring islands, and I need someone to balance the books. Yeah, she's definitely like... A pushy personality. Nocturna, you should hit me up sometime if we want to play a duos in Blood Hunt. It'd be fun. Please have that finished by nightfall and don't forget about the ribs. Oh, hi, Comfy Ink. Welcome. Welcome back. I take it back. The side dishes are magnificent too. Keep it up, you diligent. Oh, she's bipolar as fuck. Yes! The dish side dishes are magnificent too. Keep it up, you diligent worker, you. You missed me? What do you mean? I've been streaming the same days as I always do. You're in the Discord. Oh shucks, you're too kind, ma'am. I don't get what you're complaining about, bro. Violet's amazing, and she's even volunteering to help us lowly peons. Oh, so this her name's Violet. She's pretty, I like her. Ink's in the Discord. Hold on, I gotta figure out what my dog's chewing on really quick. <laughs> One sec. He was batting around a deck box for Pokemon cards like he's a fucking cat. The soup is simply delightful. Good work, three. Thank you, Violet. Oh gosh, she's a hundred times better than when four bossed us around. 
I couldn't agree more, bro. One, if you insist on taking so long on the meatballs, perhaps we'll use your meatballs instead. Just kidding, though upon further thought, you'd never need them anyway, so perhaps... She's a bitch, I love her. I love you, bitch. She's such an angel. Are we even talking about the same person? Hi there. Pardon me, I didn't see you there. Just one second. I've got to clean up the soup that one set on fire earlier. How is that even possible? Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. Evidently, the same is true if you lack a mind completely. Ah, huh, public education. Just kidding. Hey, that was uncalled for. Actually, we think we think the same. Wait, we think the same about you all the time. Oh, so one's the dumbass. I can confirm that. I can't even remember which one of these five identical dudes I did the James voice for. I wish Mom never had you guys. Apologies for the delay. I'm finished now. I'm Violet. Violet Valentine. I know an adult content creator that goes by that same name. The pleasure is yours, Daddy. It always is, Violet. You already know who I am? I imagine each contestant does. I'm flying all the way out here for a whole week for a blind date. No one could be that unintelligent. You'd be surprised. <laughs> That's who I was thinking about. I do hope you're worthy of being the suitor. You'll find that courting a lady is a different sport than the other girls. It's true, she's one of the two daughters of the Valentine family. We're even richer than royal black media. Alright, three, your pay is cut by 50%. Enjoy your even shittier instant noodles. Is it too late to go back to school? <laughs> I am, how to say, fascinated. I'd like to see what makes you so special. You look rather average to me. Marcy, what am I not thinking of you? I guess you'll be in for a surprise, Violet. I do like a... A deafening explosion blasted through the kitchen. Nice. The spaghetti tonight will be, how to say, a little different. I hope you do not mind. That was super sweet. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty, pretty fucking cute, aren't I? You're not really putting one on the menu, right? Doesn't answer the question. One? Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Looks like they'll be busy in the kitchen for a while. I decided to head on over to the last place to go, the library. I can't read, that's why this place was last on the list. The library was like a library out of a mo movie. Grand. Majestic. Nothing like your average library, which becomes a porn set after closing time. That's the best kind of library. Also, I want this Skarmory. I took a few steps forward and noticed a girl with red hair at the back of the- She wins. Sorry. You said red hair. She wins. She wins! She wins! It's this one. Game over. She won. I'm dating her now. She's my wife. She has the big milkies and the red hair and a choker with a little rose on it. This is my wife. She was reading a magazine, or so it seemed from first glance. If you craned your head a bit to the side, you could see another book hidden behind the magazine. A.B. Testing After the Apocalypse, first edition by D.B. Hey, what are you reading? Oh, this? Just another elementary, I mean, an absolutely fetch truth tea bomb Yes! Oh, I want to kill myself. <laughs> Can you believe that this one celebrity would, like, date another celebrity? She's a dumbass, I love her. I can't even. It's almost like they're people. She's the Valley Girl voice for sure. She's getting this one. Now, no, hold on. The, the, here goes the hierarchy as it stands right now. I haven't finished my conversation with this one, whatever the fuck her name is. But the ranking right now goes this one, Tara, 
Violet, and then the one that I'm pretty sure is going to kill me. I can see what you're actually reading, you know? Oh, so she's faking stupid. Oh gosh, that's so embarrassing. So she doesn't get the Valley Girl voice because she's faking stupid. Why would that be embarrassing? The book you're actually reading sounds a lot more interesting. Where I come from, people make fun of people who do what I do, I guess. To them, a library is just a place to film porn after closing time. Yeah, PCG's fucking rigged. Use better balls than Pokeballs. Oh, you used a great ball and you still fucked up. Maybe you're just a scrub. Get good. I'm Scarlet, by the way. Your daddy, correct? <laughs> to you? Yes. Yes, I am. That's me. It's nice to meet you, Scarlet. It's nice to meet you too, daddy. I'm curious, so what are you actually reading? I thought you'd never ask. Here, let me show... Ah. Scarlet dropped the magazine and book behind, behind it on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. This, this has layers. Ah! She ran away so fast, I didn't even have a chance to say anything more. Alright, alright. Enough messing around. If you're on the show and you're not an underpaid grunt, come to the main entrance of the mansion. I guess that includes me. I should start heading over. That includes you too, Tara. I can see you playing, you know. She's gaming away. You're not the boss of me. What have I got myself into? All right, now, now we have a clear look at this lineup. First, second, third, fourth, Fifth, and this one just gets to peg me when the other ones are away. By the time I got there, Cat and the other girls were surrounding a blackboard covered with scribbles and math equations. And that's why Daddy's the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, you just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like the bullshit math they show on screen in the movie. Ah, you're late to the party, Daddy. But you're just in time for your first- for the first alone time segment. Oh, sweet, I get to fuck? Alone time segment? You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. It's time to pick your first soulmate candidate. One of the two lovely ladies you'll get to spend time with this week. So without further ado, who's it gonna be? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. Think of it more like, well, who do you want to talk to the most right now? More or less, Marcy, that's what I'm gathering. All right, I guess. I'd like to spend today's alone time with... Can I fucking click Scarlet any harder? Scarlet. All right, we'll make it happen. Places, people. Let's have Daddy start in the mansion, and you know where to bring Scarlet. Yes, ma'am. I'm not. Give us a minute to set up the scene, and then go find her. It didn't take long to find Scarlet. She found me first. She had just burst through my door, and I was trying to catch her. And was trying to catch her breath as she slammed it shut behind her. Welcome back, Mako. Daddy, thank God you're okay, oh my God. What's going on, Scarlet? Long story short, I experimented with some of the local- What? Wait, what? Excuse me? Okay. <laughs> Long story short, I experimented with some of the local fauna on the island earlier. There's really nothing like it. It's really incredible, and I messed up my intro with you earlier, and slowed up. I made a new chemical compound that causes amnesia. It's amazing. Wow, that's not something you hear every day. The cool thing is, applying just the right amount to a person can make them forget specific things. Who they are, how to write, anything. The bad thing is... 
Something slammed into the door outside. I almost jumped up from the surprise. Give me brains! And bananas! Applying too much turns people into rabid monkey zombies, hell-bent on eating human brains. This took an immediate left turn. And bananas. Dear God, not the bananas. The door slammed again. It sounded like it was about to be knocked down. We need to get out of here, and fast. Four busted through the door and blocked our only exit. Give me brains and bananas. <laughs> I'll get them out of the way. It'll give you time to run. I've got a better idea. Scarlet blasted Four with a white powder covering his face entirely and killing him of a cocaine overdose immediately. He flailed wildly for a few seconds, then fell to the ground unconscious. Yeah, so I was right. Yeah, the zombie plot was a real, uh... <sighs> real twist. Well, what was that? Uh, let's just say Four's seeing all the bananas he wants now, and we'll leave it at that. Follow me? Yeah, she just threw cocaine in his fucking face. Or the chemical compound she invented, but I'm gonna go with cocaine. For the sake of comedy. We ran outside the mansion as fast as we could. How did this even happen? Oh, I was afraid you'd ask that. I heard from Tara that you lost your memories, and, well, I wanted to see if I could help you get them back. So I, uh, may have experimented on the Brothers Five to see if I could erase their memories and bring them back. I picked the crazy bitch. I, 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 I'm gonna get myself killed. I must have done the numbers wrong. I added way too much and didn't realize their brains were so empty in the first place. Oh, that's fair. In a weird way, that's really sweet, Scarlet. Thanks. Crazy, but still, thanks. I didn't see this coming. I go, I went into this completely blind. That's the whole point. I'll fix this. I'll fix this, I swear. I just need time to make an antidote. Wait, you fucking tried it before making the antidote? You kind of suck at science. <laughs> Luckily, I left my tools and supplies pretty near here. We could stay there till we've got an antidote. Sounds like a plan. Lead the way. Wait, where are the other girls? Do you think they're still inside? They're actually trapped inside the library right now. Oh, shit. Uh, we gotta go back and save them? Um, I don't know how to say this, but you made them into zombies, too. Yep, okay. I actually turned them into zombies, too. <laughs> but they were a little bit much, so I locked them up in the library. <laughs> we're doomed, aren't we? Scarlet and I passed the time talking about the craziness that was going on and coming up with a plan to save everybody. She seemed to be quite frazzled, despite seeming so put together, but I could tell she really did care about the infected. Yeah, this bitch is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh man, fuck. Not enough to prevent this from happening in the first place, but an, what do you mean prevent it from happening? She caused it to happen. I watched her build a machine that she insists can turn them back to normal, but looking at it, I can't help but be a little skeptical. Alright, it's showtime. You really think this will work? You bet, I made it after all. That is not comforting in the slightest. <laughs> Looks like the coast is clear here. We walked to the outside library, undetected, but we definitely weren't alone in here. Alright, it's time to save our friends. Friends is a little bit generous. Brains! <laughs> They're coming right at us. Nothing to worry about. And they're gone. gonna cure them? <laughs> Something told me something was too much. Uh, what the hell? I take my cameras. Oh, I take my eyes off the cameras for one second and there's zombies in the house. We spent the rest of the day administering the <laughs> 
she's gonna bring the cure. So she made the antidote. I'm unclear as to whether she's killing them with a minigun or has managed to make a minigun that shoots the antidote. Not quite the first date you expected, huh? Hell of a dating game for my first one. Yeah. You could say that again. It was definitely a first, though. Kat told me to make a that to make a date exciting, I had to get your heart racing. I think I did a pretty good job at that. I guess that's technically true, but aren't there easier ways? Something tells me this woman is full of more surprises. Yeah, well, she pulled out a minigun in, like, the first couple of hours, so it's bound to only go downhill from here. Like, we just met, dude. I stumbled back to my room and plopped onto my bed. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I shuffled over in a haze. Hey there, Daddy. Sorry to bother you this late. It's alright. What's up, Cap? Don't mind me. Just gonna make myself real comfortable. I get to do- Yes! 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 <laughs> Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. Oh my god, you have no idea how much better your beds are compared to the staff. You'd think the ones actually working here would get treated nicely. I closed the door, then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. I'm guessing you're not coming to my room at night to start a workers' union. I wonder, what would you want me to come to your room for instead? I can think of a few things. You'd think five women would be enough for a person. You're incorrigible, Daddy. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end of the show, I'm heartbroken. Being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it a long-term gig. I'll be checking in with you each night to let you know how you're doing and give you some advice here and there, and then to make you suck the strap. That's nice of you. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Back to the topic. Our audience has really loved your date with Scarlet today. I don't know if I'd call what you two had a date, but you two have become quite the popular ship for our viewers. We did put on quite a show, didn't we? No kidding. There's not a person who watched today's broadcast who doubts that she's your first soulmate candidate. That said, let's sprinkle a little more drama into the mix. Murder the avatars. That's fair. Let them fight. More romance, more love triangles, less zombies. So tomorrow, I want you to find who your other soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date. Oh, I could choose to go on a second date with Scarlet tomorrow? But does that eliminate, like, the option that I can, like, pick a second waifu after that? Because I still want to go the Terra route. But I still want to do another date with Scarlet. This is tough. Um, I'm gonna grab a drink really quick. This, this is doing a number on my voice. I will not be able to talk tomorrow, probably. <laughs> hey, yo, it's actually a kind of close battle royale. A three-way tie. Um, I'm gonna fucking... I, I want to go on a date with Tara tomorrow, so... Nice, Nocturna won that one. Alright, sounds good to me. Really? I would have expected you to want to spend more time with Scarlet right away, especially considering what just happened. Well, I did, but the f f I get that, but at the end of the day, we need ratings, and those are coming from people who want to see love triangles and whatnot, right? That's exactly right. Without those ratings being high every day, they'll axe the show. And your life. I guess that makes sense in a messed up way. I'm impressed at how well you took that. You should see what else I could take. Is this not your f first time on a life or death killing dating show? 
you I can't say that it is. Well, that's pretty much what I need to tell you before tomorrow. It's getting late, and we both got big days tomorrow. How about we call it a night? Sounds good to me. If it's worth anything, I'm sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. I went back to laying on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about Scarlet before I slept. I would too. The sound of waves crashing against the shore. Hey. Great, here we go. <laughs> I can hear a woman's voice call out to me within a dream. You probably can't hear me in there, but... I try to respond, but no words come out. Daddy, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You promised. Promises are unba unbreakable, right? That's what you told me. You promised. But you lied, didn't you? Episode 2, the second one. Ah, uh, what voice did I do for her? I forget. Anyone else wake up with the world's worst headache? Tell me about it. What did we even do yesterday? Honestly, I can't remember. Though I did have a dream that we were being chased by someone. Oh really, and who was that? I promised. <laughs> I think it was Scarlet. What are the odds of that? I think I dreamt the same thing. As did I. She locked us in the library, then shot us to pieces. Now that happened. <laughs> Whoa, that's the same dream I had. What, what, what do you think he made you all dream like that? <laughs> Either way, it was just a dream. <laughs> Yui used a mean glare. It's super effective. Cool. A Pokemon reference. So there definitely are multiple Pokemon references in here because of the Team Rocket thing earlier. And then there was also the Kirby reference in that one song in, like, the backyard. Come on now. There's no point getting upset at someone at what they did in a dream. Hmm. You're right, Violet. And yet... <laughs> I seem to remember you being there too, Daddy. Oh man, how am I going to talk my way out of this one? Some way or another, Scarlet and I managed to convince everybody it was a crazy coincidence. At least I think we did. Violet was skeptical. Naturally, she had every right to be. Everything she dreamed really did happen. Let's hope this wasn't the kind of dream that comes back again. Oh god. Oh, there you are, Daddy. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who's your other soulmate candidate. You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? How could I forget? It's not like I've ever forgotten anything important before except for, well, everything. Save the snark for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. Ow, that stings. It'll be just between your two soulmate candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. Wait, really? So if we get, don't get chosen, what are we supposed to do? They're gonna take you out back and fucking shoot you. Probably. Well, for starters, we're in a tropical paradise. and Think of it as a vacation. Soulmates aren't real anyways, so it's not a big deal. They're not real? Oh boy. Daddy, you might want to pick your second soulmate candidate quick. Wait a minute, Kat. Will we be splitting up the group after today? Nope. Don't worry, you'll still be able to hang out together, and who knows where that will go. I know I'm going gamer girl, duh. I gotta I gotta do a better voice for her though. Uh what would Fuck. It's so hard to come up with like so many different female voices, you know? Like I could do a couple. Well, time good to know my battle plans will still come in handy. Whatever, I'll just do that one, it's easier. I mean, friendship plans. Good to know I still get to see my new friends, yes sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> so without further ado, Daddy, who's the unlucky girl, I'd like to spend some time today with motherfucking Tara, girl. Gotta have, that's, that's my blood hunt duo. I gotta have a gamer GF. <laughs> All right, our work's cut out for us. Give us a minute to set up the scene, and then go find her. As I walk closer and closer to the games room, I can hear people screaming bloody murder. It better be on a fucking screen. I swear to god, if these bitches are both murderers. Help! You're not going anywhere. Take him, I'm too young to die! I rushed inside as fast as I could. What kind of brother would sacrifice his own flesh and blood to survive? Life is tough, Buttercup. No! I'll save you, bro! Bro! It's the heroes that die first, you know. Bro! Where was I? Alright. One down, two to go. Get over here! They were playing a fighting video game. Okay, good. So by saying get over here, I probably hit the mark. <laughs> oh, sup, daddy. Give me a second. I've got to do a bit of pest control. Kill him first. Dang, she's taking th fucking three dudes at once. Kind of hot. Oh, no, she's cute. All right, all right, you lost fair and square. As promised, you guys know what you have to do. The Brothers Five groaned as they each put on some kind of futuristic helmet. Yeah, it's kind of hot, actually. Beating off three dudes at once. You're incredible, Tara. You decimated those guys without breaking a sweat. I do make a living doing this, believe it or not. Though lately, it's been a little boring. Why is that? It's just same old, same old, you know? Though I do have something new in store if you're down. Uh, yeah? <laughs> I'm down for anything. Good. I'm just gonna need you to put on this non-suspicious at all headset. I'm about to get Sword Art Online, aren't I? I'm gonna get fucking isekai'd. I picked up a helmet from behind the couch and placed it on my head. This won't hurt a bit, don't worry. Says anyone right before hurting you. <laughs> Wait, why would it... It was like lightning ran through my head. God damn it, I got fucking isekai Whoa, Daddy, you're here too. Where are we? I want to go home. Oh, stop whining. You're just in a video game. Come on, this isn't the first time you've seen this happen in fiction. Yeah, okay. That kind of thing exists now? It's been around for at least a million years by now. Get with the times. Yeah, I got fucking isekai on my second date, man. This is whack. <laughs> oh, last time I checked, I've never heard of anything like this. Wait. If there's no fucking internet here... No, I'm overthinking this. How are we... Are all the girls sociopaths? Yes. Why? Otherwise, why would the game be so fun? All right, all right, so make, so maybe it was some weird kind of, well, she says weird a few times. Okay, so maybe it was some weird kind of weird device I'd never seen before. Can you blame me for wanting to try messing with it? Wait, there's no way this could be a game. It looks too real. I had to admit, I had my doubts too. Everything looked as if it were really there. Oh, so sh All right, so let me call the shots here. Let me call these plot beats real quick because we're gonna murder all of these guys in VR, and then... But it's actually real life, but then it's actually VR. Just like the last thing was a dream, but wasn't. But actually was, but wasn't. Cool. Hey, if you want proof, just try walking outside this forest. Two took a few cautious steps forward, then some more. He smacked against some kind of invisible wall. There's some kind of invisible wall here. It really is a video game, huh? Actually, that's the wall of the game's room. 
I thought this console would be like a deep dive sort of virtual reality video game too, but it seems like everything we do here is replicated in the real world. This is gonna go so badly. Walk too many steps in a certain way and smack! Doesn't that make this kind of useless? I guess if you're allergic to fun. The sound of an intercom played through the forest. Hey, can you guys hear me? Cat, we can hear you. What's up? You guys need to log out of that game right now. If you're in the game too long, it'll fry your brain. What? How? Why? <laughs> Alright, long story short, it's an experimental, how to say, game console that we had in storage. I literally just got isekai didn't I? No idea how Tara found it, though. This show is always trying to find new ways to kill me, isn't it? How much time do we have? Before it fries your brain? I don't know. Maybe a few minutes, maybe several several hours. But it'll slowly sap your sanity the longer you're there. Just log out already. We don't know how. <laughs> the Brothers 5 and I looked around frantically, but there wasn't any way for us to log out. I am in Sword Art Online. Oh, I don't think you guys can see the logout menu. I think it's an admin-only kind of thing. It, this is literally... God fucking... If you can see it, Tara, then come on, log us out already. She cackled like a B-movie maniac. The B-movie? You like jazz? Something tells me that she didn't have much sanity to sap in the first place. But it'd be such a shame to leave so soon. Let's play a game first. It just so happens that as an admin, I could change all of your avatars at will. Give me tits, give me tits, give me tits, give me tits. Check this out. I looked down to my hands, which had now become tiny little white wings. I looked at my, down at my face. How do you look down at your face? And I have a beak. I became a bird. I am bird. Oh god, what did she do to us? We're pigeons. I'm not screaming. We'll never become accountants now. We're gonna die here. I think I've got a new fetish. Yo, this dude's got a- he's a feathery. Is that what a bird furry is? Do those exist? I don't wanna know. Are they featheries? Cause the reptile ones are scalies. The pigeons five ran around frantically like chickens with their heads cut off. I can't blame them. I looked up to Tara, who seemed like a giant compared to us now. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why I've turned you into birds. I guess you could say that. It's funny, Daddy. Earlier you told me that this whole show is like a dating sim, except that you were in the driving seat. Now the shoe's on the other foot. She cackled again like a wicked witch. Okay, this is... she's fucking crazy. Oh no. Welcome to Pigeon Dating Sim Battle Royale. You'll have to seduce me if you want to get out of here. I'm a bird. With each day that passes, I fear more for humanity's future. And you wanted us to be pigeons for this? I mean, yeah, the ratio of human to pigeon visual novels is totally out of whack, man. I figure we should balance that out. I am trapped in a killer virtual reality game. I am also trapped on a killer dating show. To make matters worse, I am also trapped in the body of a pigeon. Now I need to seduce a woman with my avian charm. You can imagine the kind of stress I am under. Now seduce me! One by one, the Pigeons 5 fired pickup line after pickup line at Terra, but to no avail. Come on, come on, move those wings like you mean it! I tried my hand at a few too, but it was clear they had no effect. I can't imagine that being a pigeon helped with that in any way. Hmm, let's try one more. How about... Oh god. What the fuck? Uh, these suck, but I like the quack one. With my will to live at an all-time low, I... The game went dark. A moment later, we were back in the game's room. What? We're back, thank god. I've got fingers! I can write! I could fill out a balance sheet! Aw, oh, just when it was getting good. Wait, is something burning? The game console had smoke coming out of it. I guess it's toast. What happened? My mind's all foggy. You okay, Tara? I'm gonna take a nap. She jumped on the couch and within seconds was fast asleep. The Brothers 5 and I decided it would be best to never talk about this again. Okay. <laughs> I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. 
Hey there, Daddy. Got a minute? I want to make sure Scarlet. I want to make Scarlet and Terra jealous. It'll be good for ratings. I know, dude. Fucking just get a hit in the head, forehead. Sorry, what? You're no fun. Anyway, she opened the door to my room and walked inside. I followed suit. I've got some good news. I'm all ears. Turns out my strategy worked. We've gotten enough ratings to avoid early canning. Don't get me wrong, people loved it when you and Scarlet were the main ship, but now with Terra as some serious competition, let's just say online threads went from optimistic and united to downright murderous. Well, I'm glad to hear I get to live another day. For now at least, but that'll change quickly if our viewers don't feel like your relationship with both of them are progressing. Cat laughed and then took a seat on my bed. I love when she does that. You know, I'm curious how you're feeling about Scarlet and Terra. Not as good as I'm feeling about you. Between those two, do you have a favorite? Oh god, um, I guess it's a little time for evaluation here. Do I have a preference so far? Honestly, Terra turned me into a bird and that kind of sucks. Uh, Scarlet has a minigun. Makes me wonder what other kinds of toys she has. I think I have a better connection with Scarlet right now. It's amazing how brilliant she is, and I can't ever quite place her. She's fascinating. I had a feeling you'd say that, and you're right to say that. Well, well, we'll see where things go with Scarlet. Something tells me you'll get a chance to hang out with her again tomorrow. Please? Anyway, that's it for today. You gotta stop sitting on my bed without following through. Keep it up, and who knows? You might be the first one to make it out of here. Night, Daddy. Good night, Cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. I see waves crash soundlessly against the shore and dissolve into nothing before they reach my feet. This must be my dream. She's next to me. I can't make out her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. You look like you've seen a ghost, Daddy. You. Somehow, I can't see your face nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. I'm fine, don't worry about it. I hear my own voice speaking as if it were coming through an old cassette. Are you thinking about what's going on out there now? Ten bucks that, that is better than on this side. Or, the better on this side. Jesus. Some of the wording in this is really complicated <laughs> for a dummy like me. Out there, every day is a fight to stay alive, and here at least there's food, shelter, a place to call home, and most importantly, high speed and unlimited internet. I reach for her hand and hold it tight. And people that love you. I know. And I love you too. I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. Same goes for me. Because it's real. It's real life. Okay, so there's a bitch in my head. Where things happen that aren't planned by some producer, where living isn't just following a script. I'd do anything for just a taste of it. We've been over this. I know. I'm just so tired of this. I... What the hell are we doing here, Danny? I felt the same way she did, but there was nothing we could do. Not if we valued our lives. There's no escaping from here alive. We're living another day. But what are we living for? I sighed. You really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed. When she had that look in her eye, I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go alone, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. I guess you'll owe me ten bucks pretty soon. She laughed. You'll be the judge of that. I have no fucking idea what the dream sequence shit is right now. We kicked off our morning with a delicious meal made by Violet. Nice. So tell us more about your dream, Tara. I don't really remember much. I was in a video game and I was getting hit on by a lot of pigeons. Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? What if it was a sign? I'm sorry, what? It was a dream, nothing more. I don't see how... Ellie had a devilish grin on her face. I think it is a sign, Tara. 
It's a sign that you should try making video games. The world needs more pigeon dating sims. You're right. There's no time to waste. Tara ran off. You are an instigator. Oh my, are you sure that was a good idea to spur on her? Of course. Seriously, what's the worst that can happen? I felt a chill run down my spine. Oh? I figure it's about time to talk with Cat about my next date, but I felt a tap on my back. Cat, is that? I turned around and the girl in front of me was as surprised as I was. Cat, no, this is Allie. Ah, sorry, Allie, what's up? She looked to see if anyone else was around before she spoke. Have you noticed anything weird lately? What do you mean? Something about this show gives me the creeps. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all. But after I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Taking a nap in the forest at night? You're braver than most, Allie. Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room, on my bed. And I swear, I don't remember ever walking back. Oh, so they're in like a Groundhog Day scenario is what I gather. Like, it wasn't a dream that they got shot with the fucking minigun. Like, they actually died, and then the next day they came back. Okay. Alright, I'm getting it. We're, we're in a Groundhog Day type deal. Or maybe we're all in VR. And I swear, I don't remember ever walking back. Huh, that sounds pretty crazy if it really happened. You sure you didn't just have a weird dream? Now that you mention it, I tried Scarlet's cooking for fun last night. That was a big mistake. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happen last night? I don't think so. It was just a regular night. I had a conversation with Cat in my room, giggity, but that was it. Damn, five girls to date wasn't enough, huh? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Well, I guess I'll just be staying away from Scarlet's cooking and chalk it up to a weird-ass dream. Thanks for listening, Daddy. It's my pleasure, Allie. See you later. <laughs> later! She ran off just as fast as she'd come initially. Nice. Someone's in a hurry. Hey, Cat, I was looking for you. Afternoon, Daddy. Same here. I wanted to ask, did your guys do anything last night to Allie? Not that I know of. Our staff leaves the cast alone at night. I guess there's nothing to worry about. Cat's been honest with me so far about everything. Very bold to assume. Right? Anyway, more importantly, it's time for phase two. You've done pretty decently with setting up Scarlet and Tara as your soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. The romance? Whatever. Most importantly, every time they're on screen, we get one hell of a ratings boost. From here on out, you'll only be going on dates with either of them. That'll be your best bet to get out of here alive. That sound good to you? You almost make it sound like I have a choice. I'm glad we're on the same page as always, Daddy. But enough with the pleasantries. Who's the unlucky girl today? Ha ha ha. I guess I'd like to spend today with... Uh, I'm just going to keep alternating. I'm going to go with Scarlet here. I want to see some more people get shot with a minigun. Huh, if making zombies doesn't count as a red flag, I'd love to see what your dating handbook looks like. But that's none of my business. It can't be. I think Scarlet's somewhere around the mansion. We'll follow you. I found Scarlet out for a stroll outside the mansion. Exactly where we were just standing. <laughs> she seemed a little down. Hey Scarlet, you doing okay? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, it's just you, Daddy. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's, uh, not your fault. I'm just a bit on edge after the whole zombie date thing? Whatever it was. I guess I'm feeling a little sad about all that. Why? You saved everybody. We wouldn't have needed to save everybody if it wasn't for me. That's objectively true. Hey, at least we don't have banana zombies running around anymore. Without your help, they'd still be running rampant. Still, they wouldn't have been running around in the first place if it wasn't for me. Well, that's true, but hey, it makes for great TV. Which, inadvertently, is pretty good for keeping me alive, but I'll keep quiet on that. 
Besides, you did it because you were trying to help me get my memories back. That means more to me than I can say. I'm sorry I couldn't do it. If it's okay with you, I'll try again, and I'm sure this time, let's not worry about that for now. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. For now, I just want to get to know you a little better, Scarlet. We got interrupted last time, to say the least. <laughs> Care to join me in making up for some lost time? You know, anal. That would be fantastic. There's somewhere I'd like to go, if it's okay with you. Lead the way. You won't regret it. At least, I think you won't. You seem like a pretty bad judge of these things. Should I be worried? Come on, let's go. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along with her. Who could say no to a girl who could turn you into a zombie? That's a valid point. Behold, there's a nightclub in the mansion. There is now, I made it myself. Granted, I use it more as a testing ground than a real nightclub, but the staff really wanted something to blow off steam in. And okay, I cheated a little bit, I made a robot that made the nightclub for me, but it still counts. I think you're probably the first person to ever say something like that. Also, I didn't know you knew how to build robots. That's amazing. Hell yeah, it's cool. Why the fu- Cool. I get the feeling that building things to make people happier was what I enjoyed the most before I came here. What do you mean by that? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Actually, maybe you're the one person who would. Maybe it's worth a shot. Could she be like me? I... there's so much of my life I can't remember for some reason. I couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. There was a lot of broken people after the war in New Asia. Not just broken bones and missing limbs, but shattered minds. People trapped in their own heads. I was told that I had a gift for research, a gift that might help those people be able to reclaim their lives. So I finished school early and I got my PhD. I led a task force dedicating, dedicated to helping the survivors. We helped them forget their most painful, most traumatic memories and move on. It was my life's work, you know, but now I can't remember what it was, how it worked, if we even got anywhere with our research. To be completely honest, I can't really remember how I got here either. I'm sorry to ask, but how on earth did that happen? If I knew before, I definitely don't know now. Maybe testing got dangerous and I wasn't willing to test on someone else. Maybe I, I don't know. I don't know. The crazy thing is, I went from that to being on some kind of dating show. What the hell? I guess it does sound pretty weird. And the idea of getting married in one week? Who wrote this? An idiot? I couldn't help but laugh. Haha. -ha. <laughs> but what do I even have to lose at this point? I wouldn't look at it that way. I can't remember anything either, but I'm alive. As long as I'm alive, I've got everything to lose and everything to gain. An optimist, huh? That's worth something. I guess you'd understand better than anyone. What do you plan to do after this is all over? Honestly, I don't know. I want my memories back, but if I can't get them back, I just try to make the best of things. That's some plan. I'm still working the details out, give me a break. At least, at least you remember some things, I couldn't even remember my name at first. You got me beat there. We talked for hours about how we both felt about our situations. The good things, the bad things, about forgetting who you are. We laughed about forgetting the embarrassing moments that probably plagued others for a lifetime. We lamented the moments that truly made life worth living. The moments that made your life unique. It's nice to have someone that understands. You know, I've got a silly idea if you're interested. Let's hear it. Getting engaged in a week is stupid, and a person who'd agree to that is even stupider than that. But I, I think I'd say yes if it were you, Daddy, if only to see where life goes with someone like you. That's... Shh, 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 let me finish. Regardless of who you ask on the last day, I'd like to be your friend in the times to come. If you'll be mine. I can't remember the last time I had a friend to just talk to about how I feel. I think this was the first time that I felt a little better about what happened. 
I'd want you to feel, feel better about the past, too. I don't want you to feel alone in this world. It's sad enough, you know. And maybe I'm just being foolish, but who knows? Maybe if we're still in each other's lives after all this, we'll be able to help each other take back the lives we wanted. What do you say? I was thinking the same thing, Scarlet. I'm glad, but um, how to say... I'd still prefer it if you pick me. What can I say? I'm a bit competitive. On second thought, I'm very competitive. Just saying, but out of all the girls, I'm the best educated, had the most illustrious career, won first place in the National New Asian Science Exhibition, and... I laughed out loud as she listed her accomplishments one by one. She made angry faces at me in mock anger. But most of all, I want you to have a happy life, and I think someone else might get it wrong. We spent the rest of the evening enjoying each other's company and being manipulated by her, <laughs> evidently. The laughter and smiles never stopped, and she never let go of my hand during our walk. I was about to turn in for the night when I heard a knock on my door. Hey, cat. I thought you weren't going to come over tonight. Sorry about that. I got tied up in some things. Is everything okay? Good as always. Care to join me for a walk? Sure, that sounds nice. Then away we go. We walked at a relaxed pace, with Cat slightly ahead leading the way. So how are you feeling about day three, Daddy? You still feeling Scarlet? Uh, so far... <clears throat> Scarlet is still the girl I like the most. If anything, getting to meet and know the other girls made me like her even more. She's full of surprises, but more importantly, I'm the happiest when I'm with her. That said, so far hanging out with her has been more than a little dangerous, but I like that. Ah, that's cute. Also, a perfect answer for the cameras. Thank you very much. I guess you'll be giving Scarlet's fanbase some more things to go rabbit over soon, hmm? You can say that again. Perfect. Well, I'm happy that you've at least got one girl you're really interested in, but it helps that you've got chemistry with both. Tomorrow, you'll be going on a date with your other soulmate candidate instead. Let's milk this love triangle for all it's worth. Sound good to you? I'm noticing a pattern and making it sound like I have a choice when I really don't. <laughs> None of us really have a choice nowadays, I'm afraid. Alright, I gotta get back to editing today's footage. You ready to head back to the mansion? Sounds good to me. We walk back in a comfortable silence. Night. See you later, cat. Here we go with the dream shit again. If we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We know the island better than anyone by now, Daddy. We'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Damien's brought in a scientist for his latest experiment. All I've heard is that she's the one who built the prototype. The one Damien used to turn six into a vegetable. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Not to mention the old test audiences, too. Shit. I think they must have killed at least a hundred people by now, and they still haven't perfected it. If we get caught... I get what you're trying to say. Are you still with me on this? It's not too late. You didn't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. Who are you? Somehow I know you're close by. But every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. Like that. Episode 4, second season, go. The next day I woke up to the sound of an explosion outside. I ran outside as fast as I could. What the f- The first thing I saw was Scarlet and black smoke emanating from the ground near her. Completely unsurprised. Oh hey there daddy, nice weather we're having huh? Hey Scarlet, you okay? I'm pretty good all things considered. I've been experimenting again on trying to bring back people's memories without the whole monkey zombie bit. I figure if you and I ever, well, you know, I'd want us to know everything about each other. No secrets. I'd like that, Scarlet. Thanks. I'll let you know if I make any progress with that. Ugh, I gotta clean this up. Give me a minute and then we can head to the forest. I've been meaning to spend some time there since I got to this island. Sounds good by me. I thought I was supposed to be hanging out with the other girl. 
Also, why does the real forest look exactly like the VR forest? It's the same set. We walked together through the forest hand in hand. Talking about things we'd do after we got off this island. Talking about everything and anything. After we're off this island, whatever happens, do you maybe want to catch a movie together? Sure, but why a movie? You can laugh, but there's a part of me that just wants to be a regular girl for a day. It's something I could never forget. And I'd like it if I could be that way. With you. What do you say? I'd like that. Yay! Scarlet did a little dance of happiness. We spent the rest of the morning together in the woods, enjoying each other's company, and maybe even a little more than that. Oh, nice! We was fucking in the woods! Somehow, in the middle of it all, I forgot what kind of show I was on in the first place. It was just me and her. In this moment, more than ever, I was glad to be alive. Nice, so we were fucking on camera. Ugh, oh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud. My head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she just did that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly you're still alive, Daddy, so it's all good. Believe me, you'd drink too if you worked here. Just look at the Brothers Five. Working at Futuristic Evil Core TM has, has to come with some benefits, right? You'd think, but we still have to pay for dental out of pocket. Before I forget what this show is all about, Today's the day you go on a date with... Who was your other soulmate candidate again? Oh, I thought I could just fucking lie to her and just pick another one, because I totally would. How much did you drink last night, Kat? Whatever, I knew that. Just testing you, duh. Right. Alright, let's get this second date with Tara started. Woo! Whoa. Someone tell the world to stop spinning like a little bitch. I'm pretty much fucked, huh? Is it bad that I really want to date Cat? I knocked on the door to the games room. Hey daddy, what's up? I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I'm working on then. Tara handed me your game device. Not all the art's ready yet, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. It's a farming game. What do you mean done soon? You started yesterday. <laughs> I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, well, finding out it was already done. That's really a shame for the whole world, really. But in this game, you get to live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and decimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death machine. And there's a million possible weapon combinations, and- okay, that's actually bussin'. Sounds cool as fuck. It sounds cool, I'd love to play it. I'm curious, how come you decided to make a farming game? Uh, good question. They've just got a special place in my heart. It's almost like your name's Tara. Like, nice. I used to play with these morning and night till every, morning to night every day. You can probably tell I'm not really a go out and party kind of person. To be honest, I don't really know enough people to go to parties anyway, but whatever. Sometimes it's more fun to just do your own thing. True. Sometimes it could just be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you enjoy. That's how I feel about it. Enough talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. Alright, here we go. The title screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. Fuck you. Fuck off. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of his life in the mecha core and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. I was a pretty good one at that. Every season I'd learn to plant, water, and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. Her face was so close to mine, she'd watch ev my every move with a pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. The mecha parts of the game felt incredible. You could even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There was just one thing that was a bit weird. First, wow, what you've done- what you have so far is incredible, Tara. You think so? 
Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Danny. That's really nice of you to say. There's just one thing I think was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. I knew you'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's really like. And to be honest, I've never really had a real friend either. If it's not too much to ask, her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends? I'd be honored to be your friend. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. Sorry, what? Anyway, watching you play gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. We both suggest ideas she'd implement it, and we'd test it together and repeat. It just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her, and in awe of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on our game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. That was it? I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. Oh, hey, Daddy. I was just about to go up to check on you. Hey there, cat. What's up? Uh, there were some fancy desserts here from last week, but I can't find them anymore. Guess I'll take that out of the Brothers Five's paychecks. How do you know it was them? They're like clockwork. And then there's Allie eating it. Allie looked like a deer in the headlights on the other end of the kitchen. Cat hadn't seen her yet. She made direct eye contact with me, then hightailed it out. I, I'm, no, I'm not a fucking snitch, dude. I'm not telling. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd your date with Tara go today? Ah, it was pretty fun. I think that was fun. That was cute. It was great, I have to admit. Tara's very different from my initial per impression of her. I feel like I'm seeing the real her now, and I like that. I like the sound of that. Who would have thought you'd say something like this after your rather unique first date, huh? Life sure has a sense of humor. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day thanks to the ongoing rivalry between Scarlet and Tara. The stakes are rising and so are our precious ratings, so without further ado, it's time for phase three. You've only got one date left with each of them before the final day. So make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. Will do. All right, good. Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. And you better rest up for tomorrow. You only get one first third date with a girl, right? Sounds good to me, Kent. See you later, Daddy. Are you being seduced? Only if you want to be. <laughs> good night, Kent. And thanks for the help. I realized I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut-eye. Oh, it's time for this dream sequence bullshit again. Alright, we're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. I want a Drake ult, actually. Hold on. I told you the staff wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's been stupid enough to try to escape till now. Maybe people should have been a little more stupid a little sooner. Easier said than done. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest, come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. The truth was not far from it. Okay, I can see the pier now in the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She always put on her bravest face when she was afraid. We're gonna make it, right? Of course, the boat's just a little further and no one's on our tail. I can't believe it, we're finally getting out of here. We're finally, we're finally gonna leave, Daddy. About time, if you ask me. I've dreamt of this moment every day since who knows how long we've been trapped in here by now. But I never thought I could escape till I got to know you. I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. It was your idea. You find any other sane person and they would have told you the same things. Sane people didn't try to escape with me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if it weren't for you though. She laughed. That was my favorite sound. Let's get back to the matters at hand. We both know that this is where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. Now it's time just... Er, now it's just a mad dash to the finish. You ready to run? No. 
I'm kidding, let's go. That favorite sound of mine once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. Episode 5, The Third Time's the Charm. This is such a good little background music in the game room. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing out Tara's game together. It was multiplayer now, so we could all play together in the same world. This came with its own fair share of consequences. I said cover me, or you'll have to finish making dinner yourself. I'm trying, I'm trying. There's just too many mutant vegetables attacking. Yui, I need you to cover me. Where are you? I'm sorry. It's the mayor's birthday, and I can't decide which berry to give him. It can wait. But then I won't get bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need any violet? We have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it! I, I, I'm getting lost in all these fucking girl voices. Well, the game's definitely gotten more exciting. I wanted for them to test the relationships, but maybe that'll have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see next time. Yeah, next time. I can't wait. We spent the rest of the morning playing Tara's game. Morning, Daddy. Time sure flies, huh? This show's almost over, and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. I somehow doubt that. That seems like... Cap. Like, to the highest degree. <laughs> no idea if that's gonna have any less headaches, though. Who knows? As strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I did mention that other people would kill to be in your position. On second thought, they definitely haven't thought it through, though. Probably not. <laughs> well, back to business. It's time to pick up who you'll go on your first, third date with. Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate today? Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to do them twice in a row ever, so I guess Scarlet this time. Scarlet? Can't say I'm surprised there. You're two birds of a feather. Here's to hoping you both have a day you'll both remember for a change. It's funnier when you're not an amnesiac. Fuck you. That's ableist. <laughs> I found Scarlet in the same place I met her. She was engrossed in a book with a pile of books next to her. They looked worn, as if they'd been read over and over through the years. Hey there, Scarlet. What you reading? Hi, Daddy. Just an old fairy tale. Really? I'm surprised you'd read something like that that would throw science out the window. I'm a woman of varied tastes. I quite like these stories, especially this one. Which one are you reading? It's called The Princess of Avaranda. Really, it's silly. I doubt you'd be interested. Try me. I smiled at her. She smiled back at me in kind. Okay, I don't see why not. Oh, damn, I like this shot. There's a young girl, Nira, who was the princess of the kingdom of Avaranda, which was far, far away from civilization. Unlike other princesses before her, she had no time for politicking or parties. She spent all her time building all sorts of gadgets for her family and friends. Like a robot dog that would eat the vegetables they didn't want to eat. Oh, I gotta try my hand at that sometime. Scarlet giggled like a child. And Nira has a blissfully happy childhood. She even falls in love with a commoner named Aloria. Though her kingdom would never approve of their relationship, Nira and Aloria would never fail to see each other in secret, every night by the crooked trees in the western forests. But those days don't last. One day, her mother, the queen, is taken by a witch, never to be seen again and Nira is forced to become queen at the age of 16. In her mother's absence, Nira does her best to lead the kingdom, and for years it prospers. She's like no leader they've ever had before. But secretly, she wants to leave. As queen, she has no more time for the things or people that she loved with all her heart. She cries every night alone. But she knows she can't. Too much responsibility falls on her. Then one day, Nira's cursed by the same witch that took her mother, and forgets everything. Her name, her family, her kingdom. Everything, except for Aloria and the desire to leave. And so she leaves, and no one in the village ever sees her again. I won't bore you with the rest of the story, but thanks for listening until now. Oh, come on, believe me, Scarlet, I want to hear this to the end. Especially because you like it so much. 
I looked deep into her eyes and I could tell just how much she loved this story. Well, there's not really much left, but... Well, Nira and Aloria live a wonderful life in a neighboring kingdom for many years. But one day, she remembers everything and rushes home, worrying for her people. When she gets there, she sees her people have been ruled by the very same witch that took her memory, and that her people who no longer prosper, or sorry, that her people no longer prosper the way they did under her rule. In anger, Nira confronts the witch on the border of Everanda. The witch takes off her cowl, re revealing herself to be Nira's mother, the Lost Queen. Nira's mother gives her an ultimatum. She can return to ruling the kingdom, but she can never leave again. Or she can leave now, and never come back. And that's where the story ends. You never get to know what choice Nira makes. That's quite the cliffhanger. I want to know what happens next. Believe me, me too. I'm curious, what would you do in Nira's shoes? Um, fucking avoid responsibility, goodbye. I think I'd leave and never come back, because that shit sounds fucking wild. Interesting, why is that? There's no point in living without love, even if it was better for the kingdom for Nira to stay. It would guarantee her love could never be realized. And that's just too sad. I think the same way. I've loved this story ever since I lost my memories. I'm sure I don't have a kingdom or anything, but sometimes you wonder, you know? Yeah, I get the same feeling, too. That's just life, you know? You have to keep moving forward. Yeah, you're right. You're right! <laughs> I'm really happier than what I get to move forward with, Daddy. Me too, Scarlet. There's no one else I'd rather be with right here, right now. And speaking of right now, there's somewhere I want to bring you. Where's that? I'll give you a hint. I've been thinking about this place ever since you mentioned that you love fairy tales. Oh my gosh, there's turtles down here! Turtles! She was practically dancing around the room, taking in all the sights. It was impossible not to smile. I figured the ocean palace might be just your thing. Scarlet practically jumped onto me and squeezed the life out of me in a deathly bear hug. This is wonderful, Daddy. Thank you so much. You've made everything so special in ways I honestly couldn't believe, but you did it. And this is just the beginning, Scarlet. We're in this together. I held Scarlet and kissed her on the lips. It was like an explosion of passion had set me on fire, and she kissed me back and wrapped her arms around me. Always. We spent the rest of the night enjoying a lovely dinner in a place straight out of a fairy tale with nothing but love in our hearts and laughter and smiles on our faces. I can't wait to leave this island with you, Daddy. I've never been this excited, this happy, since ever. You make me feel like I'm living in a fairy tale. You know, I've got an idea of how we could spend tonight if you're interested. And what's that? I'll show you why fairy tales were written by adults. And then she proceeded to suck the dick clean off of my fucking body. <sighs> After today's date with Scarlet, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. The night was clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I'd need to put on more. I found myself fixating on the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why's that? Just a gut feeling, and the island-wide surveillance system. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? You've only got the last third date with Tara tomorrow, and then the final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how was your date with Scarlet today? It was pretty dope. Got my fucking dick wet. It was the best. My connection with Scarlet's one of a kind, and there's no one I'd rather... Bleh, no one I'd rather be beside me than her. Being married to her would be like a dream come true. Well, aren't you romantic, Daddy? But I'm happy to hear that. If it's you two, I'm sure that's whatever... I'm sure that whatever you two face out there, you'll be fine, as long as you stick together. And if she stops turning people into zombies... Yeah, that's a conversation we have to have. 
Don't forget that in the prenup. Who knew that three dates were all you needed to figure out a marriage would last? If this TV gig doesn't work out, maybe I should become a marriage counselor. Hmm. Anyway, I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got to get some work done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company, and it's not like you were up to anything. Cat reached her hand out to me. I put my hand in hers on instinct. With her hand in mine, I pulled her, she pulled me with her to... The library? Now you're probably wondering, why did I bring you here of all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons, so here's what we, where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show, building and security details, guard schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight as regular books. You need to know how to decipher them though, they're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting, and also a little unnecessary. Who here is going to read a book? Oh, I knew the state of education was bad, but not this bad. It still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement to have to fetch each book I need to reference. Oops, I don't know why that didn't click. So, you want me to grab your books for you so you can just stay here. I'm so glad you understand. And you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive, and it's just a teeny tiny favor. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. Sure, Cat, it's the least I can do. Great, alright. To start, I need you to grab me the Princess of Avaranda, 100 Easy Recipes for a Philosopher's Stone, and... I regret everything. This must be the 100th batch of books I've had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed this system should be shot. I tried to read a few of the books I was delivering, but like Kat said, they seem like regular books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Daddy. I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something. Probably gonna be or something because I anticipate fucking dying. <laughs> at this rate, at that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it as more as unpaid charity work. You've got one last day tomorrow. Don't mess it up. I'm curious, what's the first thing you're gonna do when you're out of here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure out what my life was before, who knows? That's as good a start as any. Well, I gotta get back to editing. Night, Daddy. See ya, Cat. Guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. <laughs> Time for another freaky ass dream. Also, just in case, I should really fucking save at some point. I have not saved at all, so. The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship, wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there's no time to fix it. That, that's it then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too, Danny. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. Episode 6, Courting Call. I woke up with Scarlet in my arms. Fuck yeah! After talking with Kat last night, I asked Scarlet to join me for one more midnight walk. We ended up talking for hours. Morning, Scarlet. Oh, you're awake. Hi there, Daddy. She was clearly half asleep. I want to invent something that puts this moment into a bottle forever. Then I'd propose a factory, mass produce it. Yeah, you sappy bitch. She dozed off as she embraced me in her arms and held me tight. We must have stayed there together for over an hour, but I wish it didn't pass by so fast. I'm so happy, you know? Why's that? No matter how this show ends, we won't be alone. What more could I ask for? 
I was terrified before, but now I know everything will be all right. Couldn't say it better myself, Scarlet. Anyway, Kat wants you to go on a date with someone else by now, right? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've got an invention to deal with them later. I know I've seen the minigun. Sorry, what was that? Oh, nothing. See you later, Daddy. Oh, this bitch is gonna kill people. <laughs> well, look who crawled out of an economy class airplane toilet. And good morning to you too, Damien. Daddy, don't mind Ray, er, don't mind him. Okay. Something just slipped. He's your what? Damien was just telling me the news. Your ratings are doing really well so far. At this rate, I really think you'll make it out of here. That's great news. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Just because you've done well till now doesn't mean you won't jump the shark today. Why are your teeth so sharp? Your ratings today need to be higher than they've ever been, or you'll get axed. Axed what? Axed literally, if I'm around when your number's up. I guess we'll find out that out together, won't we? Later. Sorry about him. He can be a little mean sometimes. A murder threat is a little mean? Anyway. You ready for your last date with Tara? It's just this last date, then tomorrow, it'll be the final ceremony. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Or this might supposed to be my voice. Fantastic, then we'll start filming right away. Good luck, Daddy. You'll need it. Thanks, Cat. I owe you one. It's time for my last date with Tara. Pog. I found Tara sleeping on the sofa in the games room. She looks so peaceful. Maybe I'll come back later. Zombies everywhere! Ah! She bolted up suddenly. Fucking... You good? You okay, Tara? Whew, it was just a dream. I'm good now, no worries. It seems like it was a pretty crazy dream. No kidding! I dreamed that we all got turned into zombies. No, that happened. Luckily, there's no way that could ever happen. Kappa. Did you go to bed late? Hell yeah, I spent all night working on the game. And I finished it too. Care to join me in testing it out? I, uh, added some new features I'd like you to try. Sure, I'd love to. It looked like the same game I'd played before. What am I looking for? You'll see. I started up the game. Moments later, I saw Tara's avatar run up to me. You made it just in time. The new event is about to start. What's the new event? As if on cue, giant robotic pigeons flew in from the sky and started to attack our avatars. Oh, I want to fight the pigeons. I ran towards the pigeons, preparing for the fight of a lifetime. Don't worry, I gotcha. Tara pulled out a giant can of pigeon repellent and started blasting away. Thank God she had that on her person. Whoa, I think something's bugged. It's not working at all. I guess I gotta fix that. <laughs> While Tara was laughing at her own mistake, I was being lifted into the sky by the pigeons. Uh, I think I'm screwed. Where are these pigeons taking me? I tried to move my avatar, but there was no way to resist the death grip of the robo-pigeon. Don't worry, they're about to fly into the territory of the maple syrup dragon. The what? Uh-oh. The screen lit up with a blast of flying maple syrup. That's a visual. I never thought I'd ever say something like that, but here we are. The maple syrup slammed into the pigeons and forcefully stuck their wings together. As a consequence, they started to fall to the ground at breakneck speed. Ah, <laughs> not. Save me, I hadn't saved yet. I knew I forgot something, I forgot to add the ability to save. I'll have to write that down. As Tara took notes, I rapidly fell to my doom. I'm happy for you, but if you could just for a minute, my avatar smacked into the ground, pigeon first, and instantly died on impact. Oh man, I had so much stuff. Is there at least a respawn mechanic? I've never died before in this game. Of course. Just hit the retry button. I press the button and watch the world around me reset to the village, sands the giant beasts of death. Except now, the village seemed ten times bigger than before. Wait, when did the village get so big? 
and then it dawned on me. Wait, it's not the village that got big. I got small. I took a more careful look at my avatar. I was a pigeon again. I s <laughs> God damn it. At the same time, Tara was giggling like a child. We spent a few more hours testing out the rest of the game's new features. Thankfully, there were no more pigeon easter eggs. Pigeon eggs, if you will. There's one last thing I want to test out, if that's okay. Will it end with me getting turned into a pigeon? No, that seems like a maybe. Just come with me. I followed her avatar to the cabin we shared in the woods. When we got there, she turned around and walked up to me and held out an item I've never seen before. Ah. She walked up to me and gave me an item called Ring of Your Pretty Cool. That's actually fucking ridiculously sweet. What's this? Um, let me try to explain. I came onto the show with no idea of what it was about. Personally, I thought it was stupid at first, but hanging out with you has been so much fun. I've never really got to work on my hobbies with anybody until I met you. Honestly, I've never had anyone to share all my crazy shit with, but you're different. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you're pretty cool, and I hope we could keep doing this even after the show is over. Yeah, I'll just f I'll, I'll just lie to both of them. Why not? <laughs> I'd love to, Tara. You don't even have to ask. I've gotta say, you caught me off guard with this. Why is that? You giving a this ring to me, it uh could be a little misleading. You're not making any sense. We laughed together and then walked back to the mansion with a spring in our step. We played the day away without a care in the world. Well, that's enough gaming for today, said no true gamer ever. Fake gamer spotted. You up for a movie date? <laughs> sure, what do you want to watch? How about... whoa. And then I saw something I'd never seen before and would never see again. What crazy fucking shit. The sky outside rapidly turned from orange to black as if it were water being drowned with the darkest ink. Then the bright sun in the sky went out like a candle in the wind. Whoa, what's going on? She held my hand tight. I could feel that she was scared. I didn't have a chance to respond before I heard a rush of footsteps coming towards us in the dark. Something isn't right. Oh no. We were surrounded. A familiar voice cut through the short silence of me holding my breath. I'm sorry, Daddy. You just didn't make the cut. We've got to get out of here. Just make it quick, please. Daddy, I'm scared. What's happening? I clasped her hand as tight as I could. We need to get out of here. Come on. I didn't even make three steps before I was tackled down and cuffed behind my back. Nice. Daddy, hold on. I'll... I yelled at her, her to run, but she came back to try to help me. Tara, you've got to get out of here. I, she screamed. They must have got her. It was no use. Even though she was right in front of me, I was powerless to get even an inch closer. They tackled her down in an instant. I heard the clink of the cuffs as they dragged her away. I struggled with everything I had to get up, to save her, to run, for what felt like an, e field, felt like an eternity. Then, nothing. Oh. Oh no, things are happening. <laughs> I, woke on, I woke up on an operating table, the type you'd see in a nightmare. Blood splattered on the floor and walls, the smell of disinfectant and rotting flesh. There was a nearby table littered with metal instruments that could make anybody talk. My first instinct was to get up and get off it as fast as possible, but my neck, hands, and legs were cuffed and pinned down in thick metal braces. I tried to force myself out with all my strength, but the braces didn't so much as budge. Hello? What's going on? Where am I? Tara? You there? All I heard back were echoes of my own screams. Wherever I was, this place must be massive. Hey, Daddy. Cat was holding some kind of helmet with thick wires extruding from the back of it. Don't worry, Tara's doing just fine. She's just taking a little nap. Cat, what's going on? You've gotta help me. I was just on my date with Tara when everything went dark and these guys fucking kidnapped us and I know, Daddy. I know. She sighed. You did good, but not good enough. That's pretty much it. 
Would it make you feel better to hear that you're the best one yet? I don't care, get me out of here. At this point, there's no point explaining. She placed the helmet on my head carefully. Even if I wanted to stop her from doing so, the bracer on my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, Cat, don't do this. I could hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. I just want to get out of here. I just want to get back to my life, whatever it is, please. Not today, Daddy. She pressed it. The sound of crashing waves, a world without time or color. I'm back. This time it's as if I'm sitting in an audience watching myself from afar. The escape had failed. I'd been separated from, separated from her and captured. We really never had a chance, did we? I find myself praying that she's safe, if anything happened to her. For a moment, the world exploded with color. Always the hero, aren't you, Danny? What did you do to her? You should be more worried about yourself. You knew the rules. If you try to escape the island, you die. It didn't have to be like this, but you... I'm done talking. Goodbye, Daddy. Oh, will you look at that. Looks like our little hero's got some life left in them. You know, Daddy, you're in luck. Usually I'd just kill you for this. But a new opportunity's just opened up, and I think you'd be the perfect fit. Hey, don't just lie there. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show, you can't just sleep through it. Oh, it's the beginning of the fucking game again? Oh, that's how you want to play. It's on. Oh, no. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Did you just hit me? What, me? Never in a million years. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't remember my name. Really now? You've got to be joking. I'm dead serious, I can't remember a thing. Who knows, it might be for the better. Luckily, we've got your name on file, Daddy. My name's Kat, it's nice to meet you. You're the star of our new show, Find Love or Die Trying. Let me get you up to speed. So, I am 100% in a fucking time loop. How on earth did I get into this mess? Not, not a time loop, but like... They're wiping memories and just fucking resetting the show. I'm somehow stuck on an island in the middle of nowhere, in an insane dating show from hell. From what Kat said, I'm dead meat if I can't finish the show with the fiancé or if the ratings aren't high enough. None of the girls on the show know the truth, and if they found out, they'd kill all of us. Why couldn't I wake up with no memories in a regular hospital like a regular drama protagonist? At least the other girls seem- at least the girls seem nice. Ellie's quite something, something tells me she'll be hard to keep up with, and that's not just from losing a race to her in the field. Scarlet's interesting. I've still got no idea if she was trying to read the magazine or the book hiding it. I'll figure that out later. Tara marches to the beat of her own drum. I like that. Violet's cool, but intimidating as hell. I'm pretty sure she was about to cook one of the brothers for dinner. Then there's Yui. She seems like a really sweet girl. Something about her is so familiar. She said she knew me from before. I'll have to ask her about what I was like before as soon as I can. Ooh, the Uniclus is fucking good, actually. This is the most reading I've done in fucking years. Not even joking. But for now, the show must go on. And that's why Daddy's the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, you just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like the bullshit map they show on screen in a movie. Ah, you're late to the party, Daddy. Now that we're all together, it's time to explain the rules of the show. Hey, Daddy, one of the five lovely women here is your soulmate. You'll get to know three of the girls over the next nine days, over three days with each of them. Okay. So before it was two girls in a week, I think? Then on the 10th day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you. 
So I've got 10 days to save my life. So without further ado, who do you want to spend time with? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. Think of who do you want to talk to the most right now? Fuck you, the Ultra Ball didn't work. That's a lie. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'd like to spend today's alone time with... Hold on just a second. I forgot to tell you something pretty important. She pulled me aside. This should be far enough. So the girls think you'll be asking any of the five of them for a date, but really, I only want you to be asking three of them. Basically, everybody but Scarlet and Tara. Why's that? Let's just say we think we'll be getting higher ratings that way. And you know how important it is to get high ratings, right? I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope! Glad we're on the same page, Daddy. So without further ado... We walk back to the girls. Who do you want to go on your first date with? I guess I... Well, I can't even, like, decide... Did not listen to her. Um... Probably Violet. Because she's bitchy and intimidating and that's hot. All right, we'll make it happen. I had just gone outside the mansion to find Violet when a white limousine drove up and stopped in front of me. One stepped out from the driver's seat and walked towards me. Daddy, good day, please do enter. What's with the formal talk? Please just get in the car, Daddy. You already heard what she did to my bro. No, I didn't. He opened the passenger, oh wait, yes I did. There were six of them before. He opened the passenger door and ushered me inside. I shrugged and went inside. What's the worst that could happen on a death game dating show? We sat in silence as one drove me to what looked like some sort of fancy restaurant, then escorted me inside. Bonjour, suitor. I trust my new butler brought you here safely? Yeah, he did. What's going on, Violet? I thought I would give you a chance to have some alone time with the star of the show is all. I am told this is what people do when they are courting. Have you never been on a date before? Oh, that was... Uh, dude, I've got to start reading whose voice it is. Of course I have. And I've read all the manuals on the subject. I'll have you know, I studied every book on the lust of the Lusty New Asian Maid series and all, know all of them by heart. Okay. Impressed, I'm sure. Uh, cool, cool. That's, yeah, that's the word for it. Pardon my interruption, I've brought your food. Please be seated, honored guests. Violet and I sat at a table in the center of the palace, as one placed each dish onto the table one by one. He seemed to linger over the meatballs as he brought them over. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, one. Please, don't hold yourself back. Don't think I will. This food looks incredible. and probably worth more than my life. You're right on both counts, Daddy. I'm ecstatic you like the assortment. I planned it myself. You're a chef? You could say that. What do you mean? Anyway, tell me more about yourself, Daddy. There's not too much to say. Amnesia is a hell of a drug. You don't remember your past? Yeah, bummer, right? Then rest assured, I will find the finest scientists in all the land to help you recover your memory when this is over. That would be great. Thanks, Violet. Think nothing of it. It's the duty of those with more to give back, no? <sighs> Though, have you ever thought, perchance, that this is actually a blessing in disguise? What do you mean? Many of us would be happier not knowing what drags us down. That may be true, but still, I need to know. You sound just like the reference examples in the romance manuals. Consider me impressed. You know, those manuals are just regular old fiction novels, right? Ha! <laughs> You're quite funny, Daddy. An admirable trait to have. I like that. Anyway, you haven't told me about yourself, Violet. Who are you and what do you do for fun? I'd like to know. 
Being the scion of the Valentines doesn't leave much time for fun, I'm afraid. Even on this show, I spend most of my waking hours managing the Valentines restaurant businesses. But I suppose if you have if I have a spell of time, I enjoy baking. I don't get it. Why are you embarrassed by liking baking? Everyone has a hobby. Baking is something of a servant hobby, according to my parents. Oh, your parents fucking suck. <laughs> when they found out I was enjoying that, well, they made sure to stop me from ever doing it again with all the restaurant work. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? You know what? I do know of what, but what do you mean? Who cares what your parents think? Here on this island, a million miles out, they can't stop you. How about we find some time together to bake up for lost time? She laughed like a child. That would be, that'd be wonderful, Daddy. I'll make some time on my calendar for you. We spent the next few hours enjoying the finest meal that money could buy. Each course was better than the last, just like the chapters of the lusty new Asian maid, according to Violet. Something tells me that the same applies to every moment I'll share together with Violet. I stumbled back to my room and plopped onto my bed. Who'd be coming at this hour? <laughs> me. I shuffled over in a haze. Hey there, Daddy. Sorry to bother you this late. It's alright. What's up, Cat? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna make myself real comfortable. Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. <laughs> I've really got to get one of these beds for myself already. I closed the door and then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. So what brings you here tonight? Can't stop thinking about me? You wish. Unfortunately, it's my job to help you survive until the end of the show. And that means checking in with you every night to see how you're doing and making sure you're doing your best on ratings. That's nice of you. Thanks, Cat. Well, to be honest, I don't have a choice. Finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Oh, so that's why they, uh... Just keep resetting my fucking brain instead of finding a new person. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Back to what I'm here for. Your date today with Violet was a ratings knockout. You and Violet started out a little frosty, but by the end I think we saw you two warm up to each other a bit. Thank you. That said, we need something more than that if we're going to make the world believe she's your first soulmate candidate. So let's heat things up with a little more competition. Pizzazz. Romance. Wait, what? I can't tell if it's supposed to be doing that, like if that's supposed to be like a hint in the game where it's saying that it's Scarlet talking when I'm looking directly at Cat. Uh, okay, tomorrow I want, I want you to find who your second soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date instead. Um, I'm gonna try going on a, a second date with a person this time because last time I was like going back and forth between them and I got fucking, I got my brain reset for it, so. I get that it'd be worse for ratings, but I'd rather just spend more time with Violet tomorrow. I feel like there's something just under the surface that I'm reaching and I want to know what that is with her. It's sweet of you to say that, really, and in a perfect world, you'd be able to do just that. But if you do that, the show's ratings won't be high enough, and if ratings aren't high enough, they'll axe the show and your life with it, even if it's not the last day yet. In some messed up way, that almost makes sense. So I literally have to alternate. Okay. I'd almost think it wasn't your first time on a life or death killing show. It's not. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you. It's getting late, and we've both got big days tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Night, Daddy. Good. She was gone before I had a chance to finish. Story of my fucking life. Guess it's time to call it a night. The sound of waves. Hey, I can hear a call out to me within a dream. It's you. I love you, Daddy. I always will. And I'll always love you, too. My mouth moves on its own. Even if there's so many other women on this show, they could never be you. I held her tight and kissed her. You promise? I promise. Promises are unbreakable, you know. That's what you told me. God, the repetition. 
I meant every word I said. She smiled at me. You better have. Your face is becoming clear to me with every day that goes by. I know you're here with me, but which one are you? Then you set the meat at around 300 degrees for 40 minutes. Okay, got it. Tara furiously scribbled down notes. Aw, oh, she's teaching Tara to cook. Wait a minute, couldn't I just cook it at 600 degrees for 20 minutes? Now you're fucking thinking, girl. That's mathematics. Quick maths. That's not quite how this works, I'm afraid. But the math checks out. What's going on? Oh, good morning, Daddy. How do you do? I'm teaching Tara the proper way to prepare a pot roast. Fuck yeah. That sounds lit. That sounds fucking awesome. So I'd say so far it's going pretty well. Tara will be the one to prepare lunch today instead of me. Tara turned one of the dials on the stove as far as it would go to the right. And the student has surpassed the master. On second thought, perhaps I'll prepare an alternative course. One moment, please. Oh, ye of little faith. Time for the moment of truth. Lunch is served. Tara was nervously clasping her hands tight. Exclamation point. It's delicious! I did it! Oh my gosh! Tara did a little dance in celebration and gave Violet a high five. Should I become a food vlogger? I'm a cooking savant. This talent shouldn't be wasted. Hey, Violet. What is it, Danny? Is this what you cooked, or is this what Tara cooked? Violet smiled and winked at me. I don't know what you're talking about. She sipped on her soup contently. I couldn't help but smile back at her. Damn, this was the best meal I've ever had. Granted, my memory only goes back about two days, but still, it counts for something. And there you are, Daddy. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who's your second soulmate candidate. Cat moved in closer to whisper. Not like you really have a choice, though. So without further ado, Daddy, who is the unlucky girl? I would like to spend some time with... I, oh, I guess I'll just get Yui out of the way, because I have to... It's my least favorite voice to do, because I made it way too high-pitched, and I can't abandon it now. Yes, I made a bet with the four. You'd choose Yui to... With four. Oh, I thought you said with the four. I'm like, did they kill another one of the brothers? With four. Got it. <laughs> Great choice, Daddy. I knew I'd count on you. All right, all right. Let's get this show on the road. I can't say all right, all right without, like, hearing fucking Matthew McConaughey in my head. The forest to the north of the house was as, as serene as it could be. With each step forward, I felt soft earth give away beneath my feet, and the wind caress my skin. Green as far as the eye can see, and her, in a flowing white dress, standing in the middle of it all. Hey there, Danny! What you doing all the way out here? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing out here? You're just standing in a field. I could ask you the same. Every time I do Yui's voice, my dog gets up. He's like, what the fuck is going on over there? I guess so. Yui had the cutest giggle, the kind that instantly puts a smile on your face. Care to join me for a walk? I'd like that. God, I cannot wait to do long-ass fucking dialogue in this voice. I really fucked myself in a number of ways when I started this. We started to walk down the forest path together. I couldn't help but be fascinated by her hair, flowing like water in the wind. I doubt you remember, but I'm from way out in the country. I grew up surrounded by animals, nature, you name it. It was just me and my grandma, my two little brothers, the alpacas and the bunnies, the bun and bun bun and the chickens, and too many farm animals to count. To answer your question from earlier, nature takes me back home. Do you still live there? Yep, wouldn't have it any other way. Though I had moved to the city for a bit way back when. You know, that's when I met you. How did we meet? Well... Hi, puppy. You know, one thing I hated about the city is that everyone's in a rush. People just walk by each other as if they're obstacles to get past instead of, all people. I came to the city alone. I didn't know left from right. And I got lost. I swear, every building looks the same. 
You can say that again. I try to ask people for directions to where I would live or where the school was, but no one would give me the time of day. Except for you. I helped you? Yeah, you didn't even know me, but you took the time to help me figure my way around. Gosh, I'd never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, that's... I thought that was supposed to be... Uh, never mind. <laughs> Why were you embarrassed? Uh, you know. Shy. We found out later we went to the same high school, but we never talked too much after that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's not your fault, Danny. I had to move back home pretty soon after anyway. Well, I'm happy I'm getting a second chance to get to know you better, Yui. I feel the same way, Danny. You're just like how I remember. Well, actually, the whole trying to date five girls at a time thing came out of nowhere, but life is full of surprises, I guess. It shouldn't take long to remove them from the equation. Sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Just a little joke. She's gonna kill them. I was just saying, I'm so happy to see you again. Here's to the future. We spent the rest of the day taking in the nature and making up for lost time. Apparently, I was always ending up in trouble back then. I guess not much has changed. Something about Yui made it so easy to open up. I found myself almost telling her the truth about the show several times. You're gonna get yourself killed, buddy. Even though I couldn't tell her the whole truth, I could tell her just enough of what was worrying me to make me feel at home and at ease. Whatever's getting you down, I'm sure it'll all be okay. No matter what, I'm on your side, Daddy. God, I... So much discomfort saying Daddy in that voice. <laughs> I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. Hey there, Daddy. Got a minute? Let me just make sure Violet or Yui see me come in here and fan some flames. Sorry, what? Cat looked around, smiled, and went into my room. I followed suit. First, the good news. Thanks to my plan, we've gotten enough ratings to avoid early canning. People loved it when you and Violet were the main ship, but I loved it even more, or but loved it even more after Yui kicked off this competition. I'm glad to hear I get to live another day. For now, at least. But that could change on a dime, so keep it up. Also, I'm curious about how you're feeling about Violet and Yui. Between those two, do you have a favorite? Um, probably Violet, actually. If I had to pick. I think I have a better connection with Violet right now. I don't know as much as I'd like to about Violet just yet, but I know more than anything that I just want to keep learning more about her. I had a feeling you'd say that, and you're right to say that. Well, well, we'll see where things go with Violet. Something tells me you'll get a chance to hang out with her again soon. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up, and who knows? You might just be the first one to make it out of here. Night, Daddy. Good night, Cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. I'm gonna save again. She left my room, closing the door behind her. I guess it's time to turn in for the night. Time for the dream thingies. Sometimes the most precious moments are the most mundane. It's just the two of us, spending the evening together in the games room. I'm reading a book and at the same time watching her rage against the opponent in a fighting game. It's fun to watch her savor each victory or explode with profanity when she loses. So, the girl in the dream is Tara? Life is good. It's times like these where you wish life would, could always be this simple. Sometimes in those moments, people wish for more excitement, for fame, for fortune, for anything but the ordinary. But all I want is the, the ordinary with you. Fuck you! <laughs> okay. I love this woman so much. Kind of, kind of awesome. In the morning, the girls and I decide to hang out in the garden outside the house. Oh wow, there's all kinds of flowers here that I've never seen here before. Really? You've never seen a tulip? Grandma and I... Oh, it's Yui's voice. Fuck. Grandma and I only grew hyacinths back home, so nope. Not even on the internet? 
and I thought I had to get out more. I can believe that. The only flowers I ever work with are Venus flytraps. What do you do with those? Not the right voice. Well, we do a lot of experiments at the lab. Don't you ever find yourself thinking, wouldn't it be cool to make a Venus flytrap that could walk and talk? Nope, I do not. I do not find myself thinking that, and you should stop thinking that. Because you may make that happen. Literally never. <laughs> um, it's whatever. She ran away two years ago. Both my neighbors lost their pet cats the same day, too. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. I miss you, Fluffy. You sure they were lost? Tea's ready. Thanks, Violet. I got a cup for everybody. The aroma from the tea really worked up my appetite. I've prepared some treats for us as well. Please enjoy. We spent the rest of the morning eating delicious treats and sipping on delicious tea as we theorized what might have happened to Fluffy. Well, it's pretty clear what happened. Personally, my money's on the felines being the culprits. Every cat I've met has, been a, has had a nasty surprise up her sleeve. So true. They found Cat in the same place she found me yesterday. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. It's time to decide who's your last soulmate candidate. Oh, man. I'm gonna make a killing from today's bet with four. <laughs> that poor guy. He doesn't know you've been rigging the show. What he doesn't know can't hurt him. Anyway, after you make your choice, it'll just be between the three soulmate candidates from here on out. Wait just a second, what does... I thought somebody would ask, so let me explain. If you don't get chosen, we'll make the rest of this show a tropical getaway for you. You'll still be able to see the other girls and live in the mansion, so really it's no big deal. Tara did a little fist bump. So without further ado, Danny, who's the last unlucky girl? I'd like to spend some time with Allie, so Allie truly was my last pick. <laughs> We'll make it happen. Let's get the cameras rolling, people. We're in for a bumpy ride. Now be a deer and give us a minute to set up the scene, hmm? God, dude, this is a lot of reading. How I let Allie talk me into this, I'll never know. You sure this was a good idea? <laughs> There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Allie grabbed my hand and pulled me towards the slope of the hill. Relax, Daddy. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I could die. Would it be too much to ask to be on a TV show that didn't end up with me dead? Don't worry. I've got you. Oh, shit. Allie slipped on her rollerblades, pulling me down the hill with her. I tried to step back up on reflex, but all I could do was stand up with the rollerblades. Oh, fuck. We started rolling down the hill faster and faster and faster. Allie was rolling down the hill backwards at full speed. I could see panic in her eyes. I couldn't figure out how to stop. We were going faster and faster. How? Just fall. Just fall at this point. Allie laughed and pointed at me. Gosh, your face is priceless. I love it. Bitch. Bitch. Allie turned around effortlessly and somehow glided next to me without having ever letting go of my hand. Our breakneck pace became slower and slower as she steered us back and forth repeatedly. Before I knew it, we were gliding down the road smoothly. The wind felt so nice. Now you've got the hang of it. She has a really cute outfit, I'll give her that. You've got a funny way of teaching. The best way to teach a bird to fly is throwing it off a cliff, no? That's definitely a way of looking at it. Don't worry about it. You weren't ever in danger. Have you been rollerblading for a long time? Nope. I actually just learned how to today. What? What was that about never being in danger? Oh, Jesus. You're quite the daredevil, aren't you? What gave that away? She laughed as she slapped me on the back. You know, you're a pretty quick learner. You picked up rollerblading almost as fast as I did. Well, I've got a pretty great teacher. It's a lot of fun hanging out with you, Allie. Shucks, I feel the same way, Daddy. It's great to be around someone willing to go on an adventure. 
The world's going crazy. We're all gonna die. You might as well be around people that make life worth living. Couldn't say it better myself. You know, I bet you can't skate backwards. Allie reversed and started skating backwards as if to taunt me. Oh, why is that? Dude, I... This is the most reading I've done in my fucking life. I was illiterate up until today. I learned how to read just now. I just think it's a bit too scary for a person who screams when they start going down a little bump. I'm daddy. I can't handle a little bump. Uh, help me. Fuck you. I'm doing a voice of somebody mocking me. I, whatever. <laughs> I'm mocking myself as someone else. <laughs> Come on, it was a hill. Yeah, yeah. I felt a fire light inside of me. <laughs> Bring it on, Allie. Oh, are you sure? Did I stutter? <laughs> Jesus. There comes a time in every person's life where we know we're taking a stupid bet, but do it anyway. With the power of misplaced confidence and adrenaline, I jumped high into the air. It did a motherfucking backflip, bitch! It did a backflip! Wait, am I doing a flip or is the world flipping? I'm not sure. Then it dawned on me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> cool. Wait, I did a thing. No, I won't let you kill daddy. What? You're going to wish we had. We'll just... What the hell? You're up! You okay, Danny? Try not to move, you're a little banged up right now. But you'll be just fine in no time. Cat and I treated your injuries pretty well if I do say so myself. What happened? <laughs> you, uh, skated backwards. We're defining skating quite liberally, huh? How'd I get here? I carried you here. Okay, that's kind of hot. Oh man, my head. <laughs> Take it easy, it's only been a few hours since you knocked yourself out. Well, it's sort of my fault, but... I made you some food, it should help you get your strength back up quick. Thanks, Allie, that's really nice of you. I don't expect something like Violet would make. All I can promise is the food is probably healthier than my last suggestion before you knocked yourself out. I'll take my chances. I took a bite of the food cautiously. <laughs> I'm not. For a moment, Allie was wide-eyed with shock and horror. I'm just messing with you. The food's delicious. Thanks, Allie. I just figured I'd get a little bit of a payback. You know, no one forced you to jump. She laughed and slapped me on the shoulder, then ran her hand through my hair and scratched it. I would actually fucking go wild for that, not gonna lie. I want head scratchies. I found myself smiling and admiring the blue of her eyes. I'm looking forward to our next adventure, Daddy. But promise not to be too stupid again, okay? I'll try my best, but people can't help but do stupid things to impress a pretty girl. I guess impressed is what we'll call it. I spent the rest of the day make we spent the rest of the day making fun of each other for how stupid we were being. Somehow, some way, Allie could take the ordinary and turn it into an adventure. Ooh, more Pokemon. Nice. I was laughing so hard I could barely feel any pain. Before I knew it, it was nighttime. Nice. After today's date, I went out for a short walk outside the mansion. Oh, hey, Daddy. Hey, Cat, what's up? Let's not waste any time. I gotta get back to editing, and you know what I want to hear. I know Violet was your favorite till now, but maybe Ellie's shake things up a bit. Shook? Shaken? Who's number one now? Um... Oh, I'm literally unable to pick Yui. That's sus. Ah... Uh, Hmm. In the interest of keeping ratings up, let's just keep changing our fucking minds so we don't get murdered. And though I've known her for less time, I think I like Allie more than Violet now. She makes every moment exciting, and I just can't get enough of that. I can't wait to see her again. 
You really do change your mind like the wind, huh? Doesn't matter to me, though. I'm your producer, not your life coach. Anyway, I've got good news that you might be interested in. What's that? My plan was a success. Having three soulmate candidates has worked magic for our ratings. Which of course means this show will go on. That's awesome. So I'm safe now? Just for now though, we're not out of the woods just yet. We need to make sure the next stretch of the show rates even higher. That's showbiz, baby. It's time for phase two. Over the next three days, you'll go on a second date with each Violet, Yui, and Allie. Just imagine how much higher our ratings will be if our viewers got to see even more of their favorites falling in love. Just imagine that sweet ad revenue rolling in. Mm. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Sound good to you? Sounds like a plan to me. Good, that's what I like to hear. Tomorrow morning, I'll be asking you who you want to have your first second date with. Put some thought into that. Sometimes the order of content is just as important as the content itself for ratings. Okay, hold on. Sometimes the order of content is just important as the content itself for ratings. So, the order I should fucking... Can I go back? Can I read the previous speech bubble? No, okay. Will do. Thanks, Kat. I, there's, that's clearly a hint. So... Oh. I waved goodbye to her as she walked away from the mansion. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing to not die. Oh, guess it's time to turn in for the night. Content lessons from a non-dateable girl. True. We borrowed a boat and went for a cruise around the island. I love the way the wind feels. Why is that? It feels like freedom. Can't get enough of it. No cameras, no people, nothing to stop me from... She pulled me close and kissed me on the lips. For a moment, time stopped. And we were the only two people that existed. Doing what I want. I smiled. I'm pretty sure we don't need to be all the way out here just for a kiss. I guess you're right. After that, after all, it's hotter if people are watching. Hey, yo? Hey, yo? We laughed together as we cruised along the sun till the sun went down. Oh, fucking. The world was ours. The sound of waves grows louder and louder, threatening to pull me back into reality. Will I know you before I'm taken under? So the girl in the dream last night was Tara. I have no idea if that's still Tara. Oh my gosh, I heard what happened. Oh, it's Yui. Oh my gosh, I heard what happened yesterday. Are you okay? I gotta go like full fucking Lily Pichu for this shit. It's painful. No worries, I'm good. Thanks, Yui. I'm so relieved. Should you not be resting after yesterday? Nah, no need. I've only got a few scrapes and bruises. I'm surprised the both of you aren't dead after what you pulled. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm voicing so many. How, let's, let's count it. How many voices have there been? Because I did all five of the brothers. I gave up on those, but I still throw some of those voices in there. So I'll be generous and give myself two voices for that. I'm doing my own, which doesn't count, so... Then just these five, so there's seven, and then Violet, which is eight, and then Damien, which is nine. And then, yeah, I'm doing nine fucking voices. <laughs> Believe me, me too. Wait, what? I mean, no worries, Scarlet. I've been rollerblading for longer than most people have ever. Wait, you just learned fucking today. Yesterday, yesterday you told me. You said, who are you lying to? Technically, that's probably true, but... You should teach us how to rollerblade, Allie. It seems like it'd be fun. Uh, you sure, Tara? I feel like that might not be a good idea. What's the worst that could happen? I like your attitude, girl. Come on, let's hit the road. Allie grabbed Tara's hand and pulled her away. Some time later. Hi, boy! I'm doing nine voices, and fucking like seven of them are female. <sighs> <laughs> I 
Hi, Tara. How it hey, Tara, how is skating? There's no words. You're just gonna what? Donate a large sum of money? Thank you, boy. I'm glad you love it so much. I think Allie broke Tara. Scarlet waved her hands frantically in front of Tara's face, as if to check if anyone was still there. Tara, you in there? It's time for your date, boy. Yeah. Hey, Tara, the internet's back. Wait, what? On God? I guess nobody's home. Uh, is there a medic on the island? <laughs> I need to turn that up. That sound effect doesn't play loud enough. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I'll do that right now. Because my voice needs a small break Mommy because holy milk. shit. Where's the sus one? Alright, now it should be like this loud. Better. Oh, true, I do need a drink, dude. My voice is gonna be fucking gone. <laughs> Nothing like the taste of cream soda and aspartame to not hydrate my worn vocal cords. Luckily, Tara was fine. After that was resolved, we spent the rest of the morning playing video games as therapy for Tara. So, what's up? What's up, baby girl? This is what you join in on? Yeah, I mean, this you guys wanted this. This was a... A points redeem thingy. She still doesn't remember a thing about what happened. What'd you see, Tara? I guess we'll never know. Oh? What are you here for? A big ol' smooch? Want a big ol' big kiss on the lips? Morning, Daddy! Congrats, you've made it to the fourth day. And you become the first person to have not one, not two, but three soulmate candidates. Who would have thought? Granted, soulmate candidates don't really exist, but hey, we'll edit that part out. You're here for the gem, you can't have it. <laughs> you should be really, really proud of yourself. Go read the lore, boy. Satan himself could not remove the gem. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'll leave that for you to guess. Yes, yeah, son, it's bound to my fucking body with magic. Anyway, between you three, your three lucky romantic interests, Violet, Yui, and Allie, who do you want to spend today with? So she told me that it mattered what order I spent, uh, I spent time with them in. So the previous order that I picked was Violet, Yui, Allie. It won't let me do a date with the same girl two days in a row. So, my only real options are Violet and Yui. Um, Violet was the one I picked first last time. So maybe I want to mix... Yeah, I think I'll do Yui because I want to mix up the order. I knew it! Damn, I should have made another bet with four. Anyway, Yui's somewhere in the fields behind the mansion. I'll be filming as usual. Get a move on. I could see Yui waving at me from the top of the hill. Hey there, Daddy. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Yui. You wanted to show me something? Now that I was closer, I could see that Yui was holding a fucking gun. Her one hand behind her back. Believe me, it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Behold! It's a bunny! It was indeed a bunny. Where'd this little guy come from? To be honest, I've got no idea. I wonder if he's a wild one or maybe somebody's pet. Yeah, well, I named my character Daddy, so I have to say it 900 fucking times in, like, seven different girl voices, which I did not think through and cannot change. <laughs> So, I, I did this to my fucking self. <laughs> I wonder if he's a wild one or maybe somebody's pet. Skill issue, yeah. 
I've asked around, but he doesn't look like he belongs to anybody. So, I've been taking care of him since I found him. I just couldn't help myself, you know? And then Gary oaked himself into a corner. <laughs> True, that's pretty much exactly what I did. Yui's smile was as earnest as it could be. Didn't you have a pet bunny back home? I had two! Bun and Bun Bun! Wow, you're really fucking creative. Both of them are total rascals! But Bun 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 here is a good boy, aren't you? A third bun. She nuzzled against Bun Bun Bun's head. I fucking hate that I have to keep saying that. Yes, you are! Nuzzle nuzzle. We played with the bunny for a little while. She picked the bunny up and held it in her arms. Bun 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 looked quite content. You know, you're pretty amazing with animals, Yui. Well, I've been surrounded by animals my whole life. Back at my house, well, to be honest, it was more of a barn than anything. Eat the bun? Maybe. You, that's not out of the question for this game, okay? There have already been zombies. There was a, a that one of the girls from the show killed with a minigun. Um, I also got fucking Sword Art Online on a first date, so... And I'll also, I think I was served people earlier at lunch, so... Your guess is as good as mine. Since my brothers were too young and Grandma was getting up there, I took care of all the animals. Grandma's taking care of them ever since they were born. My parents were supposed to take care of them after Grandma retired, but... <laughs> You'll stay longer? Well, you know, life happens. I'm just glad to have what I have. Ah! Bun 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 had managed to squeeze out of her hands and ran off. And got hit by a Ford F-150. <laughs> we gotta catch him, let's go! On it. I ran as fast as I could after Bun Bun Bun, but it was no use. The distance kept widening. Before long, we couldn't even see him anymore. Sorry I couldn't catch him. He's really fast for something so small. Don't worry about it. Bun 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 likes to do this all the time. He's a bit mischievous, but he won't do anything dangerous. Oh, dude. You 100% had bug snacks in one day? Are you okay? We could take our time looking for him. If you're willing to help. Of course, Yui. We started walking towards where we last saw Bun Bun Bun, right after we caught our breath again. Gosh, isn't it so nice to be outside? The smell of fresh air? The breeze? I burped in the middle of that one. Not very ladylike of me, I'm sorry. There's nothing like it. There really isn't. I smiled. At first I was really excited to go to the city. There's so many people, so many things to do, so many beautiful things. So many quirked up white boys that are goaded with the sauce, busting it down sexual style. And most of all, I got to meet you. Shucks, you're gonna make me blush. She laughed and slapped me on the arm. Even so, the city's just not my thing. It's a little bit funny. So the reason I'd come home for all this sudden was terrible. I can't. I, I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want this Draco Vish too. Fuck. <laughs> A little part of me was glad to be home. <laughs> Ever had that kind of feeling before? I have. It's strange, but sometimes there's good in the bad, and sometimes that good can outweigh the bad. Exactly. You get it, Daddy. My family's never been closer, and that's all I want. They told me to make a lot of money in the city, make something of myself, all that. Florida changed me, you don't understand. It might seem old fashioned, but I just want to put the people I love first. That's all you got in life, really. I'm curious, what do you put first in life? Pussy. Where's the pussy button? Family, career, happiness. I guess pussy is pretty... No. I have a career in pussy. That would have to be my career as a professional fucking... Uh, Chad? <laughs> oh, is that so? I think we'd make a great team then. 
career as a live streamer? Yeah, that's my fucking career. Boy, if this was my career, I'd be dead by now. We talked for several several hours about what we wanted out of life. We seemed to match up perfectly. I was beaming the whole time. It was hard to believe that. It's Bun Bun Bun! Yui pointed in front of us, and sure enough, there was Bun 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 chomping on a bush. I've never seen anyone move so fast. Yui descended on Bun 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 like a hawk and grabbed him in an instant. You're going back to your den, you bad little bunny! But I'm happy you're safe. She nuzzled her face against his fur. Bun 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 was practically purring with delight. Do bunnies purr? That seems a little strange. Ugh. Then she looked right at me. I can't promise I could give you the most exciting life, with the most twists and turns around every corner. But I can not promise that if you choose me, I'll always be by your side, no matter what. Wherever you were, I'd come running, always. She took a step forward and kissed my cheek. Aww. We locked eyes, and for that time, all I could see was her and how beautiful she was. Bun 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 seemed to be a little jealous after that. Thanks again for the help. Thanks again for the help, Daddy. Being with you made this all go a lot faster and made it feel really special to me. Oh, sorry about your awful Dracovish. Sucks to suck, nerd. Anytime, Yui. I'm happy to. We walked back together to the mansion, holding hands and smiling all the while. Okay, is it time for some fucking crazy shit to happen again? I was feeling a bit restless after today's date, so to wait in my room, so I went downstairs to relax. Hold on, my dog is bagging me for water right now. Whoa! Thirsty bitch! You a thirsty bitch! Oh, let me look at it. I'll look at it. I will look at your, uh, your awful Dracovish. <laughs> oh. 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 That's bad. That's really bad. HP is, like, the worst stat to, like, have. Oh, wait. Marcy posted her hatch from him. Not bad, really. Yeah, that Dracovish is awful, but HP is like the worst stat to have be horrible in PCG. It looks like someone had the same idea I did. Cat was relaxing on the sofa with a bottle of red wine in hand. She it, So she always, at least last time, she drank wine on the second date night. I'm just trying to pick up on patterns. If it's going to keep throwing me through the same loop, I might as well pay the fuck attention. Uh, I'll drink with her. Maybe I get to fuck. I don't know. Sure, I'd love a glass. Now that's what I'm talking about. She handed me a glass and poured until it was full. Whoa, maybe a little too much. One's life without a few risks. Long. Much like your remaining lifespan. Cat filled her glass to the brim and downed it in one go. Oh, she is a fucking alcoholic. <laughs> Felt like I was finally getting to see her real smile. Cat started chugging down the bottle. Uh... You okay? I work on a TV show that kills innocent people for shits and giggles. How okay do you think I could be? You might want to stop drinking that. You're more of a buzzkill than Damien, and I don't even know how that's possible. He's killed people with buzz saws. Sorry, Daddy. I didn't mean that. It's okay, Cat. No worries. Now they mention it, how did you end up working here anyway? Yeah, let's get her to talk. It was a good choice to drink with her, because now she'll now we get information. Information. <sighs> oh, you know, the old career fair down the blo block. Oh, okay. She laid down on the sofa. If you're here for the daily interview where I ask you about your day, I already have enough footage for today. As strange as it might sound, Cat, I'm here because I'm worried about you. And why is that? People who chug a whole bottle of wine in one night usually aren't in the best place. 
not necessarily true. <laughs> Worry about yourself, Danny. If you knew some of the things I'd done to survive, you wouldn't be trying to comfort me. From what it sounds like, no one really has any choice. You just focus on being a ratings magnet on your dates, I'll be fine. Thanks, Daddy. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Good night, cat. Don't stay up too late. Great, the walking corpse is giving me advice on how to live now. Do I really look that bad right now? Good night, cat. I hurried along. Now hold on just a... Nope, bye. If only I could escape this island as easily as I could from a very, very drunk cat. Wait a minute. If cat's drunk, then who's making sure today's episode is good? Oh. So, I keep getting fucking, like, brainwashed because cat's a fucking alcoholic and keeps fucking up the editing? Something tells me I'm not gonna sleep very well tonight. The two of us were lying down in a grassy field watching the world pass us by. Where would you want to go when we're out of here? The countryside. Seems like it'd be the only place nowadays that you could get some peace and quiet. That does sound nice. Would you come in- would you come with me? Come on me? Sorry? <laughs> I know it's not for everybody and it's missing a lot of the- You don't even have to ask, love. Of course I'm coming with you. We're a team, right? We're a team. She moved closer. I held her tight in my arms. Mom would have loved you. I wish she would have had a chance to meet her. I know. We'll make sure our kid gets a chance to meet theirs, though. Her face turned bright red. www.pornhub.com What? Say, say that after we're actually engaged. It's cute how embarrassed she gets. So this, this one feels like Yui. You mean it? Every word. You're sweet. Not as sweet as you. Please wake up. I want to see more people get shot. Hello, ladies. You've got to be kidding. My goodness, she really said that? Yeah, and she was all like... Whoa, what the hell is that? It's making... This game is fucking bullying me. It's making me switch between every voice. Yeah, gamer girl. She is very mommy much a gamer girl. Milkers. The gamer girl doesn't have mommy milkers, but uh, our girl Scarlet here on the right. Bet your fucking ass. Got some milkies. A flash of white raced through the kitchen, sending the girls into a frenzy. What the hell is that? Oh. Coming through. Sorry. It's Bun Bun Bun, obviously. We practically bulldozed through the other girls in the kitchen. What's going on? I take it back! Bun 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 is a bad boy! He just seems so well behaved, I thought I'd let him outside again and... Bun 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 effortlessly swerved past Yui under Violet and leapt onto Alley. <laughs> Bun 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 somehow made his way up to her head and took her cap in his mouth. Yeah, the piano guy's going absolutely sicko mode. Oh, she's, she's cuter without her hat. No, hold on. Hey, get that back. Bun 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 seemed to sneer at Allie, then leapt away and ran off. It is so mentally taxing to keep these voices straight in my fucking head. Holy shit. Get back here. <clears throat> Allie started chasing Bun 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 with all she had, but somehow he always stayed one step ahead of her. This looks like a job for me. I'm gonna need a Venus flytrap and a few bottles of... Bun 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 leapt onto Scarlet. Ah, get it off! It is quite humorous that a mere bunny has eluded you all for this long. Think you could catch it? Why, of course. Watch a master at Bun 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 leapt onto Violet's face. Get this foul creature off of me. Bun 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 sneered with contempt. Someone do something! At that moment, I realized Tara was recording Violet's struggles. Nice, based, content. I'm helping in just a second. Bun 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 left off of Violet onto the kitchen floor and ran out. Give me my cat back. I do suppose a nice rabbit stew is on for lunch today. Huh, I guess I should help too. 
You have to help daddy? Yeah, so Poi, you might be right. We might be eating the rabbit. I don't see why not. Time for round two. Now quick, before he gets too far. I'm right behind you. We spent the rest of the morning trying to catch Bun Bun Bun. Emphasis on trying. That bunny is on something. I'm calling it now. We finally managed to catch him by baiting him with some food. Violent reluctantly made. And even then, he didn't make it easy. I haven't had rabbit either. I, I've never really wanted to. I hear that meat's like hella like tough, and it's like whatever. <laughs> Doesn't sound too appealing. Let's hope the rest of the day is a little more relaxed. This piano guy's still going ham in the background. Morning, cat. I've been looking for you. Ugh, not so loud, please. My head's killing me from all that wine last night. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. So she's drunk editing and getting me killed. Somehow, this scene feels familiar. Something tells me that my chance of surviving goes down for every opened a bottle of alcohol on the island. I want to sleep with Cat. I want to fuck the shit out of Cat. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she is best girl. Maybe I should spend today reenacting prohibition instead of going on a date. You do know how Prohibition ended, right? Anyway, back to the brass tacks. Yesterday's second date with Yui went really well. Let's keep striking the iron while it's hot. Which soulmate candidate will you be going on a second date with today? Um, so I picked Violet first last time, and then... So it went Violet, Yui, Alley last time, so this time it went Yui. Should I just do it in reverse? No, that's not. That wouldn't even be reverse. Um, I'll pick Violet since she went first last time. She'll go second this time. Or maybe is there like some logic behind this? Am I overthinking the fuck out of this game? Coin flip. Better yet, fucking. One sec. Who date? Here you go. Here's fucking uh, 60 seconds. Figure it out. Up to you. I need a fucking second to give my voice a rest anyway. Oh, your voice suffering. Just simply too many voices. So far, Violet's winning. For what it's worth, I would probably pick Violet myself because she's fucking hot, but she's also mean. She's mean and rich. Wait, way to tie it up, dickhead. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um. I mean, I would obviously be the tiebreaker if it can't be decided on. Okay, perfectly tied. Thanks, guys. Really great. Fuck you, boy! <laughs> oh, nice. A fucking dugong. I want a dugong. My eyes and my vocal cords are getting tired, so we will, we're will we gonna see how long this will go. I'll probably go until the end of this in-game week, if nothing deviates from the usual trajectory. Um, so I'm gonna pick Violet, because that's the one that I would personally pick as a tiebreaker anyway. Uh, Violet! Nice, I kinda had a feeling you would. I think Violet's somewhere around the mansion. Lead the way. Yeah, of course she is. That we all fucking are here for the game show. Whatever. Whatever. I found Violet taking a walk outside the mansion. I mean, look at her. I love her. Hey, Violet, what's up? Hello there, Daddy. I just thought I'd take a nice afternoon walk. This place truly does bring back memories of home. You lived on your own personal island? Nothing quite that. Bourgeoisie. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Want to see? For me, I... I motioned for her to follow me into the mansion. 
I asked Kat to pull a few, few strings, and well, we have everything we need to bake whatever we want now. Oh my. Violet looked at me with childlike wonder in her eyes. Let's get right to it then, why don't we? She was practically shaking with excitement. Nice, I got my fucking dugong, baby! Her smile and laughter was positively infectious. We decided to make a chocolate cake. It was her favorite flavor, and I don't remember mine. That said, I also don't remember a thing about how to make cakes, but with Violet, that wasn't a problem. She got me up to speed with a soft and steady hand, giggity, and before long we, take, we had the cake in the oven baking away. I wish it took longer to make. Seeing Violet do what she loved most was a treat. You can bake cake? Nice. Bake me a fucking cake then. Bake a cake with my face on it. No! Bake a cake with my dick on it. No! Bake a cake with my dick on my face. Bake, bake a dick with my cake on my face. Yeah. <laughs> I lost face tracking because my head was in my fucking hands, in case you were wondering. <laughs> when she pulled the cake out of the oven, she looked like a kid on Christmas Day. Oh, dude, she's so cute. Fuck. Now just for the finishing touches, a little more here, a little more there. She was in her own world, humming away as she danced around the cake, decorating it as she went along. I couldn't help but smile and watch her in adoration. She's pure happiness right now. I wish I could take this moment and just freeze it in time for safekeeping. I can't wait to share this with the others. But first, Daddy, would you mind testing it? Oh yeah, I'll have a piece of your fucking cake, Violet. Hell yeah. You don't have to ask, believe me. I'm first in line to try it out. Squirt the icing on her face. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, I'm just unsure if what I make is worth eating or not. Why's that? My family's caretaker, Lucine, was the one who taught me to bake. Besides my sister, Lucine was the only one who ever bothered to try what I made. Sometimes I wonder they told me it's delicious just to make me feel better. I took a little, I took a little off the top of her cake with my finger and licked it off. <laughs> yes, boy. No, you need to embrace this. The transformation has begun. It's delicious, Violet. You better believe it. Would you want to help me a little longer? I'm having far too much fun to just stop now. I just started making some cookies, and I quite enjoy your company and help, Danny. I'd love to. Let me know what I uh, let me know how I can help. Violet passed me a bowl full of cookie dough and then a tray. All you need to do is make little cookie-shaped pieces out of this dough, and then put them on the tray. Do try not to put them, any of them too close together on the tray, or it'll become something of a mutant cookie in the oven. Got it. No mutant cookies here. I ripped off a piece of dough from the bowl and rolled it into the size and shape of a cookie. Oh, yeah. She, the, the, the beauty mark that she has? Very cute. Very cute. It's For, for me, it's, it's the long hair and the beauty mark and stuff. Killing it. Violet's a cutie. I ripped off a piece of cookie from the bowl and rolled it in the size and shape of a cookie. Perfect, you're natural. Thanks, Violet. I... wow. In the time it took me to make one, Violet had made six perfect cookies. She moved with mechanical efficiency as she kneaded balls of dough into perfectly shaped cookies. Wow, I thought you were great before, but you're really incredible. How long have you been doing this? Perhaps since I was about to say five. To this day, it remains the only thing I can best my sister at. I just finished making another cookie as Violet finished three more. She held up one of the cookies and raised it to her face. You've gotten quite skilled at this, Daddy. I just wanted to say again, thank you for arranging this. I'm on top of the world right now. Why are you paying attention to a PNG of a woman? I don't know, plenty of PNG tuber watchers do. It's not so far-fetched. It was my pleasure, Violet. Gosh, she's adorable when she smiles. For a few seconds, we kept working on the cookies in an amiable? I don't know that word. Silence, our eyes locked on each other's. You said you had a sister? Why, yes indeed. 
Viola Valentine, first twins in the family. She, oh, I'm out of room on my tray. She flashed a devious smile in my direction right before she lightly threw a dough ball at my face. What's with that cheeky, before I could react, it splattered against and stuck to my face. I'll put my balls on your face, fuck you. She burst into childlike laughter. Nice catch, daddy. Perhaps you might try using your hands next time. Oh, it's on. Balls in your jaw? <laughs> I couldn't stop myself from smiling as I grabbed some more ammo from my own cookie tray and threw them at her. She dodged them with ease and laughed. It's quite humorous how an old caretaker managed to do what you are to struggling, you're struggling to do now. I'm bad at reading. I interrupted her gloating with another dough ball throw. This time it made a satisfying splat against her left cheek. Strike! Oh, you are so going down. Her smile turned devilish as she grabbed another dough. This is like... There's... I wish that this would be animated in some way. <laughs> oh shit, I have only a second before her next volley. I... I'm gonna go on the offensive. I'm gonna strike. Best defense is a good offense. I just started to reach for another dough ball from the tray when dough ball when a dough ball splatted against my forehead, sending me recoiling backwards. Yeah, show us that stuff splatting on her face. Let me see the balls hitting her chin. Um, and then another landed right next to it. She's beating my fucking ass. And then another. I crumpled to the floor in defeat. I declare this my victory in absolute confidence. She laughed as she pointed at all the dough on my face. I took the opportunity to interrupt her speech with another dough ball. Splatted right against her left cheek, this cartoonish ass impact zone. Oh, you're even more dead now. Forget surviving this crazy TV show. I don't know if I'm surviving in the next five minutes. It was like looking at a tiger dead in the eye. Violet reloaded her ammo and was winding up for another throw. It was all I could do to bleh, it was all I could do to reach for one more ball and scream in defiance. Bring it on! Some say you could still hear my screams in that kitchen to this day. Wait, am I read all this is in past tense? Am I retelling this story? We finished cleaning up after our impromptu food fight and brought the desserts that survived the Great War to the porch. Her smile and laughter were infectious. Pardon me, but I guess we can rule out you being a baseball player before you came to this island. She put her hand tenderly against my face as she wiped off some remaining dough. We locked eyes yet again. Her eyes were practically magnetic. Thanks for playing along, Daddy. I suppose it's been too long since I've had that much fun. So thank you for indulging my little whim. It was a lot of fun for- oh, my voice. It was a lot of fun for me too, Violet. Don't mention it. Besides, I think we got- I got a few good hits in to make it worth it. I'm worried for you. It appears your amnesia is getting even worse. Violet laughed as she picked off some more crumbs off my face and licked them off her finger. Her eyes seemed to linger on mine. I do hope we could spend more time together soon. I quite like this. I'd like that, Violet. I had a lot of fun with you too. You're full of surprises, you know? Just wait and see. There's more where that came from. Sex. She's saying sex. We're doing sex. I can't believe it. Spend the rest of the day talking and eating little desserts together on the porch. That sounds awesome. Though Violet seemed quite distant when I first met her, I learned that the real Violet was nothing like that at all and full of surprises. She could be unexpectedly shy one moment and then mischievous as a child another. One thing's for sure, being around her makes my heart skip a beat and the time fly. Before I realized how much time had passed, it was already pitch black outside. Seems like a nice night for a walk. Oh hey daddy, what are you doing out here? Just going for a walk, care to join me? Sure, why not? I got a few minutes, how about we do a circle around the mansion grounds? Sounds good to me. So how'd your day with Violet go? Ah, are we already back to our daily interviews? Fuck in the bushes. Why Why in the bushes? <laughs> Did the island run out of wine? That's wholly unrelated. 
But yes. Any, uh, anyway, my date with Violet today was... Um... So should I fucking... Because I'm on camera right now. Because uh, I've been saying all the dates were good. I'm going to see what happens when I say one is bad, even though that was super fucking cute. It was all right, I guess. Oh, really? That's too bad. Violet said in an interview that she thought the two of you really connected, but I guess it wasn't both ways. See, I'm making fucking ratings, baby. Well, it doesn't matter. The audience thinks you did, and that's enough to keep you breathing. Oh, so should I have just pretended to... whatever. <sighs> keep it up with what you're doing. Our ratings have only been climbing higher and higher every day. But it's not time to celebrate just yet. I know, don't worry, I'm sticking to the plan. That's good to hear. Seriously, if you got yourself killed by not following the plan at this point, you deserve it. Cat is a devious. You weren't here. The cat, cat is quite devious. <laughs> Looks like we finished our walk. Anyway, I gotta get back to work, and that was a nice break. N night, daddy. Night, cat. I read it in the wrong voice, I don't give a fuck. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut eye. I, I wish that they would at least like color code the different speech boxes so it was easier for me, but whatever, it's fine. The scent of something delicious being freshly baked wafted through the kitchen. It's just the two of us. Looks like this batch didn't turn out well either. She frowned. Hey, on the bright side, I can at least tell it's bread this time. Uh-oh, that wasn't the right thing to say. It has been a while since I've done this. Sorry, Daddy, I wanted you to have something good. I reached for one of the pieces of bread. Wait, I'm sure it's... I took one bite and then wolfed the bread down like it was the last of its kind. It's delicious. I reached down for another to prove my point. You really mean it? I took a moment to wolf down the second piece. Cross my heart. You're just saying that. She smiled. Now oh, that's the moment I've been waiting for. She hugged me with all her might. But I love that about you, you know? I love you, Daddy. I held her tight. I love you, too. For a moment, the whole world was just me and her. You've said this about fucking, like, four different girls already. And that was all that mattered. What I wouldn't give to have you back like this. I walked down to the kitchen where the girls were having breakfast. So how was the date? Yeah, tell us. Tara was furiously scribbling down notes with the title War Plans in bold. Okay, Gamer Girl is up to something. It was really quite nice. We actually made this cake and cookies yesterday together, Daddy and I. I, I hope you all enjoy it. They're amazing, Violet. Thanks for making for us. Thank you so much. They're so delicious. Tara scribbled, War of Attrition is likely not an option. What are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. So, how come there's cookie batter everywhere? No matter where I look, I can see batter on every surface of the kitchen. Yeah, I fucking bukkake this kitchen. What you gonna do about it? I'll catch the puzzle just for fun. Oh, I did not get to read that line. Oh, well. Oh, that's... You sure it was just baking together? Yeah, we fucked covered in cookie dough. Sorry. Actually, that sounds really lit. Oh, I thought it was more than that. I charaded as if I was heartbroken. I gotta hand it to you, Violet. I didn't think you had it in you. Hubba hubba. Bender and Jake the dog share the same voice actor? Yeah, of course. You didn't know that? Um, what's his name? Uh, John DiMaggio? Yeah, they've, they share the same voice actor. Hubba hubba. Wait, no, nothing like that happened. Ellie and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. I don't get, I don't get it. That's cause you're a good person, Yui. <laughs> 
Uh, I think what Allie's trying to say is that Violet and Daddy, Allie stuffed a cookie into Scarlet's mouth before she could finish her sentence. Wow, these, co these cookies are pretty useful. You gotta teach me how to make these sometime, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Allie. Ooh, teach me too. Why should Daddy have all the good stuff? We spend the rest of the morning fooling around in the kitchen. Fuck yeah. Morning, Daddy. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, considering how you edit the footage that keeps me alive. Drunk. That sounds like a win-win to me, if you ask me. Can you believe it? We're already on the sixth day of the show. Is it already? Time sure goes by fast. No kidding. Anyway, it's time to wrap up phase two. You just need to go on a second date with your last soulmate candidate. Shouldn't be too hard, no? Please don't jinx me. Break a leg. Seriously, actually breaking a leg would be a lot better for you than messing up today's date. Not helping, Cap. Time to get today's date started with none other than my third soulmate candidate, Allie. Tomboy GF, Tomboy GF, Tomboy GF! Who gives me head scratchies? Oh, you want head scratchies, doggy? Here. Hi! Howdy, Daddy. You ready for round two? I figured you might want to hang out somewhere where rollerblades don't work. Oh, I spent all night dreaming of the next chance I would get to use those two little death machines. And I think you'll love what we've got in store today. There's no wheels where we're going. Oh, are we going motherfucking windsurfing? What do you mean? You'll see. Follow me. Uh, first, I'm going to need you to close your eyes. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Nothing to worry about, Danny. I'll be right next to you the whole time. Because that's always gone well. Hasn't it? Allie moved behind me and covered her, uh, my eyes with her hands. Now let's just keep walking forward. Trust me. Right. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't somewhat enjoying this. My heart skipped a beat when she wrapped her arms around me. You little slut. I cautiously took step after step forward. First I felt dirt, then sand, and then water? Are you trying to make me drown myself? Of course not, though I have to admit this does look a lot like how they killed people back in the day. Hello? You're going to want to take a really high step forward next, or it's going to hurt. I raised my right leg as high as I could, then stepped forward. Something clanged, like metal. Next, I brought over my left leg. Keep your eyes closed for just a second longer. I gotta do one thing. Ellie cocked a fucking handgun and put it to my head. Ellie let go of me and took a few steps forward. Brace yourself! Wait, what's... Oh, this is a cute shot. Fuck! I was knocked off my feet by the sudden movement and opened my eyes on reflex. Water sprayed onto my body as I struggled to regain my balance. All aboard the SS St. Alley. Isn't it supposed to be one or the other? Whatever. Welcome aboard the fucking alley boat. When and where did you get a boat? Pretty cool, right? I found this baby in the back of the mansion this morning. You just found it? Anyway, I asked Cat if I could take it for a spin. She said that as long as we stay within a few clicks of the island, we're good, or the engine will automatically shut off. So I thought, why not have a little joyride around the island? Uh, yeah, sure, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? There's no fun in thinking that, is there? So why bother? Why indeed, thought the person stuck on a life or death dating show. We cruised around the island for a while, taking note of the different buildings covering the island. The mansion seems so small from way out here. Hours flew by as we cruised around. Allie took a deep breath and sighed. You okay, Allie? You don't seem as chipper as usual. I guess I'm a little homesick. It's nothing to do with you, promise. I just... I'm just worried about my old man. I'm sorry, wasn't your father... Oh yeah, he's long gone. You know the old story about New Asia. I'm talking about Lucas. He was a good friend of my dad's and he's taking care of me and a whole lot of other kids. Sounds like a cool dude. You sure have a way with words, don't you, Danny? I don't dwell much on the past. It just slows you down. I couldn't agree more. 
Is that the amnesia talking? Who knows? She laughed as she put her hand tenderly against my cheek. I'm more worried that he'll get himself into trouble if I'm not around to keep him in check. What's he like? Let's just say a lot of how I act is from him, but I'm much more restrained. If you're like this, I guess I wouldn't survive even a single day hanging out with him. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing at all. Ellie made a sharp turn, and sudden force almost threw me out of the boat. Hey, what was hey, what was that for? John Madden football, huh? What are you fucking Poi? Never changed, buddy. Oh, nothing at all. I couldn't help but smile at her. She was practically shining when she had that devilish grin. I'm sure she's doing just fine, Allie. Or he. I I'm sorry for misgendering your dad. <laughs> Fuck! He's probably watching right now, just to make sure you're safe. You're probably right now that I think about it. He always wastes the day watching shitty reality TV shows. Oh, he's probably watching this one. Which gives me an idea. What's that? With one hand on the wheel, Allie turned to me and kissed me on the lips. I kissed her back. It felt like lightning was running through my cock. Veins. The boat started to rock back and forth more and more uncontrollably, but we didn't stop. That's gotta give Lucas a heart attack. Seriously, what kind of father lets their daughter go on a trashy show like this? I couldn't help but laugh. Eh, whatever. It's been a fun ride so far. And here's to the next one with you, Daddy. She kissed me again, sending the boat into an erratic frenzy. We spent the rest of the day together cruising around on the boat until we ran out of daylight. I'm feeling a little bit of the late night munchies. I guess I'll go head downstairs. Hell yeah, we smoking weed. And walk to the kitchen and open the fridge. Sweet. There's some leftover cookies that Violet and I had made together. I grabbed a few and wolfed them down. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Got a case of the midnight munchies? I figured I'd do my civil duty and help finish the cookies Violet and I made. Right, only a good Samaritan would finish all the cookies, so no one else would have to make that sacrifice. I'm just too good of a person, I know, it gets me in trouble sometimes. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk with you. What's up? How'd your date with Allie today go? I'm gonna say awesome, because it was pog. It was pretty great. There was never a dull moment with Allie. I'm just scratching the surface, but I like what I see and I really want to get to know her more. Interesting, interesting, that's good. Allie's pretty out there as far as people go. I could see why she'd have a hard time opening up. But from what I saw today, I'm sure she'd open up to anybody. If she'd open up to anybody, it'd be you. People thought she didn't have much of a chance here. I guess you two are proving them wrong. I guess so. Well, that should be enough footage for today. Thanks, Daddy. You'll be happy to know that phase two of the plan was a smashing success. That's great to hear. <laughs> no kidding, the love square between Yui... Oh yeah, it is a square, isn't it? Between Yui, Violet, and Allie has viewers on the edge of their seats. You've actually broken the record for ratings on a killer dating game show. It's not as niche as it sounds. Do I get a plaque for that? This has got to count for something, somewhere. We don't have it printed yet, but I've prepared your tombstone in advance if you're looking for a souvenir. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Cat. Never let it be said that I'm anything but supportive. Anyway, we're on to phase three. It's pretty much the same as phase two, except with third dates this time. And one caveat. What's that, Cat? I'm sure you've got a favorite in mind between Yui, Violet, and Allie. Yeah, sure. And if you want to maximize your chances of getting out of here alive, save the best for last. It gives audiences something to look forward to. Sounds good to you? Makes sense to me. Good. That's all for today. I'll see you later. Night, Danny. Good night, Cat. And thanks again for the help till now, Cat. I realize I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. Guess I'll call it a night. I walk back to my room. Time to get some shut-eye. 
Hey yo, E I O U. I just realized E I O U reads out loud as A hey, yo. <laughs> so what's this supposed to do? Oh, I could. S what? This is the first time I've been able to see anybody in in my dream. Because before it was like, can't see their faces. It's only a prototype, but technical details aside, you can think of it as a memory rewriter. So it rewrites memories? Pretty much. Think of it like a surgeon's scalpel. With it, you can make someone forget things as big as who they are or something as small as a specific conversation. So if you use this thing on someone, anything's fair game. You could erase anything you wanted. Exactly. Well, maybe it's not really a scalpel, since it comes with a reset button. It's sad, though. This was supposed to help people after the war. I was supposed to help people after the war. I'm sorry, Scarlet. Don't worry about it. I might not be able to help them, but... It doesn't mean I can't help you and your partner escape from this madness. Thank you, really. Thank you so much. I know you're taking an incredible risk for us that honestly most people would never. Don't mention it, Teddy. It's what I do. If they manage to trace it back to me, then... Oh, sorry, it's her. If they manage to trace it back to me, then I'll accept whatever comes. It'll be the first time I helped somebody in quite some time. Scarlet. The boat's just past the woods behind the rocky enclave near the beach. It won't be there forever, so act quickly. The amount of con... Don't worry. Because the half of the point is that I'm also missing a lot of context. It'll be suicide to go for it during the day, so I recommend heading there near midnight. Thank you, Scarlet. You sure don't want to. You sure you don't want to come with us? Someone has to stay here to help the people that fall in this spider's web. You don't have to be so noble. I envy her, you know, to get to leave this place with you. But someone needs to stay here to do what's right. Wait, hold on, I'm, I'm piecing together something right now. The book. The fucking book! Hold up, pause. The, okay. Put on a little bit of music. The book. The fucking book that, um, that's, that Scarlet read to us was, um, about, like, um, Fuck, what was it? How she had to like choose. There was like a girl who had to choose between leaving her kingdom forever with the, the person she loved or staying to keep the kingdom in order. Um, and in that story, there was a witch who wiped people's memories. Um, hmm. But in the book, the witch was her mother? So is someone here Scarlet's mother? I have no fucking clue. A beach scene? Seriously? Not only gratuitous, but oh so predictable. <laughs> oh come on, it's the beach, don't be so negative. I guess you're right, it's not every day you get to go to the beach. I mean you guys like live on an island. For the show. Are you alright, Tara? You've looked better. Tara was practically crawling on the beach sand like a zombie with one arm. Sunlight, my worst enemy. We meet again, you piece of shit. There's some shade under the beach umbrellas over there, Tara. You look like you could use it. I swear I'd never seen Tara move so fast. Let's go in the water, come on. Scarlet grabbed Violet by the hand and pulled her towards the water. Oh, but I didn't bring anything to change. Oh, no. Now that's the spirit. Wait up, you guys. Are we... Hey, wait a minute. Is, <laughs> Is there a nudity in this game? Because I didn't check. It's okay. We might be deleting a VOD in a minute. And just like that, they're off. <laughs> you hope to join them? I'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Ellie pulled me in with her arms and kissed me passionately. 
It's hotter when the other girls are around. Do you think they saw? I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping. Okay, that does kind of, that, that does do something for me. <laughs> the look on your face is priceless, my god. Try to keep up. Allie ran to join the other girls in the water. I smiled and followed suit. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying the warm weather on the beach. Morning, Daddy. Let's kick off phase three. Hopefully we can wrap this up quickly and you'll be back to your old life soon. I better be. As nice as Island is, it's a gilded cage. You'll be able to go back to your old life soon. That's a promise. Well, unless you make a mess out of your next three dates, I can't help you out there. But assuming you do, you'll get to leave here with one of Yui, or Violet, or Allie. I'm leaning towards Allie lately. But first, it's time to pick which of them you'll be going on a third date with today. So I'm gonna save the best for last, right? So Allie's gonna go last because they told me to save the best one for last. So I'm gonna do them in reverse order of my favorites and start with Yui. The moment's finally here. The final date with the best girl. What? You don't fucking decide. Remember, if you mess this up, there's an army of people out there waiting to take your place. She's not the fucking best girl. She's the worst girl out of the three. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> I fucked up somewhere. You didn't plan to lose your memories and end up on an insane TV show either, but look how that turned out. Right now, Allie's best girl, though. Life sure is funny, huh? You're telling me. Life's never what you'd expect. But having a life with Yui, you'd be the luckiest person alive. I'm not saying that because I've got money on you picking her. You promise? Let's get those cameras rolling, people. I could see Yui from my room's window, walking around the front of the mansion. It looked like she was looking for something. I practically jumped down the stairs, then ran outside to see her. Hi there, Daddy! What's the hurry? You look like you're in quite the rush. I just wanted to see you a little earlier. Gosh, that's really sweet of you. I've been meaning to see you too. Um, I've just been doing a lot of thinking since you helped me get Bun Bun Bun. Oh, how's the big B doing? Uh, come to think of it, that's why I came out here. He ran out here in a hurry and I was trying to catch up. Though this has already happened a few times, and each time he somehow ends up back in my room. I'm sure he's fine, I wouldn't be worried. I just can't help myself, you know? You're a really sweet person, Yui. I love that about you. You are too, Danny. Do you have time today to hang out? There's something I'd like to do with you. I mean, I'm on the... I'm on a TV show, and the show is me hanging out with you, so yes, I believe I may have time. Of course I do, for you. Even if it's a little boring? Yeah, that's why you're my least favorite, because you're fucking boring. <laughs> I'm sure it can't be boring if it's with you, you know. Cap. Whatever it is, I'm down. Okay, here we go. And so we walked together to the beach and started fishing, side by side. Hell yeah, brother K. Kona. Ah, now this is the life. I have to admit, this isn't what I expected. This was by far the best way to pass the time out in the countryside. To be honest, I'm not much for crazy activities like skydiving or shopping trips. I'd rather just spend my days quietly with the person I love, talking from dusk till dawn. Just enjoying each other's company, you know? That's the best. Is this okay with you? Of course it is, Yui. Getting the chance to learn more about you, to try the things you like, that's where the real fun is. I'd also much prefer the, to doing crazy things all the time, too. Though I do think shopping trips aren't really in the same category as skydiving. They are when you live deep in the country. Hey, you up for a little contest? Wet t-shirt contest? Let's go. Want to see who can catch more fish? Oh. You're on! Apparently, I had fanned the flames of Yui's competitive spirit. For the next few hours, we kept on at it while we enjoyed each other's conversation and company. Yui was a natural. She was catching fish left and right. 
<laughs> oh boy, you poor, poor little baby. Each time she caught one, she let it back into the ocean, and each time I wondered when my first one would bite. Oh Jesus, he's not getting nothing. I never ended up catching a single one, but that didn't matter. What did was that we were having a ball. Wait, what ads? Why, you shouldn't have ads, you're subbed. Are they, uh, hold on, boy, are they serving you ads while you're subbed? Because I have that turned off. Because that absolutely fucking lootly should not be happening. Oh, on a playlist that you're listening to. Understand. Thanks for indulging me, Daddy. Hey, I had a lot of fun too, Yui. Don't worry about it. I was gonna say, if you're getting ads, I'm, I'm getting Mr. Bezos on the phone right now. <laughs> you don't have to lie. Spotify, dude, Spotify Premium is like one of the only subscription services I pay for because I use it for stream and also I have fucking massive playlists on there that I don't want to remake anywhere else. I know I'm not like the other girls. Oh, yeah. Pick me ass, bitch. I grew up with nothing, and it shows in how I spend my time, what I wear, everything. I love you so much, you know? If I had you, I'd give you all the love in my heart. Every moment of every day. You're still boring. I'm sorry. Like, I know I'm being mean, but like, compared to the other ones, that's like very obviously not gonna be you, honey. I really would live for love. That's what I always wanted. But I know I could never give you all the things anyone else could. The money, the acclaim, the excitement. Also, you're drawn like you're 12, so... You know? <laughs> I can't. I can't. And I find myself wondering, what if you picked me? And the second we leave this island, you realize that I can't give you the life you deserve, and you start to hate me. Don't worry, I realized it before then, and that's why you're not getting picked. We can avoid this situation entirely. Oh, you son of a bitch. You could tell from my face tracking, couldn't you, that I was a slouchy little motherfucker. You bitch. Oops, it's gonna be on this screen. I don't know what I'd do if it came to that. <laughs> so before it comes to that, I wanna ask you. Would just me be enough? Though I know how I feel, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to saying this would be a terrible idea for ratings. <laughs> After all, the more girls that are in the running, the higher the ratings are. Of course you'd be enough, Huey. Oh, so I Brother, why are you censor my free speech? <laughs> I don't need to be in the spotlight. I don't need to be rich. More than all that, I want you and just you. This is literally 1984. I've waited so long to hear you say that. She looks like she's gonna be fucking insane, by the way. She pulled me close and kissed me. I think Yui might be evil, yeah. That's... That, that I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting big Monica vibes off of her. I love you so much. I always have, and I always will. I'll always put our happiness first. I'll make you so happy every day. I'm sorry, Yui. Here on out, it's just gonna be me and you. I just can't hold myself back anymore, Daddy. She pushed me onto the warm sand of the beach and pressed herself against me. Yui. <laughs> she kissed me once more. Her hams were her hams. Her hams! Steamed hams! Aurora Borealis! Contained entirely within this reality show, at this time of year, on this desert island. Yes. May I see it? No. <laughs> she kissed me once more. Her hands wrapped around me as mine pulled her closer. <laughs> But my heart isn't in it. I think I fucked up and made Yui evil. Which might actually make her character interesting. Hooray. 
And just like that, that's my last date with Yui. Time sure goes by quickly. I thought I'd find you here. Why's that? You tend to come out here when you're lost in thought is all. You're thinking about how the show's almost over, am I right? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Well, it's not over yet, so don't let up just yet. Speaking of which, how was your day with Yui today? <laughs> did you hear an unforgettable luncheon? You sure did. Um, so... I'm on camera right now and I need to keep the ratings up and she's asking me about the date with Yui and I have to pretend that it's going well, so I'm gonna go with... Awesome! Sugoi! Yui... Yui's the most wonderful woman in the world. Somehow, she could take the most normal things and turn them into irreplaceable memories. More than anything, I just want to make more memories with her every day. And make her happier than anyone's ever been. I do- I wanted to say alright, but like... Man, I should've to make her take that evil turn. Push her over the edge. Test her metal. Geez, we're gonna have to edit that to stop people from throwing up. I get it though. You, my friend, are luckier than anyone has any right to be. Yui is pretty sus. Better pack your bags. I've got a feeling you'll be heading to the countryside soon. Or I'll be dead. Soon. Anyway, I'd ask if you're thinking of choosing her at the end, but I'd rather wait and see how it plays out. I'm not picking her. I, I don't really care. The, the plot implications? Don't care. At this point, I'm picking Allie. Unless Violet pulls out some super hot shit. You gonna stay out here for long? Like a dick? Violet pulls out a dick? <laughs> nah, I'll probably be going back inside soon. I'll keep you company till then. I figure you might want to have a conversation with someone who won't get you killed if it's not TV worthy. Thanks, Cat. Don't mention it. You know, I'm curious, Cat. What's up? Oh, the music. Let's say I knew I was screwed. That there was no way of me getting out here alive. That the only way left for me to survive was just to run. Would you let me escape? Of course, Daddy. Cat seems- I- I call- dude, first fucking like five minutes of playing, I said I would let Cat- I would let Cat peg me. As I recall, the first time I saw her little PNG, I asked her to tie her belt around my neck. I stand by that. And she shields- she shield- she still should! Of course, Daddy. Thanks, Cat. That means a lot. It's no big deal. We stayed out for a little- she's- like, why would I say that to her and on camera? I'm going to get fucking killed tonight. We stayed out for a little longer before we called it a night. I'm lucky I have someone I can trust on my side. You fool! Dude, Haunt Salute is becoming like my favorite of my emotes. My favorite of my stationary emotes. Jam just can't be beaten. But I really like how the Wubbuffet came out. As, like me as a Wubbuffet. Oh, hell yeah. Sunkern? The strongest Pokemon? I slept like shit. No surprise considering how yesterday went. I lay in bed for a while to try to conserve what energy I could for the day. Dude, the fucking Yui thing. Like, I've been in that real life situation. Like... A little too many too too many times where like someone's just like got like feelings I'm like I I to do I do not reciprocate this and I'm going to pretend like I do because I feel like I'm in danger of being a meanie pants in hindsight that fucked like that put me in a lot of relationships I shouldn't have been in I lay in bed for a while to try to conserve what energy I could for the day. Guess it's time to find Cat. Morning, Daddy. For the record, Cat's my favorite voice to do. You'll be happy to know that your first that your third date with Yui yesterday was pretty well received. 
Not the highest rated we've had so far, but enough to give us more room to keep going. Yeah, well, because she fucking assaulted me, my guy. <laughs> Sounds good enough to me. For your next date, make sure you pick someone who you think the audience will respond well to. Though at this point, I think you're in a pretty good spot either way. I hope that that actually means that I'm fine. Without further ado, which soulmate candidate's gonna be? So they told me to save the best for last, which is why Allie's going last. Allie used to be at like the very bottom of the list and she grew on me like aggressively. I am a fickle bitch. <laughs> you didn't let me down, Daddy. I had my doubts with Violet at first, but now I could see why she's the audience's favorite. Because she's pretty. Don't mess it up. Wouldn't dream of it. I found Violet in the same place I'd met her. She was taking out a fresh batch of cookies from the oven. No, 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 what, 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 what? What is your input, peon? What have thee to say? <laughs> uh, Sableye would be the closest that you could to eat my gem. But as previously specified, it is magically bound to me and cannot be removed. I literally wrote that into the lore to deter your activity. <laughs> so congratulations, boy. You helped influence the lore. You are you are truly a pillar of the community. To the fact that I had to write lore to keep you from eating my forehead, Jim. Also, sh is that even what color shiny Sableye is? That's ugly. Regular Sableye slaps so much harder. What the fuck? I've never seen a shiny Sableye before, I don't think. Wait, weren't they red? I thought they were red. Hold on, this I need a second. What the shiny fucking sable I look like? No shit, it actually does look like that. That is a gross color. That is god awful. Dude, they need to give sable an evolution already. I'd be so here for that. That's, that's just, he's just a, a happy little guy. He needs more appreciation. Morning, Violet. I slid next to her and grabbed one of the cookies in one smooth motion. Because I'm a smooth motherfucker. <laughs> Ow, hot. I flung the cookie into my mouth anyway. Worth the pain. Damn, that was delicious. <laughs> Wait a moment, you silly goose. You never fail to make me laugh, Daddy. I quite admire that. I did a mocking bow with my arms behind my back and put on my best fancy accent. Uh, the pleasure's all mine, milady. Alright, we'll add that. There we go, voice number 10. My own fancy accent. If you like gold, you should be trying to steal my earrings. Those can be removed. Those are just regular earrings. Stop, you. I wolfed down another cookie. Hell yeah. <laughs> you do know those are sh for sharing with everyone, right? I'm part of everyone. What's the problem here? We laughed together for a bit. We were f at the bit we were performing. Oh, that reminds me, Daddy. What's up, Violet? It's come to my attention that the show will be ending quite soon. Yeah, it is. Poi, I highly encourage you to read the lore because only one of these is even an eye. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, do cheer up, please. I don't intend to feel sorry for myself. <laughs> Instead, I want you to use the time we have left here to do something I've always longed to do. She's gonna peg me, I can't believe it. And what's that? <laughs> what I want is to go on a date, the kind that normal people go on. Oh fuck yeah, let's go to let's let's go to uh Chipotle and then uh walk around the mall aimlessly. 
That's what dating's like in the Midwest for poor people when you're a teenager. I don't know what dating is in adults like. I, I haven't done that. Wait, hold on. Is that true? Okay, I pull up. Hey, Tris. I didn't even know you were fucking streaming. What's good, though? Why don't you go ahead and shout yourself out, honey? We are, like, four and a half hours into... Yes, boy, there is your mother. Thank you for the raid. You were playing some more Cold War. Are you, uh, you camo grinding or what? Dude, we're like four and a half hours into this, and I've died a couple times, I think, and also I have been doing ten different voices, so... <laughs> I'm gonna not have a voice tomorrow, almost certainly. The kind that only I, that I've only read about, having a picnic, watching a movie at the theater, long walks on the beach. Mommy Milkers. Even something crazy like a paint night. And then we can watch the sunset go down together. It'd be so romantic. Her enthusiasm was adorable. She was practically bouncing around the room like a ping pong ball. I think we can make that happen. Can we now? Which one? Why not all of them? <laughs> You're too late? For... What? After, if it's a spoiler, maybe avoid it. But what do you think you're too late for? You touched grass today? Are you okay? Do you need me to call someone? I can. She's got the most beautiful smile. Damn. Fuck touching grass. Smoke some grass instead. You're... <sighs> really? You've gotta be kidding me. You can count on me, Violet. I'll make it happen. Yay. She did a little cheer and dance. Gosh, I can't stop smiling looking at her. It was nice today, yeah, I took my dog on a walk and stuff. I mean, I walk my dog every day, but I took him a little longer than usual today. Because he's a good boy. He's laying on my feet right now. That said, I have no idea what to do. Guess this will be touch and go. It wouldn't be fair if you figured out everything. Let me handle the picnic. She pulled out a basket from behind her. Care to join me in the lovely outdoors? Yeah, there's bugs outside. That sucks. I wouldn't miss it for the world, Violet. You did come in at a good time, because I'm on my... Th so this is like the second cycle on this TV show of, th of uh, dates that I'm going on. And this is the third date of the second cycle. And I'm on the second girl of the three. So you're pretty close to a chapter ending right now, so some crazy shit might happen. So I'm kind of hyped for that. Also, fucking, I'll shout out Atris my goddamn self. I told you to shout yourself out. How dare you? How dare you disobey me? <laughs> I am your father. I am your father. Oh, okay. Yeah. We walked outside for a while and then oh this hold on what what do we got here we got some is this like gonna, this looks like maybe like curry of some kind with beans no not beans maybe beans dude yeah I just I wish the text box would move I like to I like how anime food looks I gotta admire this shit these are super cute drawings though I like these. Walked outside for a while, then settled on a lovely spot with a nice mix of shade and sunlight for our picnic. The way her silver caught in the sunlight, it was enough to make you believe in angels. She was so beautiful. Dig in. I've brought plenty. Please don't hold yourself back. What am I waiting for? Stop telling me to wait. Stare at the dimple. It's not a dimple, it's a beauty mark. Learn the correct terminology so that way you can appreciate her beauty. Also, were you just trying to distract me from the fact that you were transforming into a sphiel? Because, remember, haunted sees all. I've got to be the luckiest person alive. Save that talk for after you try this. I'm letting you have the first bite. Should I be worried? I smiled as she mock-pouted. <laughs> just kidding. 
She laughed and smiled as she spoon-fed me a delicious egg roll. I don't need to control you, boy. You're, you're my secret weapon. Some sort of bird seed, animal cracker over potatoes, and wieners. Alright, none of that's accurate, but I have decided that's canon. This looks... These don't even... Like, that's what I thought these were at first. Like, um... Summer sausage or some shit. But no, that looks like, um... Rolls of, like, prosciutto. Which is fuego, by the way. Absolute fire. Called it. I'm the luckiest person alive. Not just because the food's delicious, but because you're here next to me, Violet. You've made this week so special. I feel the same way, Daddy. And there's more where that came from. You're absolutely right. I've got something prepared for just the two of us next. You owe me one, Daddy. We enjoyed the delicious food and conversation over the rest of the afternoon. So, okay, I got Kat to set something up for me. We walked back to the mansion hand in hand, smiling all the while. Are we complete? Like, everything has gotten so fucking tame compared to where we started. There was a bitch with a minigun in the first chapter. And then I got isekai'd. And now I'm going on, like, regular picnics. Next stop, the only movie theater on the island. I didn't know we had a room like this in the mansion. I'm not surprised. Tara's pretty territorial about this room from what I've seen and heard. But right now, it's our very own private movie theater. I did a little jazz hands at the TV. If I could move my hands, I would. Violet clapped as if I had just put on the performance of a lifetime. Jeez. Jeez, poi. You know what, buddy? Sure. You could, be a, you could be a demon weapon from Soul Eater. Uh, go ahead and decide what weapon you transform into, just, just for fun. Go ahead. Like a... Maybe? Maybe, Shadow. Maybe. I could see where that one's coming from. The rest is nonsense, but I see where that one's coming from. I made a dramatic bow and then took a look at what movies we had in store. It was only the Shrek series. Let's see, we have rom-coms, fantasy, fantasy medieval movies, war movies, a few superhero movies, and last but not least, a horror movie. Oh, yeah. That actually blows my mind, Mako, because I read the word horror movie. I was like, damn, if only Mako was here. And then you were. You're my favorite kaiju in the whole world, you know that? I'll put on a rom-com. From what Violet was saying earlier, this would definitely be her favorite. No, I want to watch the horror movie. I'm fucking want to do spooky stuff. I started the movie, then went back and sat next to Violet with my arm around her. Slick. The story was about a girl. This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. And now she looks so sad in photographs. <laughs> <laughs> My brain took that one and fucking ran. <laughs> the story was about a girl who moved to a place called New York to become a writer, falls in love with the boy she meets there, and eventually realizes her dream and, and her love. This is... I... I <laughs> Man. Oh, I want, I want the deli bird. Boy, our challenge continues. Who will catch the first shiny deli bird? Wait. I have the I have just the solution. That may be my last cherish ball. But cherish balls have higher shiny odds. You just got that song out of your head? Aw oh, man. Well you'll absolutely love her when she smiles. <laughs> it wasn't anything special, but Violet was thoroughly entranced for the whole movie. Me, I was more entranced by her. After the credits rolled, Violet practically burst into tears. Oh, hell yeah! Let me get my boy a fucking treat. Also, how we like in the new Super Mario Sunshine fucking thing that I made for him getting treats. Here, let me get him his treat. We gotta do this whole thing, it's been a minute. 
Yeah, you heard the word treat, I know. I'll give you two. I'm gonna give you two small ones. You get a pokey with an e-shadow. Not not pokey main start. Um, so let's get him this really quick. I'll kill my desktop on you. Eh, don't even need to. All right, buddy. Some treats from Mako. You want it? You gotta say thank you to Mako first. Oh, good boy. That's my good boy. He says thank you. I wasn't even playing in this scene before. I was doing this one. Ooh, you got a Charmander though. That's pretty lit. Not, no pun intended, but now that I've said it, I probably should have claimed that I did. Anyway, this is the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. My whole life. <laughs> then how about we take a scene you like from the movie and turn it into a painting? Damn, what the fuck? My character's romantic as shit. That's actually really cute. Oh, dude, what? Your fucking Charmander is Dragon Rage? That's actually really good for, like, low-level play, because it does a set amount of damage. Dragon Rage does a uniform 40 damage, or 40 HP, so anything with, like, a low HP stat, it's actually decent. Mine was not shiny. If it's shiny, it'll tell you in the chat. It'll have, um, what's the emoji gonna look like? It'll have this emoji next to it, if it's shiny. So you'll you'll know without checking the the app if you got a shiny in chat. It's hype as fuck when you see it happen too. Oh, and thanks for the follow. Do you want to go by shadow or downfall? I am a uh, I'm down for either. Yours is epic. I I I don't look at mine until afterwards. But maybe I will at the end, you know. Oh my gosh, you didn't. Just wait right here for a second. And thank you for the follow. If I did not introduce myself before, I am Haunted. I am a demon mage VTuber and just an absolute fucking disappointment to you all. Put it in the channel. I'll I'll see. If I got I haven't even looked if I got anything good tonight. I got I've been catching pretty much everything. I had no idea where to find art supplies, but I knew if there was anyone who could, it was Cat. Cat? I think you know the sitch. You've got some nerve putting this together at the last minute, but I like that about you. Four set up everything they need for a paint night in the main hall of the mansion, stat. Oh man, I just finished my shift. <laughs> Even better, you've got free time for this. And so we started painting on canvases in the main hall. I think I'll paint a picture of... I'm gonna paint... Oh man, th no, hold up. This romantic, cute-ass shit... That's good ratings. It means I won't get fucking murdered. Violet and I watching the movie together. This counts, right? What are you painting, Daddy? I'm painting a picture of us watching the movie together. It's the most beautiful scene from the movie, you know? It'd be a shame not to capture it. You are quite the flirt, you know that? But I like that about you. Her smile could melt the coldest heart. Mm. Oh, wait, your Charmander's Blaze Kick, too? That that also kicks ass. They're, they will be adding uh, Evolution soon, but as of currently, things can't... They, they don't have an Evolution mechanic, and I think what a lot of their problem is is they can't figure out how to work around, like, the, the, uh, the Evolution Stones and shit like that, and, uh, like, Friendship Evolutions, so... The devs are working on it. They're hard at work. It's just two dudes that make the game, so... Well, I'm pretty lenient with it. So which scene are you painting, Violet? The form you choose is a Colt Anaconda. Is that a revolver? I feel like that's a revolver. HHHH, I passed out earlier. It is indeed a revolver. Pretty nice one at that. You know what, boy? I'll let it slide. Hi, Marcy. I don't even know what time it is in Australia. So, I can't really fault you, can I? 
What time is it in Melbourne? <laughs> From carrying the damn show. Dude, Team Rocket? Team Rocket does carry the show. 2.46 p.m.? Okay, so you're, you're just a D-Gen. Yeah, it's about midnight for me. I'm drawing the scene where the girl runs out in the rain to tell the boy that she loves her. It was just so romantic. That is indeed a Wubba Fett emote of me. <laughs> I, I was just saying earlier how it's my favorite of my emotes. She sighed like a love-struck teenager. I could tell she was putting her whole heart into the painting. She captured the scene perfectly. As for me, let's just say I was more focused on making the people have the right number of heads, and was working from there. Yeah, I'm, I am- I too am a Team Rocket enthusiast. I think James is the best character in the whole fucking series. Or Kojiro, if you watch it in Japanese like me, because I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> and I can't wait for the dubs to come out, so I don't. As for me, let's just say I was more focused on making the people have the right number of heads and was working from there. Okay, read that line. An hour or so later, we finished and compared our com final artworks. Not in the usual time zone. Where do kaijus live? In like the Bermuda Triangle? That seems canon. Also, Ink won the Battle Royale. Nice. My sexiest little lurker. Oh, boy. You're gonna love it when the new pop emote gets approved, because it's even better. It matches Atrus's. Because I fucking designed them both, of course. But I specifically made mine and Atrus's together, so that way they would sync up together and, you know. Kaiju live in the Earth's crust? I mean, no. Yes, kind It depends on which fucking... It really depends on what lore you follow, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It depends on the kaiju. Because what, doesn't... I want to say one of them lives in, like, the side of a fucking mountain or something. I, I'm really behind on my kaiju shit, and I'm sorry. I would like to be caught up with it, because I like monsters. <laughs> monsters. Yeah, she's an incredibly talented artist. Me? Not so much. That was embarrassing, but man, it was worth it just to see her smile and break into laughter. I'm trying to get through this date and then go to the next one with the best girl because Tomboy GF fucking grew on me so much. The lowers depth of Mariana's Trench. Wasn't that? Isn't Mariana's Trench a band? Nice. But where in the Mariana's? Like, uh, uh, Saipan? Fucking Guam? Her laugh was interrupted by a gurgle from her stomach. This bitch hungry. Mother would punish me for sure if she heard me make that sound, but who cares now? Oh, you'd be punished for being hungry? Ghidorah's from space. Ghidorah's a whole bitch. Till they a planet. <laughs> yes, perfect. But well, it was unstoppable at this point. Is it time for dinner? I do believe it is. Marcy, you're supposed to know these things. You're supposed to be Mako's simp. I volunteered to cook, but she wanted to go back to the restaurant that we went to on our first date. So we did. Apparently she was trying too hard to be prim and proper back then and didn't actually get to eat as much as she wanted. Mako's your simp. I you guys just kind of simp for each other. Ghidorah is such a dick. She ate up a storm. Almost literally. Almost. We spent dinner wolfing down delicious food without a care in the world and laughing about scenes in the movie and our little artsy adventure. <laughs> Go get the belt. <laughs> then finally we went for the long way to walk on the beach. Oh, and you can, Mako. You could take over the earth. You'd think you, the cutest little kaiju, could. I mean, not little, you're what, th 
300 feet tall if you or did you you were 300 somethings tall I remember things I'm a thing rememberer We held hands as we walked along the ocean. The waves of the ocean seemed to play music for us as we skirted by. At times, we talked without end. At other times, we enjoyed each other's company, company, company and warmth and silence. 300 centimeters tall, yeah, 300 millimeters tall. <laughs> Either way, we were as happy as can be. We talked about how in the past, the present, the future were so different than before because of each other. You know, Daddy, if you asked me to marry you right now, without a doubt, I'd accept. I know it sounds quite crazy to say that in such a short period of time, but I just know. She kissed me passionately with everything she had, and what came next was the perfect ending to our lovely date. Come closer. And then she fucking throated the shit out of my dick like I have never seen before. <laughs> After my date with Violet, I waited around outside till the time I'd expect to see Cat, but she never showed up. I guess she already has enough footage for today. Might as well try to find her. No one's here. Looks like the snacks from before are gone too. Not here either. Ah. Cat was at the table, writing something down at a frantic pace with one hand against her head. Hey, Cat, what's up? Oh, hey, Daddy, I didn't see you there. How you doing? That depends on what you're ominously writing. You look just like someone who just realized I was dead meat. Oh, this? Don't worry about it. I'm worrying about it now. He's... <laughs> Somebody's dead meat, but it's not you. Yay? I'm just kidding. I'm just fixing up some of the balance sheets Two was working on. Being an accountant was really never in the cards for them, despite what they say. Sit down. I'll be stuck here a while anyway. Sure, sounds good. I sat cat at the table. You're sat with cat at the table? I don't know. I'm dyslexic. Leave me alone. I don't even know if I have Guzzlord in the stream avatars, to be honest. Um, so how'd today's date with Violet go? Um, I'd say awesome. I'm so I feel like I'm supposed to be saying all oh, these are going awesome for the purpose of ratings. Being with Violet makes me feel like we're on top of the world. Also, this makes me sound like a total slut because I'm just fucking in love with all of them. Extremely militarized house arrest. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Somehow she takes my breath away with how cool she can be and at the same time make me laugh like a child alongside her. I can see if I could get one point. I had no idea that I'd fall for her so hard after our first meeting, but I couldn't help myself. And now what I want most is to make her the happiest woman in the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I had my doubts at first, but you two really stole the show. And with good reason, I feel like our viewers got to see a glimpse of what your lives together would be like. Maybe the mess in the kitchen won't be from the dough next time, hmm? No comment. Ooh, I want a fucking gigalith. That kicks ass. Uh, 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 <laughs> Boom. Gigalith is good. I try to catch pretty much everything that's fully evolved, just in case it has good stats. Ooh, Cherish Ball's a good move, boy. That's a good shiny. The blue the blue rocks. That's a good shiny. That's... I know... I know it. I know it. You know it. <laughs> anyway, you've done great till now. I don't know if what you've said to each other of the girls is really true, but don't stop now. You just have to get through one more day and you'll be able to finally leave this place. And you'll tell me what my old life was like? Of course. I mean, if I didn't, where would you even go? Fair point. You look like you've got something on your mind. Oh yeah? Then, um... 
fucking put shiny Gengar and regular Gengar next to each other and tell them apart. Same with Garchomp. I'm just thinking about tomorrow. You've been getting the best ratings I'd ever seen. I just hope it's enough. The rating requirements for the last day and the last day are the highest. Dang, Mako's the only one that got the Gigalith? Man, I used a fucking Ultra Ball. Robbed. I got robbed. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, don't worry. I made it this far. Nothing's gonna stop me from making it to the end. I hope so, for your sake, Daddy. And so when I'm out of here, what are you gonna do? I guess your balls weren't that great, Marcy. Get better balls. Are you gonna move on to the next killer dating show? I didn't know you were my career coach. You wanna know my five year plan too? I get the feeling that five years from now you'd rather not be here. There is no plan. Yo girl, same, shit. How do you get to battle? So you have to actually open the extension. Um, if you're on mobile, you just click the little PCG icon, it should be like a orange, blue, and white Pokeball, um, slightly above your chat, and if you're in web browser, you scroll down behind the sc <laughs> words, scroll down below the stream, and you could open it in the extension. You'd rather get rid of your balls? I've got somewhere you can unload them. God fucking damn it, that was not supposed to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Neither were your balls. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, I'm just talking. I'm just taking it one day at a time. That's really all anyone can do in the crazy world. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. Good luck, Daddy. You'll need it. Thanks, Cat. I'll see you later. Night. Tomorrow's going to be the last date with the best girl, tomboy girl. Uh, dude, uh, my my rankings have changed. Woo! <laughs> you want to throat, Mommy Marcy? I am afraid. I am. I live in fear of you, and no. No. I'm scared of how aggressively horny you are. I'll need all the rest I can get. I guess I'll call it a night. But also, take a fucking number. The performance is coming to a close. The actors and actresses come out one by one, ready to take their bows. Boy, you, you, boy, you're gonna throat some fucking girl dick? That's awesome. Really based, actually. You're a team player, you know that? <laughs> I would clap, but I'm waiting for you, and only you. I don't know, Marcy, take it how you like. Because <laughs> I don't know either. Waking up next to Violet felt like waking up next to an angel. We'd walked back from the beach past midnight last night, so any rest we could get was very welcome. For several minutes, all I could do was watch her silver hair catch the sunlight. She was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. You fucking say that about all of them! You whore! Morning, Daddy. Morning to you too, Violet. Do you mind if we just... Perhaps stay here for a spell? <laughs> what the fuck are you going on about? <laughs> God damn it. Fantastic. She rolled herself towards me and hugged me with all of her strength. No take backs. We laid together in the bed all morning, enjoying each other's warmth and company. Comfany. Why do I keep saying comfany? That's not a word. Home of challenge pissing. You could say pissing. You could say pissing. You could say all types of shit in my chat. As long as it's not a slur, say whatever the fuck you want. And also as long as it's not like, you know, hurting somebody else, right? You know? You can be yourself here so long as you do no harm. I don't want this moment to end. I simply cannot wait until we leave here together, Danny. I mean, just ask Marcy. She's out of pocket constantly. 
poise out of pocket all the time, and he's a fucking moderator. <laughs> the softest business. We'll be the greatest partnership for all time. Actually, I'm not picking you, so that sucks. Uh, thanks for the head, though. An empire like no other. Yeah, I'm not down to do imperialism with you, unfortunately. <laughs> I do like an ambitious woman. Poi, you're a mod here because I expect the rest of my chat to act like you, so I have to, like, make sure that I have someone that speaks their language. Oh, it's time for you to spend some time with another girl, no? Yeah, sorry about that. It's in the contract. He lies. It's no matter. To bicker about this would be fruitless. It's very... it's the very nature of this show. This is indeed an imperialism-free zone. Imperialism? For free? Do entertain yourself with whoever's date will be. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I, well, I will. But know that anything she could offer would pale to what a queen could. Wait. Oh. Hold on. Things are making sense now. So. Because she's calling herself a fucking queen. And like in the book that um, Scarlet was reading earlier. And I was trying to like piece together how like it's relevant to the story. And I didn't know who the queen in the story was until now. I think it's Violet. And no, I have not seen that. Poyo! Poyo! I was- dude, I should get a Poyo sound alert. Maybe I'll do that for next stream. You're running out of time, Kit Kat. It's gonna be fine, just watch. Good morning, Cap. Morning, Daddy, how'd you sleep? Cop show it takes lunatic- catch a lunatic reasoning? Yeah, basically. That's- that's why Atris is a mod? Um... Z's always been here. Z is, Z, is, Z is as old as the stream, almost, so he ain't going anywhere. Plus, it's always good to have a Spanish-speaking mod on the team because... I have enough for whatever. one more. Because I, I don't speak Spanish and someone needs to be able to moderate that. <laughs> Pretty well, thanks. You bet you did. That bet is worth more than your life. Oh, that reminds me. Why can't the staff have the same kind of bed that Daddy has? Do I look like I'm made of money? Yes, actually, you fucking do. You literally own this island. If I give the staff beds, the next thing they'd ask for is minimum wage. No thanks. Oh no, it's a point redeem. You walked away. You're just the janitor. Nice. So how about that five-year plan, huh? Maybe the brothers were onto something with this whole accounting thing. Why are you mod? I don't think that there was ever any reasoning behind it besides you're fucking insane and I just live in constant fear of you, so I may as well give you a sword to satiate your thirst. Anyway, it's, the la it's time for your last date with your last soulmate candidate, Allie. Nice, you won. Take that dub home, Shadow. You got some fucking points, baby. You ready? It's time to make or break. I'm as ready as I'll ever be, Cap. Then without further ado... Why do I fear you? Because you're unpredictable. Lights, a camera, don't get yourself killed. When do you get the sword out of fear? I mean, no, I don't. I don't want more mods. I find that it's intimidating to chatters to have too many swords in chat. I, I found Allie by the beach, or more accurately, she came running to me. She's so cute, dude. I think the moment she started to grow on me was when the fucking when her her hat came off and I saw her cute little space buns under there. Adorable. You're not gonna believe this, Daddy. What's that? Alright, who took my keys? You've got ten seconds before I take it out of Four's paycheck. <laughs> oh, come on. 
Here, we'll walk and talk. Come on. So Allie stole the, Allie's stealing the boat, I think. Well, let's walk. Maybe more like run like hell. Four is not going to be happy when he finds out that I... Oh, whatever. Come on. Let's go. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her into the forest clearing nearby. What's going on? You are not... It does look kind of like a gusher. I, I will give you credit there, boy. It does look tasty. It looks like a gusher. You are not going to believe what I just found. What's that? Well, I was wondering how to top the two previous dates. Why don't you just top me instead? I mean... When I stumbled upon... Oh, wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. I'm going to have to close my eyes again, right? I love how fast you learn things, Daddy. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me along with the other. She pulled me along step by step. I can't say I wasn't enjoying it. Is this a staircase? It feels like metal beneath me. In the middle of a forest? Just a bit, no just a bit more now. All right. You can open your eyes now. You want me to give the boy a kiss? Hey, Donnie. Oh, he's sleeping right now. Hold on. Hey, buddy. Boy wants to give you a kiss. Come here, stupid. Oh, he does not want to get up. I booped his nose through his uh through the bars of his crate and he's just hanging out in there right now how on earth oh we stole a fucking airplane I'll give him a smooch next time he gets up I don't want to make him get out of bed you know it is midnight we were inside a small plane the very same one I'd rudely been awakened to on my first day here how did you even it was just sitting in the forest, so I thought, why not, right? Wait, what the fuck? Why is there a private jet just sitting in the forest? And also, how? I have so many questions. Yeah, I, I really do. Wait a minute, are you planning on... Without even bothering to answer me, Allie rushed to the cockpit. Holy shit, we're gonna die. This is how we die. Here's to hoping that this goes better than the rollerblades. I wonder what this big red button does. Oh yeah, cat. Boy, you will notice that cat will lie many times. Cat is a lying, conniving bitch, and has already tortured me once, twice, as far as I know. Oh God, get me out of here! I ran for the door, but it was already shut tight. And away we go. The engine of the plane roared as we took off. I slammed into the side of the door. Why is she standing in the fucking... What? <laughs> Come on, be honest. You were thinking the same thing. Oh, dude, Six Flags? If I had a nickel for every time I threw up at Six Flags, I could afford more stuff to throw up at Six Flags. You put a big juicy red button there, completely unattended, and you expect a good citizen like me to not press it? You're bonkers. You've got a point, but do you have any idea how to fly this thing? Wait a minute, if you're talking to me here, then who's flying the plane? Technically nobody, but... <laughs> Crashing this plane! With no survivors! The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. We hit it hard enough for it to be slightly deformed. Just like my dick. I slammed into the wall yet again. Well, we didn't need that wing anyway. We still have the other one. Exactly like kidneys. Forget killer dating death shows. Forget Damien and Cat. Allie was going to be the death of me. No, this is going to be awesome for ratings. <laughs> if I were rich, do you think I'd still live in fucking Illinois? <laughs> I tried to run to the cockpit. Do you think I'd still live in America? <laughs> tried to run to the cockpit, but it was all I could to stay upright as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm just kidding. I've got this. Ellie ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Dude, I would be, like... On an island, I, I would be in like a little shack in fucking Fiji with my dog and the best Wi-Fi money can buy and none of you motherfuckers would ever see me again 
Every night I would stand on the pier and jack my fucking dick into the clearest water on earth. Boy, that's Cap, my boy. <laughs> Allie ran to the cockpit without breaking sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball in a pinball machine. <laughs> All right, I got this. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. Oh, thank God. I th really thought we were gonna... Yeah, now we crashed. Oops. Once again, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow, it was bent back into its original shape. What the fuck is going on here? Not too bad if I do say so myself. All right, that was dumb luck and you know it. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. We started gaining altitude, slowly at first, then faster and faster, higher and higher. Before long, we were soaring high above the trees. Allie yelled out in triumph. Wait, hold on, we're getting off the fucking island. That's a big deal. I joined in and yelling out with glee. It's a pretty great feeling, huh? Not dying, dying in a fiery plane crash? Flying free. Without it, what's the point of living? You talking about freedom or flying? Freedom, Kona, brother. <laughs> Why not both? That said, there's another reason I flew us up here. To crash this plane! But no survivors! <laughs> what's that, Allie? This is the only place I could find on the island that wasn't bugged. No one can eavesdrop on us here. Yeah, Mako, I'm it's I'm I'm very public about the fact that I live in Chicago. On account of there's no what you gonna fucking do about it? You gonna come find me in one of the biggest cities in the country? Fuck you. <laughs> Boy, that's about that's about where I'm at, yeah. And sorry for the turbulence, but without it, they might have heard me disable the bugs in here. Okay, Al I think picking Alley was a really good choice. You'll find me? You literally could not. Believe me, I looked for safe places as hard as I could. Also, please don't. <laughs> That's why I got the rollerblades in the boat earlier. To find a safe place to talk as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, but I would literally never meet any of you in real life, so... Except maybe Hex, I'd let her peg me. I'm guessing you know what the show is really about, then. Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer, am I right? Unfortunately, I don't think you do, and I can't risk telling you everything, either. What? Why? <laughs> Believe me, you're better off not knowing. What? Allie, what are you hiding? Who are you really? Look, we don't have much time before we'll have to land. This thing's already almost out of fuel. Sure enough, we had already started descending. So wait, did I was picking Allie last like actually the play? Please just trust me. I'm on your side, Daddy. I know there's so many lies going around here, but I really want to help you get out of here. It's been a minute since we had a fucking crazy plot beat. Though I have to admit, it wasn't on my first to-do list at first. It's a good thing you're so cute. I'm kidding, jeez, wait, no, hold on, I'm cute. What the fuck? Do you trust me? You know what? I will. Of course I do, Allie, you know that. You won't regret it, promise. So what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find that people I work with need. It's life or death, not just for you or me, but for countless others. I came here to save you all, and I won't give up until I have. Though at this point, I've done all I can. It's in his hands now. Whose? No time to talk. We're almost back in range of the island's recording network. No matter what, don't tell anybody what happened here. Not even a little bit. Not even if you think you can trust them. Are we clear? Crystal. The plane flew lower and lower. Time to post lightsaber. I thought that was a euphemism for a minute. I'm like, don't post your dick to my Discord. Please. <laughs> that's, that's like exactly where the line is. 
All right, we're about to be back in the recording zone. What else? What else? Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That really doesn't limit it much. I guess not. After we landed, Cat scolded us for taking the plane. Cat and Allie seemed to exchange seemed to have exchanged more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. So Cat knows that Allie knows for fucking sure. As we were walking away, I heard Cat whisper something to Allie. Nice try. And then I saw something I'd never seen before and would never see again. The sky rapidly turned from bright blue to black as if it were... Well, God, we're doing this again. As if it were water being drowned in the darkest ink. Then the bright sun in the sky went out like a candle in the wind. Even though I knew I was standing outside, I couldn't even see my hands in front of my face. Then I felt somebody grab me from behind. No, not somebody. There must have been several people. They forced me to the ground and cuffed me behind my back. I screamed, but there was no sound. I tried to fight, but there was no way out. I screamed at Allie for her to run as far as she could, but I heard no response. Then, nothing. Yes, the amusement park. And we're here again, back in the torture room. Time to get shit so shoved up my dick hole. They're going to shove things in my penis again. I woke up on an operating table, the kind you'd see in a nightmare. My first instinct was to get up and get off as fast as possible, but my neck, hands, and legs were cuffed and pinned down in thick metal braces. Again, I'm into bondage and shit, but I gotta be able to fucking move a little bit. Tried to force myself out with all my strength, but the braces didn't so much as budge. Yeah, you gotta see an orthodontist for that. Morning, Daddy. What's going on, Cat? Go, go, gadget, robo dick. Get me out of here. I'm afraid I can't do that. And honestly, I'm getting tired of explaining why. Let's just speed this along, shall we? What are you talking about? She placed some kind of helmet on my head. I tried to avoid it, but the brace around my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, cat, don't do this. I could hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. See you soon, Daddy. She pressed it. The curtain closes. You're taking your bow. And when you lift your head, I can see you clearly for the first time. It's you. The one I'd been wait waiting all this time to see. The one who made me dream of a life together far from this island. You've been right by me all this time. Tomorrow's the day, Daddy. You nervous? Who wouldn't be? You've got a point. She reached for my hand and held it tightly. You okay? <laughs> I like your cut, G. Did we just get isekai again? No, I think that we got memory wiped for possibly the third time. At least. Third time of my observation. The first time was like before the intro because I had amnesia when I woke up. And then this happened again, like, three chapters ago, and now it's happening again, I think. You sure we should be doing this? I, I don't want you to be punished just because I want to get out of here. So wait, no, is Kat trying to get me out of here? Or is she the one that's fucking wiping my memory with the goddamn Oculus Rift of death? Hey, Kat. We've always been a team. You and me. No matter what, we're in this together. Thanks, Daddy. How did things come to this? The escape failed. I've been surrounded, beaten, shot, betrayed. The love of my life. She shot me. I'm bleeding out rapidly. I try my best to slow the bleeding, but it's no use. It's no use! It's no use! <laughs> I, I don't, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck Cat's role in this even is right now. What did you do to her? I choke out every last word. I didn't do anything. I didn't have to. You were so busy making hard eyes at Cat here to see where her true loyalties lied. I'm sorry, Daddy, but it's true. 
I don't understand. Why don't you tell them, dear? Damien is my father. I knew you were planning something the moment you came to this island. But you didn't trust me enough to tell me exactly what it was. So I became close to you and told you just what you wanted to hear. <laughs> I love doing the fucking Sonic 06. It's no use! And then you told me everything I needed to know. As soon as you told me your plan, there was no way you were ever going to escape from this island. Why, why are you saying this? Now that's my girl. You really are my daughter. I don't know, she calls me daddy. Checkmate, bitch. Your glasses are stupid, your hair sucks. Why? I love that look on your face, daddy. See, even you call me daddy. Does that make me your grandpa? You know, you've got an expression that would be perfect for my next show. And it just so happens we've got an opening just for you. It's no use! I've lost too much blood. The world turned dark. This... This is the end. Keep them alive. Daddy. You might think I'm showing you mercy, but believe me, by the end of this, you're gonna wish that I just let Cat kill you. Why? Why, Cat? Why would you... I barely have time to breathe before the waves pull me under once more. Oh man, I'm back in the fucking bad end. I don't know. I, I I don't know how many endings there are. I know that I'm trying, at the very least, to get one of the endings tonight. And I'm if if it is popularly demanded, I will revisit and do more endings. But I want to do at least I want to do one. Where am I? I'm underwater. <gasps> we found Atlantis. It's so dark and cold. Or am I in one of the fucking chambers? I try to move, but I'm so tired. It takes all my strength to reach my hand out forward. It feels like glass. I'm trapped in some kind of tank. Oh my god, I'm Mewtwo. Holy shit. I'm Mewtwo. I... I want to sleep. For just a... Is someone there? I can feel somebody's presence. I open my eyes, and I can see. Hang on just a little longer, Daddy. Who are you? Oh man, I got my shit wiped again. The woman in front of me looked at me with pity. I... Hit the glass. Uh, no, that's... Cause, no, because she can't hear me. Can I even talk? I'm gonna try to talk. I try to speak, but it's no use! My mouth- I, I figured as much. My mouth won't speak the words I want them to. You're awake. Yeah, dude. I- I picked the right one as best girl, I think. I'm so glad, but... I'll pokey catch this, I guess. You're gonna wish you were asleep for this next bit. Trust me, and... Sorry in advance. She moved towards some kind of terminal next to my tank and pressed a button. As if on cue, it was like every nerve in my body was set on fire. I screamed and thrashed around and did nothing to alleviate the pain. Oh, will you look at that. Looks like our little heroes got some life left in them. <laughs> you know, Daddy, you're in luck. Usually I just kill you for this, but a new opportunity just opened up, and I think you'd be the perfect fit. I'm sorry, Daddy, but it's true. I don't understand. Why don't you tell him, dear? Damien is my father. I Wait, I just found this out moments ago. 
Always the hero, aren't you, Daddy? Where did you get a gun? You should be more worried about yourself. You knew the rules. You know the rules, and so do I. If you try to escape this island, you die. It didn't have to be like this, but you? I'm done talking. It's Darkiplier. <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Oh, she shot... No, me. I'm Daddy. I thought she was talking to her actual father. I've made this confusing for myself. Hold on just a little longer, Daddy. She looked away from me as if she had heard something. What? I couldn't tell. No, I don't, I don't think that was a loop. I think that I was getting a, that fragment of my memory back from, like, right before this. You know? That's what I'm interpreting this as right now. I'm sorry, Daddy. I won't be able to give you back all your memories, but this will just have to be enough. See, I called that shit, dude. She pressed another button on the terminal. I've got to run back to my tank or else they'll know something's up. Oh, they're all in tanks. Or at least she is. She pressed her hand against the glass. Hold on just a little longer, okay? I'll get us out of here. This is kind of fucking cool. The pain. It stopped. I... The world turned dark. I've been here before. No, airplane again! I'm... I'm daddy. <laughs> I'm on some kind of dating show. Find love or die trying. Allie, she helped me. I've got to find her. I... You're up early. Most people around here usually need a little more to wake them up. Cat, I remember now. I tried to escape this island with her. She pretended to be my lover. She betrayed me and shot me too. She's the reason why I'm trapped here. It's only fragments I can remember, but I remember enough to know that she's bad news. We've done this song and dance over and over, more times than I can count by now. I've been in love with and chosen Allie, Scarlet, Tara, Violet, and Yui. Each of them. Countless times. Am I a bad person? Come to think of it, I can't remember what happened before the show started either. I need to find Allie. But first, for the problem at hand. If I want to get out of here, I can't let Cat know that I remember what's happened before. I've got to play dumb. Sorry, who are you? Will she buy it? Walk with me. There's a lot to get you up to speed on. This is going different than before. Because... Before she didn't say that, the past two times I've been in this airplane with her. The name's Kat. I'm the producer for a new show, Fine Lover, Die Trying. And what's your name? I... I don't remember. Looks like it's the same beginning as usual. Learn about the killer shows, killer dating show's rules, meet the girls before the show starts. Yui. I don't remember meeting you before this show, but I'm glad I got to meet you again. It's impossible not to feel happier when I see your smile. All playthroughs are canon? I mean, yeah. They're all endings. You'd think that the staff would have learned to cook better by now. There's so much more to you than, the, than you show the world, Violet. Scarlet, you're still hiding that you're reading that magazine with another book. It brings a smile to my face every time. I think I know what happened to you now. I don't play visual novels, man. I, this is my first one. My first dating sim, first visual novel. You still have no idea what... You, uh, you still have no idea what you got into, Tara. Killer dating show or not. I'd love to see the way you see the world. A shitty DS game? Was it lit or was it shitty? You have to decide. Thank you, we both. And finally, Allie. You never gave up on getting us out of here, even after all this time. <laughs> Howdy, Daddy. I hear you're the suitor. Rad as hell. Okay. I'll I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I'll emulate it at some point. Care to join me for a jog? 
there's a place in the forest I'd love to go for a run around with you. Are we going to get to the plane and have a little private conversation? It'd be my pleasure. All right, we're, we're, we're about to get some shit done, I think. We went for a jog, exchanging banter like we'd always done when we met each other. The second we got into the unrecorded area of the forest, her smile faded. I'm glad you got the hint, Daddy. You haven't given yourself away to anyone yet, right? No, I haven't. As far as Cat knows, I don't remember anything as usual. Sweet, I knew I was right to help you first. Really, thank you so much, I can't thank you enough. I've gotta ask, how did you escape the tank in the first place? Honestly, I got lucky. Usually the tank knocks me out right away, but that last time, I think something must have bugged out. I saw my chance and took it. Anything's better than being stuck here forever. I'm sorry I couldn't get all your memories back. Don't worry about it, Allie. All I could ask for is a fighting chance, and you gave that to me. Don't mention it. I mean, duh, I'm hands down the MVP. Anyway, it's about time I tell you the truth, Danny. I'm from the Resistance. <laughs> Viva la Resistance! <laughs> you can think of us as a covert group of concerned citizens who have a few bones to pick with the world's current management. Oh, hell yeah. I picked not only, not only did I pick the based tomboy GF that is going to fucking save me, but she's also fucking cool. And those bones are their necks. Joking aside, we're fighting a war here. That war will be won with information. Information that lives on this island and only here. I picked the base tomboy leftist GF. I'm a fucking winner. I'm such a winner. There was no way that we could ever find this place. Not by conventional means. But then we found out about the show. And so they sent you here. Or, yeah, that was me. Actually, I volunteered. Believe me, the others didn't want me to, but I knew I had to. I was the one with the least to lose. Allie. It was pretty easy getting in, all things considered. Yeah, who knows? You, this, this could be yet another plot twist. What if she's actually the bad one? You never know. All I had to do was write a report that labeled me as suspicious of conspiring against the government, take a few cute selfies, and boom, I was flown here. Oh, wait a minute. So are the people on this island like political prisoners? Because the one chick, um, Scarlet, she was like an inventor that was helping people get their memories back, like after the war or something. Huh. I, that may be the case. These people may be political prisoners. Didn't go too great since then, though. But that was when I was a lone wolf. I've got you now. This might be reprogramming. That that very much could be what the uh, what the tanks and like the helmet are for. I my my theory is that like I, I, early on I was like maybe we're like just completely in VR. Like that's why the sky is able to go completely fucking black and stuff. And we'll get out of here together. Sound good to you? Sounds like a plan. I haven't even told you the plan yet. But since you're so excited, let's get right into it. There's two things we need to do. One, we need to bring the other girl's memories back. We won't be able to get their trust or work with them till we do. And we'll need their help for part two. And what's that? Two, we need to get the fuck out of here. Sounds about right. Easier said than done, though. It's gonna take a hell of a lot of setup and coordination. You were already in a fucking airplane in the sky. You could have just kept going. There's a small army of armed and trained staff tasked with keeping us here, not to mention us needing a way off the island. You just had an airplane. Ah, we probably would have got shot down. Yeah, so I think that... You, that's... the. I, I'm starting to piece it together a little bit. I'll figure it out as we go, but for now, 
How about you go on a date with Scarlet today? I can do that, but how does that relate to us getting out of here? No, we're, Scarlet's gonna help people get their memories back. I tell you, if I thought you could be a better actor, Scarlet's the one that invented the machine that gets people's memories back. Believe me, you'll know why later. I know why now! Anyway, let's head back to the mansion. We don't want Cat to start looking for us. Team Rocket were competent all along, maybe. Sounds good to me. You're really something, you know? That's putting it lightly. She's so fucking cute. Daddy, there you are. Sorry, I got carried away exploring the island. Yo, yeah, execute order 66. <laughs> I gotta be careful around Cat. I know exactly what she's capable of firsthand. Is that so? Well, it's no harm, but you'll have a whole week to explore, you know. <sighs> you'll get one date with each of the girls for the first five days. So first time it was seven days. This... Hello there. What? General Kenobi! <laughs> <laughs> A little something special for day six. And then the final ceremony where you propose to one of the girls. That sounds like the perfect amount of time to figure out if we're meant to be together. You'd be surprised. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. Who do you want to spend today's date with? Scarlet, there's just something about her, you know? <laughs> It's her massive fucking tits. Maybe that's the thing about her. Maybe that's why I literally picked her first in this game anyway. I found Scarlet inside the library, the place I'd most often meet her for the first time. She always looked so happy when she was reading. It did the heart good to try to make her smile in the same way when I talked to her. We became fast friends again. The similarity of our situations might have played a part in that. Still, I'm not sure why Allie insisted in me going on a date with Scarlet today. Sure, getting her memories back will be a huge win, but... No, because if you get her memories back, then she's capable of getting everybody else's memories back. That's why Scarlet matters. Hey Scarlet, Daddy. I'm glad you're safe. Things are going crazy out there. What's happening? I know it sounds crazy, but there's a horde of zombies outside. <laughs> <laughs> so they did the zombie thing again. The Brothers Five and a lot of our behind the scenes help went crazy and... Scarlet, you did this, didn't you? Wait, what? I've been here the whole time with Danny. I couldn't have. I've never heard of anything like this. Wait, what? Um, I'm not snitching on Scarlet. Because, so, it works to my benefit if, like, the whole, like, cast and crew are fucking zombies. Because then they can't do anything about our plan, right? That's, that's my best logic. That, that takes them out of the equation. If they can't figure out how to cure them and they, they like, lock them up, like, before and just, like, put them all in the library... I can vouch for her. We've both been here since our date started. Well, either way, I bet you can create a cure for it now. I mean, I probably could, but I'd need my equipment. Oh, well, getting her equipment is also good. I'm not sure why, but I can't find it anywhere. Follow me. You can use our lab. We followed Cat to the games room. I'll save your my balls for now. Yeah, Magnemite's not really worth it. Cat put her hand against the wall of the games room, revealing a hidden trap door. God fucking the trap doors. Never expect them. She walked in and beckoned for us to follow. We walked down spiraling stairs for new, who knew how long. I lost track more than a few times. Oh man. Oh man, <laughs> we're here again. 
I think Cat's gonna fuck us. I think we- I think we took an L. I remember this place. You should have everything you need in this room to make a cure. Just don't go snooping around. This lab belongs to R&D. And we could all get in trouble if you do. Actually, this place doesn't have everything I need. What else do you need? To build a cure, I'm gonna need a sample of whatever this is. I need a live specimen. What? I'm sure you can help with that, Daddy. I've got some uh, editing that needs my attention. You got this. This is this is weird. And just like that, she was gone. If it makes you feel better, I'll help you catch somebody. You sure? If you're the only one who can make the cure, then it might be better for you to stay back. <laughs> no thanks. There's no way I'm letting you out there alone. I don't want you to think I'm weird, but I've just got this feeling that I'd be pretty good at collecting unwilling zombie specimens. That is weird, but in this case, she's absolutely correct. Some memories must be intact, even if they're kept below the surface. Well, let's get on with this. We went back up to the surface. Everywhere we looked was overrun by zombies. We wouldn't stand a chance against a group, so we spent the day trying to split them up, as well as searching for lone wolves. Brains! Bananas! We're in luck, we finally got an isolated sample. How are we supposed to bring him in, though? One bite and we're finished. I've got just the thing. Scarleted, scarleted, whatever. Scarlet pulled out a pair of brass knuckles. Cool. Where did you even get that? <laughs> is that really important right now? Yeah, she had a minigun before. This is honestly a downgrade. You mind looking the other way for a second? It's embarrassing. <laughs> sure, Scarlet. I turned around. Braids, bananas. I hope your health insurance covers this. Just, yeah, hit him again. Are we the bad guys? And we dragged him back to the mansion, paying careful attention to not run into any more of the zombies running amok. Scarlet opened the hidden trap door in the games room and I pulled Four's unconscious body in. Oh fuck. My hand slipped, causing Four's body to tumble down the stairs. He just kept going and going. I know, I know, I'll get him. Better get him quick or we're not gonna have a live specimen. Luckily, I managed to catch up to him pretty quickly. Or catch him pretty quickly. We put him on the operating table for Scarlet to analyze. Interesting. What's up, Scarlet? This virus, it's pretty clear that it's man-made. You'd like an anime GF too? Clara, I'll be your anime GF any day. Even more interesting is it looks like something I would make. Not that I ever made zombie viruses, Daddy. <laughs> yes, you have. It's kind of cute how you try to hide it. Cat, you there? Weird. I thought Cat was supposed to be able to hear us from anywhere on the island. Sheesh! Yeah, duh. You silly goose. So maybe, I think that maybe the lab isn't bugged? Out of all the fucking places, you would think that you would want the lab to be bugged. Maybe there's no microphones all the way down here? I guess so. I was gonna tell her we've got the cure now. Sweet, great work, Scarlet. I am having a goob weekend, Clary, how about you? You bet I did. We administered the cure to four, then we went back upstairs together. Cat, you there? Oh, what's up, Scarlet? I've been waiting hours for you guys. You two done yet? <laughs> we've got we've got the cure now. <laughs> we'll need your people's help to help administer it. The, the poison, poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. The poison specifically intended for Cusco. <laughs> We'll be right on it. Lay low for now. We're coming to get you. In the meantime, Daddy, how about I tell you about myself? It'd be my pleasure. With Cat's help, we managed to quell the zombie plague with just enough time left in the day for a lovely dinner with Scarlet. Was my Kronk voice good? I don't know. I can barely hear myself. After that, I went for a night walk with Allie to somewhere safe from prying eyes. 
You should buy a girl dinner first before you murder her in the woods, you know. I think I found the way to bring the others' memories back. You, f you found their lab, didn't you? Pretty much. Sweet. I wasn't sure how to get back there after they shipped us out of there, so that's a huge win. So where is it? There's a secret trap door in the games room. You just have to press the hidden panel in the wall. That said, how are we supposed to get in without being seen? There's cameras everywhere, and Scarlet and I were only allowed to enter because of the whole pandemic. Topical! <sighs> Don't you worry about that. I've got an inside man. Well, I've got a man inside me. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> a massive dubski. Four's gonna be helping us override a few cameras and microphones in the mansion with old recordings. Four? That way we could get in and stay inside as long enough to get their memories back without raising any sort of fuss. The brother that we KO'd today down the stairs? What's that look for? I'm surprised he's still standing after today, to be honest. I wouldn't work with people who go down that easy. Well, I'd go down on you pretty easily, so you clearly didn't do your research. See, no, well, I, are all of the brothers in on it? Was Four always working with you? Nope, never till now, but we can't afford to refuse his help. No, they, they, they're just coming around. I think it's because he hit his head. I think it's because I dropped him down the stairs. Maybe. You know, maybe we undid the little, little brainy washy, little bit of, little bit of cleanup. I've had, I've had him prove he's trustworthy. Don't worry, you can count on him. All right, if you say so. <laughs> I am say so. Totally fucking family-friendly stream. Anyway, we'll have everything we need for the first part of the plan. Up for a trip down memory lane together? Sounds like a plan. Oh, I'm gonna have to do so many voices right now! You guys have to see this, trust me! Ellie put her hand against the secret panel. A second later, the wall parted to reveal the winding staircase 4 became in intimately and repeatedly familiar with. Did Allie prove Four's trust before or after his little trip on the stairs? Yeah, your mom actually dropped you on your head to undo the brainwashing. It's... Yep. <laughs> Whoa, you guys found my secret spot already? I'm sorry, what? Hold on. Oh, Tara fucking... Gamer Girl knew about the lab? Also, Gamer Girl's got some thick thighs that I have not noticed until now. I found this place this morning. I sat near the top of the stairs and played for a while. It was more fun to play in the dark. Hold me back, Daddy. Fucking, what is happening? Ellie explained the situation as we walked down the stairs. Sure enough, they were skeptical. Except for Scarlet. Wait, hold on, but... So how can she just fucking explain things and take them all down there? I don't care. I don't care. How are... How is everybody able to just disappear from the set and nobody notice? You know, because I'm only even supposed to be on a date with one of them right now. There's not really a lot of uh, excuses for them to be missing. Yeah, Tara's the plot's chosen one because gamer girls always win. Okay, your story makes a little more sense when you come down there. We walk towards the machines in a mixture of awe and fear. The markings on this machine. My father's company made these. Why? They didn't. Not my baby. I'm sorry, everyone. I wish I had this. I wish what I had to say wasn't true, but it is. I don't know why we're being kept here, or why they filmed the show over and over. But I know that if we don't escape and fast, they're going to kill us sooner or later. I'm getting a little lost again. Yeah, dude, the saxophone's crushing it. Daddy and I are gonna do our very best to make sure all of us get out of here alive. But to do that, I need you to trust me. How are, well, how, how are we trusting all of them? What happened? Um, buddy, it, 
<laughs> it takes a little more than just a couple seconds to sum up the plot here. Uh, basically fucking, um, Allie's trying to save us, and right now we're filling in the other girls on it, and, yeah. Yeah, you guys just be sleepy bitches, huh? I trust you with what? I need you to trust me enough to step back into the tanks they've kept you in. Hold on, bitch! Oh no, because she's gonna restore their memories. For us to escape, we need all of us to have our memories back, otherwise you won't trust us enough. I'd have to be quite foolish to just step back into this tank because someone said so. Violent, you can trust her. Excuse me? I know she's telling the truth about this machine. Because I built this. You're resting on thighs? Nice. Allie. This isn't the first time we've met, is it? No, it isn't. We've gotten to know each other quite a few times by now. It's a strange feeling. On one hand, this is horrible. On the other, I'm glad the machine works. Maybe one day we'll, we'll put it to use the way it should be. All right, I'll trust you. We just walk back into the machine? Thank you, Violet. I know it'd be difficult to trust me, so I appreciate it. There's a machine that should have your name on it. Go into it, and then Daddy and I will start the reversal process. I do hope this works. It should, but it might hurt a bit. Do spare me from the details, please. Scarlet and Violet walked in. Scarlet and Violet are the new Pokemon games. You get munchies along with the weed? I They don't have snacks on there, honestly. I wish they did. Also, you can't buy, like, actual weed on the website. It's mostly paraphernalia. But you do get a pretty significant discount on it when you use uh, Haunted VT. You get 15% off. Marcy, you back the fuck off of Hex. She's mine. <laughs> Scarlet and Violet are the Pokemon games, though. That's pretty cool. Boy, if you happen to find a second one, send her my way, though. <laughs> I don't really get it, but I trust you, Danny. Probably because you've been calling me Daddy for the past six hours. And besides, I got a, I got a thing for big things made out of metal. They're like Mecha. I guess? Is this going to hurt? Is this going to hurt? Yes, in some places you can get online weed. I think there's certain Canadian websites that'll do that, but... I don't think we're quite there yet, because in the US it's still illegal on a federal level, so... Fucking stupid, but you know. Is this going to hurt? Um, should I lie to them? I'm a, I feel like I'll lie to Yui, because she was being kind of pushy and weird earlier. So you know what? Get your brains out, bitch. See if I care. Sure won't hurt that much. Dude, what? I want fucking head scratches. Fuck you, boy. Making me jealous, you bitch. I'll fucking kill you. With a knife. With a gun. I'll shoot you. I'll take your word for it, daddy. Yeah, you fucking shouldn't, because I lied to you specifically. <laughs> Alright, they're in their tanks. Let's do this, daddy. On it. Oh, we're coming. We're, we're getting close to the end here. And, like, an ending. Even if it was necessary for all of us, their screams from the ver reversal process were almost more than I could take. Oh, I want a Lombre. is pretty cool. He's got a mustache. He's got a mustache and a sombrero. That's pretty lit. Lombre's a winner. Yeah, she's giving me her prime sub because you're her real life sub. <laughs> Ellie and I covered our ears as Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Tara remembers years of memories in a matter of minutes. After doing all this, we better be getting out of here. Well, what if one of them just remembered that they were, like, aggressively racist? Like, we just restored a horrible person? <laughs> Violet, Scarlet, y Yui, and Tara stepped out of their tanks after what it must felt like hours to them. Guys, you okay? 
This probably isn't the time to mention it, but I made a bet with four about what would happen when they got their memories back. You took- Poi. Poi! You better not be capping. Do you actually wear a maid outfit for her? That is fucking amazing. And also, why don't you do that for me? Are my tits too small? Are you trying to say something? Oh yeah, the Pokemon are like randomized levels. So basically in PCG, right now there's a level 20 cap, although it doesn't matter because when you battle, it behaves in a similar way to when you were to battle online with um, like in Pokemon games where it'll like automatically put all of them at a uniform level to like make it just an even battle across the board. So the level three Lombre, when you go into battle, it'll be a level 20 Lombre. An anniversary gift? That's a really great anniversary gift. See, I, I don't want to get into relationships until you tell me about shit like this where it's like, I could have a maid outfit and head scratches? You're fucking kidding me. I'm missing out. Anyway, this probably isn't time to mention it, but I made a bet before about what happened when they got their memories back. What did you bet? I'm gonna watch from a safer distance, if you don't mind. What the fuck did we just do? If looks could kill, the girls that had just gotten out of the tanks would have killed them- would have killed me several times over. They ran to me yelling and screaming. You five-timing little cheater! Oh, they're mad at me because- Well, fuck you! I keep getting my memory wiped! Poi, you need to be quiet! You're making me jealous now! Too late, they were on me like hyenas. Fun fact about hyenas, did you know? Most people assume hyenas are most closely related to dogs, but they're actually most related to, like, the cat side of things, and their closest known relative in the natural world is actually the meerkat. Um, there's your daily haunted hyena fact. Like, comment, and subscribe for more hyena facts. I'm not- ah. <laughs> Yeah, you're heavily spoiled. Fuck you. Now that we've all calmed down, how about we go over the escape plan? It better be good, Allie. For your sake, Daddy. Out with it, then. Alright, listen up. Over the next hour, Allie explained her plan from start to finish. Like, we've been disappeared for, like, over an hour. Trust me, it's the best we've got. If, if this is our plan... We're doomed. Poi. You're hurting my feelings now. You little cat boy bitch. Congrats, Daddy! You've made it to day two. You really gave our audience a run for their money yesterday with Scarlet. And that's before we got the zombies involved, believe it or not. I'm glad to hear that. You think you'll choose Scarlet at the end of this? I'm gonna say, too early to say. I figure it's best to make things seem un uncertain as possible and not get too focused on any one girl. Okay, so I did make the right play. Kat said that getting low ratings during the show could end up with them shutting it down early, which ends up in me getting killed. If that happened this time, then game over. Yeah, because if I have my memory wiped again, there's no certainty that Allie can get it back again. So we, this is the one shot. The only reason why we're able to make these moves right now is because Allie's machine glitched out. Who knows if that would ever happen again? Yeah, basically what I said. There's no room for error. Too early to say right now, but she's definitely up there, Cat. I like the sound of that. But you know what I like even more? Drama. And what better way to start that fire than a full day date with another woman? If it ain't broke. So who's it gonna be? Poi. Fuck. You. Fuck 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 you! Okay. 
my life be like, ooh, ah. <laughs> that played in my head when you said my life is interesting. Have you ever noticed that there's only one room in the mansion that's locked? Nope, not even a bit. Really? It's right by the games room, and it's not even the hidden one. I'm starting to understand why you've been stuck here all this time. I was snooping around at night looking for snacks when I saw a cat open it using a black key that she kept on a key ring in her pocket. It's definitely a master key. I've seen her use the same key both in the mansion as well as on other buildings. It sounds like it'd be pretty good to get our hands on that. Oh, okay. So, so, so Cat always gets super drunk. Yeah, Poi's living the life that I want. Uh, you fucking bitch. I hate you. So, on the night of the second date, Cat always gets super drunk. So I think that's how we're gonna get the key. Oh, hey, Crit. You can show me your master key anytime. What's up, man? Your luck stat is broken, dude. You're rolling nat 20s every fucking day. It is ridiculous how you are living my fantasy. Fuck you. If you get me that key for even a minute, I can make a mold of it that we could use as a duplicate key. What else can you make a mold of for me? I'm betting that would be pretty help for him, helpful for helping us get out of here, to put it lightly. That's awesome, but wouldn't Cat notice her master key going missing? <laughs> You're absolutely right, especially if you or I try to take it. I'm feeling a butt coming. <laughs> but. But it won't be you or I taking it. Oh, it'll be four. Tomorrow, ask to take Yui on a date. That means I have to do the Yui voice. Let me go get Yui. By the end of tonight, you'll both understand why it has to be you two. I'd say sounds like a plan, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay? Trust me, Daddy, when, I, when have I ever been wrong? You crashed a plane twice, I remember that. I was there. I could list every single date we've been on as evidence. Yeah, you got me knocked out and you crashed a plane twice. Poi. Well, you're not gonna make me jealous of your hair. I have the coolest hair. Those don't count. Yui. There's just something about her, you know? We'll make it happen. I love doing Cat's voice. It's gonna probably be a regular addition to my collection. Yeah, no, hold on. Let's test it. Um, What can I gamble on? What can I run a gamble on? Is Poi gonna get it right? Yeah, Poi, you do need to be hitting casinos, though, for real. You have a busted luck stat. You're like a... You're like, like Domino from... from um, like the X-Men universe. It was the first date since getting all the girls' memories back. We went for a walk out in the woods, the same date we had when we had truly... Eh, the same date we had when we truly had met again for the first time. Mako, that is so incredibly based. That is so incredibly based. Please. You've won the lottery? Like, a literal lottery that you've won? Or, like... Fuck you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. If, you, if you've won the lottery, uh, dump some gift subs, or else you're capping. Simple as that. <laughs> it, was the, it was a little awkward at first, figuring out how to not give away what we knew on camera. But we figured it out pretty quick. It's so nice to see you again, Danny. I feel the same way, Yui. After all this time, it's gotta be fate, hasn't it? It must be. To be honest, I feel a little like things are going a little over my head. This show, meeting you again, everything, it's just moving so fast. Sometimes I feel like everything's just moving too fast for me to keep up. But with you, everything feels alright. Like I know it's gonna be okay. Would it be okay if we just spent today this way? She, lean, she leaned in closer and put her arms around me. I wouldn't have it any other way, Yui. Stream crashed? It did not. You are capping.
Just refresh, my guy. Wait a minute, have you been get- what about getting the master key? Uh, I can tell from your face what you're thinking about. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Oh, the bunny! The bunny's gonna come in clutch! Bun 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 darted out of a nearby bush and ran to Yui's side. That's a good boy! You're a good boy! She picked him up and hugged him tight. It was impossible not to smile. Almost forgot! Bun Bun Bun. Hunt! <laughs> Kill! Murder! Do murder! Be gay, do crimes! Bun 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 leapt out, leapt out of her arms, then dashed towards the mansion. And with that out of the way, how about we walk for a little longer? This devious bitch. What just happened? She trained the bunny. Did they, did they give the bunny its memories back? Maybe the bunny always knew how to hunt. She reached for my hand and then held it tight. I'd like that. We walked and talked for hours. When we took breaks, we laid next to each other on the grass, talking about every anything and everything. He was a lovely girl. At times, I remembered how dire the situation we were in and couldn't help but freeze up. But with Yui, I'm never afraid to face those fears. Good song. I don't like Kingdom Hearts, but face my fears? Bro. Banger! Absolute banger. She makes me braver with just a smile. <laughs> I... The word, I can't, I have cr fucking chronic PSO2 brain, I can't read the word braver as anything but the class. True, just go buy more lottery tickets. Poi, you've won the lottery once and you have big titty goth GF that makes you wear a fucking maid costume probably pegs you and gives you head scratches. I think you can win the fucking lottery again, buddy. I believe in you. And then you can make it so I never have to work again. Also, that's very sweet, boy. I'm still not giving you my gem, though. I'll give you my gem. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the, um... I'll give you the OBJ file for this gem in exchange for five gift subs. You got the last one for free because I wasn't using it anymore. But for Yui? But with Yui, I'm never afraid to face these fears. She makes me braver with just a smile. Me standing there with a bow and a katana. Even when she couldn't ask directly about what was on my mind, she found ways to comfort me despite that. And in turn, to make her smile made me feel lighter than air. A life with her would be wonderful. I've got to make sure to get us all out of here safe. Famous crushed snake oil. <laughs> daddy? Yeah? I love you, Daddy. I fucking hate that I ma named myself Daddy and stuck myself with doing this. I hope we can spend another day together just like this soon. Can't fucking wait. I cannot believe that I... I well, just name yourself Haunted next time, you fucking idiot. My god. I can't wait for that day, Yui. I learned my lesson, dude. I'm never gary oking myself into a corner again. Uh, it's not haunted, Marcy. It's daddy, first of all, to you, always. Second of all, during this playthrough, um, <laughs> show some goddamn respect. I'll be counting the days till then. We walked back to the mansion together, hand in hand, and then went our separate ways. Daddy, you would not believe what happened to me today. Ooh, I like Mian Xiao a lot. Mian Xiao is a fucking great and underrated Pokemon. I stand by that. It's an amazing fighty fighting type. Super good coverage moves. Yeah, this song is making me feel like I'm going a little bit crazy. What happened, cat? I got attacked by some kind of forest monster. It was at least 10 feet tall, had monstrous teeth, and there was at least five of them. It took everything I had not to laugh. Luckily, I managed to fight them off without any permanent injury. Is this song from fucking Roblox? I wouldn't know, I am an adult. I made sure that the four deleted the footage. That shit was both embarrassing and traumatic. 
That's good to know. This is the worst run yet. What do you mean by that? Oh no. Are we gonna get wiped early? Are we- Is she gonna squad wipe us early and then fucking default dance on our corpses? Oh, nothing. I've just had a long day. I'll bet. You should get some rest while you have the chance. Five force beasts is nothing to sniff at. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Not at all, Cat. Forest beasts affect one in ten people. It could happen to you. Nice, Marcy. Dub. Dub. Massive dub. Congratul congratulations. Right, right. I'll see you later, Daddy. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> What's so great about those balls, anyway? Mission success! I Mommy Milkers! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! Five forest monsters, one angry producer, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> I see you. I see you, Shadow. I get you. How did you train your pet bunny to do all that? It's all thanks to our special training last night. I may have made a few contracts with a few devils from the forest, but... What the fuck are... What? I'm sorry, what? I'm half kidding, don't worry about it. Only half? Which half? Yeah. Are the keys ready to use? Not yet, which sucks. It's gonna take a little longer for the makeshift, makeshift plaster to set. Where'd you get the plaster from, by the way? Oh, I was making a mold of my pussy, actually. Believe me, knowing how more about how we got it will not make you any happier as a person. I'm cool with not knowing. Does your luck surpass gain? You have poi luck. You have hacked RNG. Anyway, the keys will probably be usable by tomorrow morning, but you'll have to have your next date by then. We'll test them out as soon as it's night tomorrow. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome, let's go team. How about you let the rest of the girls know, Daddy? Force disabled the audio recordings in the house at night, so we should be able to talk back up there. Okay, so we could talk at night. That's cool. You hacked the Matrix. Nice. I'll let them know. I walked back up the staircase back to the mansion. Where are they? Oh, I could hear some sounds from the kitchen. I'll make my way over. Hey, Violet. How are you? Goodness, apologies, Daddy. I didn't see you there. <sighs> you seem pretty deep in thought. What's on your mind? Besides the, say, hundreds of different versions of memories of the same week, I'm worried for the people back home. Yui has her brothers to worry about, though she tries not to burden anyone with that feeling. Everyone has family out there. And who knows what's happened to them in the last, well, however long we've been trapped here. I think Mako's talking about Marcy. Oh, Yui? Yeah. I've never gotten along with my parents that well, but even so, they must be worried sick. No worries, Mako. We still love you. I'm sure they're doing fine, Violet. And they're going to be happy to see you again. You're right, Daddy. Though there's no way you can know for sure, could you? I guess so, but we've got to believe, right? I suppose you're right once again, Daddy. When we finally escape this dreadful place, I'm going to hold them so tight. It's kind of funny. What is Violet? I told you I had a twin sister, right? Yeah, you did. Her name was Viola. That would be her. She was always my parents' favorite. You know the type. She came first in just about everything, while I did not. Even so, we got along just fine. You fuck you, boy. You are- you're literally hacking. 
life. Even so, we got along just fine. I was proud to call her my sister. No, Shadow, he act, he he a hundred percented bug snacks today. This guy just does stuff, okay? He's not he's not capping. He's actually that out there. Then there was the accident. She she saw the car before I did. She moved to protect me before I could. In the end, she was hit before I was. She died for it. Oh, well, now I'm sad. I'm so sorry, Violet. I Before then, I had no problem being second place to her. But for her sake, just for that one time, I wish I'd come in first. I'm oversharing, aren't I? I apologize. It's been... It's okay, Violet. Just say what you're feeling. This is actually fucking depressing. What the fuck? You're kind, Daddy. It's something I adore about you, you know? After Viola died, I did my very best to live up to the standard she set for my parents. You could probably guess how that went. I wasn't as good at running the business or appearing prim and proper, or even things like finding a partner. It's a little embarrassing, really. It's the whole reason why I came here. Yeah, you caught up in NGS very quickly. Yeah, I named my character Daddy Crit. What about it? Or are you asking if you could call me that? Because the answer is yes. My model can't wink, but if it could... My parents saw the ad for the show and thought it might help me. Or perhaps they just wanted to kick me out of the house to make more room for my new baby brother. But yeah, at the beginning of the game it let me name my character, and not realizing that I would be doing all of these female voices, I named myself Daddy. So I've been calling myself Daddy in various female voices for the past six and a half hours. It's more mentally exhausting than you think. I couldn't resist the chance for them to support me just once. At times, I feel like I can't do anything right. Look at how this show has developed. Yeah, Poi power leveled PSO2. You you got to Ritem, like, within a couple hours of starting the game. It was actually pretty, pretty decent. I mean, you were, like... You're, you were pretty geared within, like, a week, so that's that's pretty good. This is a nightmare in every regard, Violet. Yes. I held her in my arms tightly. You're an incredible woman, and believe me, there's nothing you can't do. I've seen you put the fear of God into the Brothers Five and make delicious meals that some people would probably kill for. Even if this is a nightmare, it's one we're gonna get out of together, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you. You're too kind. I don't have to practice the voices. Thank you for the... I appreciate it. But enough about me. Have you remembered anything about why you came here? Unfortunately, I haven't, but I'm hoping that the master key we've pilfered will help with that. Pilfered? That's an ACT word. I hope so, for your sake. You've decided to stick around for the long run? Well, I'm glad to have you. Be sure to join the Discord, man. We hang out in there, like, a lot lately. It's... The Discord's kind of popping lately, and let me say, I'm very happy about that, because I only stream three days a week right now, so it gives me a chance to hang out with people. Yes, yes, let yourself into the haunted house. In the event where it does not provide any answers... My previous offer about finding you help outside of here to go get your memories back stands. Thanks, Violet. I really appreciate that. It's the least I could do. I still fancy you quite a bit, you know? You can't wait to be 21, dude. I mean, why, right? What? It's such an arbitrary thing. Trust me, man, getting older is not what you think it is. Just fucking drink now, dumbass. <laughs> it's... What are you a good what are you a good Christian boy? You mean you ain't 21 you have you for so sippy of alcohol? Pussy. Also, aren't there very real reasons that you should not drink poi? Not not to disclose too much, but <laughs> Is that responsible, buddy? 
I know it's not the time or place, but maybe when we get out of here... But also, alcohol kind of fucking blows, man, not gonna lie. I, I had some issues with alcoholism for a few years. But in general, I have a very addictive personality, so I can get addicted to basically anything. <sighs> right now, it's just Diet Coke, I guess? Perhaps you'll join me for, say, a lovely cruise of what's left of the world? I'm looking forward to that day. What do you mean, what's left of the world? Wait, what? As am I. We talked a few moments longer before retiring for the night. For once, I lay in bed not worrying about being killed. For once, I was excited for what tomorrow would bring. Did Violet just, like, stop? Not Violet. Um, Cat. Did Cat just stop, like, stopping by at night? I... Daddy! <laughs> Allie, what are you... Never mind that, you've got to come down to the lab. What is it? We found something, and I know you'll want to see it. She reached for my hand and pulled me as we ran. The other girls were already there, crowded around a table with a pile of folders on top of it. In Italy, it's okay to give your kids some wine with a meal, no joke. Yeah, I, well, personally, I started drinking at a very young age, at literally 12. Uh, I was tired of alcohol pretty much by the time I got to the age where I was actually supposed to be drinking. Um, I think you can literally do that. You can drink with, like, your parents' consent in, like, Wisconsin. Yeah. It's, uh, it's stupid. It's, a uh, dumb. I, I, I don't really know how I feel about drinking ages and driving ages and stuff. I just think that it's arbitrary nonsense and you should be able to do those things when you feel able to responsibly do them. Started cocaine at 15 and stopped at 16. You did cocaine for a full year straight? It's impressive. What's going on? I was just looking around the lab when I stumbled across these. These nuts? They're our files. I didn't read anyone's but my own, but I have to warn you. Caution was the last thing on all of our minds. Most of us scrambled to find our own file. Except for Yui, who was already holding hers, and Allie. Weird, there's no file for me here. I double-checked, but there was nothing for me. I guess I'm not getting any answers today. Allie slowly walked to the pile, found her own, then opened it in one fluid motion. Interesting. What is it? Allie Major, sent to the island for being suspected of committing treason against the government. So... I want to know why the other ones are here. Selected for the experimental show fitting the sporty girl archetype. We need one of those. Ha! <laughs> it's good to know this whole getup was a good idea. Did you know I actually fucking hate sports? <laughs> I'd never seen Allie look so angry. <laughs> Let's see, they got all the fake information I gave. That sounds about right. What is it? They've been talking extre taking extremely detailed notes on me for every single run of the show. For the past two years. Oh no, this has been going on a while, huh? What I've done, things I've said in private or with others, they've got notes down here on how and when I brush my teeth. How I react differently when they change the show or tell me different things or... We're nothing but lab rats to them. It's true, and it's my fault. What do you mean? If I hadn't invented this machine in the first place, none of this would have ever happened. It's getting deeper, yeah. Ooh, I want to catch the LDS too real quick. Do I even have an Ultra Ball? Whatever, probably. Yeah, you couldn't have known. You couldn't have known, Scarlet. You really wanted to help people, and that was a great thing. It's not your fault someone ended up using your invention like this. Mommy Milters. So true. I agree, Crit. Scarlet does have some fucking nice milkies. She's the first girl to, that I picked to go on a date with. And then she killed everyone with a minigun. So. <laughs> yeah, it's in an ideal world we would have more time, Marcy. My file says that they wipe my memories and put me on the show to make sure that no one else could build this technology? 
I can't even begin to understand how that could be a reason for causing all this. So my reason, so I was right about the reason that Scarlet was going to be there. I'm not sure we'd even want to understand the people who run this place. Poi, you're an anime protagonist, you know that? No other way to explain it. The room fell silent. I wanted to crack a joke to ease the tension, but it was impossible. Thank goodness! Wait, what? I'm surprised- I'm so- I, I read you as UE. Huh! Uh, duh. Or the Joker, and there's really no in-between. I'm surprised to hear you say that, Yui, all things considered. Oh, uh, sorry. I know you must- uh, Sorry, guys. Mine's the same as Allie's. They've tracked, measured, and commented on many things about us so many times. It feels so violating. But it's not all bad. Did I ever tell you why I came on this show, Daddy? No, why is that? Oh, I forgot. I, I forgot. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to tell you. That was one of the conditions. To be completely transparent, the reason was money, and nothing but that. Okay. It was hard enough to even take care of myself without my parents, let alone two brothers and a whole farm. I remember now. It was Kat who reached out to me. She told me that if I came onto the show, my brothers and the farm would be taken care of for life. I know this is all horrifying, but I'm just glad she held up her end of the deal. How do you know that? Even if I might die here, and never see them again. That's too depressing to think, Huey. We're gonna get you out of here and see your brothers again. Together. Thanks, Daddy. I like that. <laughs> Fucking hate doing that. I hate it so much saying Daddy in Yui's voice, can I just say? I'm curious, Yui, what type of archetype did they list you as? Uh, the girl next door. Uh, da, da. I I almost want to have an uh, da, da, redeem, but like I don't like doing it that much. Face tracking wanna behave for me today? Damn it, that sounds better than gaming gremlin. Oh, is she gets to be the gaming gremlin. That's awesome. That's my type. I looked at Violet, who had been silent the whole time. This is getting super meta, yeah. She was trembling. Violet, are you... Please, God, don't let this be true. Violet fell to her knees and sobbed with her hands against her face. Schmako, it has not clicked for me yet. Shut the fuck up, okay? I'm, I'm a dumb bitch. Let me have this. I rushed to her side. Are you okay, Violet? Violet threw her folder against the floor, causing the papers inside to scatter through the room. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, you know, that does make sense. Especially the way that, um, that they were talking about how they were betting on the stuff, too. That That's very reminiscent of Cabin in the Woods. Nothing is okay, Daddy. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I get off this island or not. I'm not like you. I have nothing to go back to. No one to stand by me. There's nothing for me either way. Violet, wait. She ran to the stairs. Her sobs echoed through the staircase and through the lab. I moved to follow her, but Yui stopped me. I think she might need some time alone. I didn't mean to look, but after her papers scattered all around the room, I... Maybe you should just read it. I still haven't watched Squid Game. At this point, I kind of refuse to. Yui handed me the papers that were in Violet's file. Yeah, the archetypes thing makes sense to me. Violet Valentine is a special case, otherwise unremarkable. Ooh, that that would hurt. But she's the daughter of Edgar and Vane Vane? Edgar and Vane? Dick Vane. Vane Valentine, one of our primary investors. I listen the reason that I don't watch shows like that is because of how many fucking people tell me to do it. I just don't like being told what to do. It's my own, and also the fact that it's, it's whatever. <laughs> it's my understanding that they, and also it's a Netflix exclusive thing, so I'm never in my fucking life giving them money. 
Maybe, 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 okay? Maybe. Maybe if I can pirate it. Is my understanding they have a, they recently had a son and want for him to be their next heir after Viola passed? Oh no! Edgar and Vane sent their remaining daughter Violet to us, full well knowing that what the show would entail. Dude, that's fucked. Oh, don't worry. The political messaging went completely over everyone's fucking head, Mako. <laughs> They've paid us an incredible sum to make sure that she does not return from the show. They sent her there to fucking die. Even for me, this is too cruel. It was too hard to keep reading. I closed the folder and just stared open mouthed at Yui. There were no words. That fucking sucks, dude. They had another kid, they're like, fuck this bitch, she got our other kid killed, so we're just gonna send her to Death Island. Uh, later, slut. And then, wow. I knocked on Violet's door later that night, but it was no use. Oh, is she gonna fucking kill herself? Oh, okay. Fuck, man. Please, just leave me alone, daddy. I'm here if you want to talk. Even if she opened the door, I would have no idea what I was supposed to say. What could anyone say? I was wrong. It's not only uh, it's not only up from here. There's a long way down. All the way down. <laughs> It's hardly a surprise, but I didn't sleep well last night. Play Doki Doki. I, I don't want to play Doki Doki because I know all of the plot twists because I've watched playthroughs. Um, so it just would be plain uninteresting to me. Who could after what happened? Yeah, I've watched multiple different like YouTube YouTubers play through all of Doki Doki, so it wouldn't be interesting to me. I, like, it's a visual novel. If you've seen somebody else play it, you have played it. And just like that, we're on to day three. I gotta thank you, Daddy. You're making my job easy. I actually get to spend my nights doing productive things now. I'm happy to help with that. However, that works. You alright? You don't seem to have your usual energy. Careful, Daddy. One slip up with Cat and this is all over. I'm good, thanks, Cat. I just didn't sleep too well. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, it goes without saying that Yui is definitely a contender for the final ceremony, huh? Uh, of course, sure. Of course! A woman like Yui? Anyone would be lucky to have her. And <laughs> damn straight! Though she's a very different kind of woman than Scarlet, you've got a tough choice down the road. Play Metroid Dread? I'm still angry, okay? Maybe one day. I'm working on getting my Switch shit working. So, here's the update on the Switch capture card situation. I got the capture card to work again, but I can't get it to work at the same time as my face tracking because for some reason VC face will only allow one video input um, to be, you know, it's just so like it doesn't like turn a camera on and like reveal my face, I guess. I don't know if that's supposed to be the reason that that works like that, but I'm working on it. I can play Switch on my computer, but I can't quite stream it yet. Though you've got a tough choice to make right now. Who's the unlucky girl today? So who should I be asking on a date tomorrow? Honestly, joking aside, I think you should ask Violet. Really, I don't think she's in any shape to put on a good show. I mean, we need all of us to be able to work together well to get out of here, right? I don't think Violet would be able to until she's feeling better. And what better way to do that than for a date to make you feel special? You're sweet, Tara. You know that? <laughs> Tara does make a great point. I always make great points. Like seeing if I could arm wrestle one of the zombies Scarlet made. That went great. Did you win? Oh, I remember that! We 
wait, I was the zombie. That was not a good idea at all. Can I take my vote back? <laughs> what do you think, Daddy? I like the idea. Yeah, do you? Listen, I can't, the, the, poi, poi, I was gonna end two hours ago, but there's plot, there's plot, plot's happening. A lot of plot's happening. I can't just skip the plot. It won't have the same impact if I come back to it multiple days from now on the next stream. It won't be as impactful. It's called your thick thighs, send thigh pics, pussy. Bet you fucking won't. Yeah, Marcy, you keep your keep your kaiju on a leash, okay? <laughs> oh really, crit? If there's no plot, mommy milker. Why are you still here? <laughs> the story has you gripped. We could kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure there's something that we can do to help us escape that we could only do on a date with Violet. <laughs> Keep your kaiju on a leash. <laughs> that can go two ways. I got it. Tomorrow you'll be going on a date with Violet. Here's what you're gonna do. Aw, oh, my puppy. Hi, puppy. Violet. I've always wanted to spend more time with her, and there's no time like the present. We'll make it happen. I do have one small request, though. What's that? And will it give me ratings? I think it will. Let's hear it. I noticed Violet being a little down lately, so I wanted to cheer her up. I heard she really likes cooking, especially in groups. Would you mind if we cooked with the staff at noon? I don't see why not. Let's hope it goes better than the last time. So true, because she threatened to cut one's balls off last time, and may have actually done that. We're still not sure. Have I ever heard of playing... Have you ever heard of playing with my fucking dick? No, I'm not going to play fucking Deltarune. I hate you for even saying that. I've never played Undertale, and I've never played Deltarune, and I never fucking will. <laughs> oh, hi, Danny. Why'd you bring me here? Dude, I have the, the fucking literally everything I have seen. Yeah, Cat is getting a little suspicious, I can tell. Literally everything I've fucking seen about like Undertale. First of all, I have not forgiven that community for 2015. The internet hasn't, and they shouldn't. And I haven't forgiven Homestuckers either. But my god, nothing about that game looks fun. I'm in a bit of a predicament, you see. I may have made an irresponsible bet. If I'm the daddy of Violet, does that mean I sent her here to die? Well, I'm your daddy too, so quit asking questions. <laughs> You've forgiven Homestuckers? I've forgiven them slightly more than I've forgiven the Undertale people. I did not take you for a gambler. Well, I'm not, but the thing is... Oh, boy, you sweet summer child. You're only 20. You might not even... F oh, a Politoed! I'm Ultra Balling that. What? After I buy one. Go ahead, explain Homestuck to the kid. He's he's 20. He, he probably was not terminally online at that point. You're actually maybe better off not knowing. I heard the cooks bragging they were the best chefs on the island. But hey, I've tried the food you've made before. I know nobody else can come close to how good you are. So I may have challenged them all to a competition in your name. I'll play Deltarune for $100. That's my price. No, I'll do them in order. I'll play Undertale for $100. Otherwise, all, no, off the table. I'll do most things for money. 
Let it be known. <laughs> You're ridiculous, Daddy. Delta room's free. Probably because... Never mind. I'll, I'll be quiet. Violet laughed out loud. <laughs> There's that smile I like so much. It was nice to see it again. Yes, in order to get me to play both Undertale and Deltarune on stream, it would cost $200. Are you being serious? Dead serious. In a few hours, hundreds of staff are going to come here. Oh my god, Mako got the Politoed and I didn't. You fucking bitch. I changed my mind. I'm a Mothra stan now. <laughs> Some of them are ch as challenging cooks, some of them as judges, and the rest of them looking for lunch. All of them hungry. Think you're up for the challenge? I am ready to crush the opposition. They will rue the day they challenged me. That's the Violet I like to see. Anyway, what's the theme of this contest? I can't tell you just yet. It'll be announced when it's cooking time. I do like a challenge. Would you care to stay with me as I prepare for the festivities? What reasonable person isn't a Mothra stan? Uh, mm, mm, good question. <laughs> Brain dead gamer cat boy. Yeah, Violet is back. Violet is back online. Let's fucking go. Of course, Violet. Thank you, Daddy. I know why we're doing this, and I appreciate it. I'm not ready to talk about it just yet, but I feel happy already knowing you're looking out for me. Uh, do I make that promise? Do I make the promise that I'm always going to be there for her? Because, like... Ah! Can you be real here? I would expect nothing less. I'd be more offended if you weren't. Yeah, I'm going to tell her I'm always going to be there for her. I'll be there for you. I'm always here for you, Violet. An eye for you as well, Danny. Is she a side piece? They're all side pieces. There's five of them. Plus, I'm still not ruling out banging fucking, um, uh, uh, Cat. Cat's her name. The host, girl, lady. She's still hot. I don't care that she's evil. Actually, that actually makes it better. I like evil women. I just want a bitch who is downright devious. I, I want someone that is going to commit war crimes. <laughs> and I for you as well, Danny. You can see that I'm bugging out again, Poi, or do you just do this at a certain time? Yes, yes, you caught me. You caught me slouching. I've been reading off of a screen for fucking seven hours. Yes, I'm slouching a bit. And I do need to get a drink. Thanks for looking out for me, dude. That's why you work here. Un momento, por favor. I have a Diet Coke to get. Maybe they're all fucking and I'm the side piece. I'm preaching to the choir, man. I'm a fucking demon. <laughs> Okay, the kaiju conversation. Riddle me this. Is Clifford the big red dog a kaiju? If so, why not? We spent the time before the contest just talking about pleasant things completely unrelated to the show. Completely unrelated to anything of consequence. Hold on, you know what? I'll run a poll on that. We, we will decide right here and now if Clifford the Big Red Dog 
is a kaiju. All right. Um, I'll roll it for three minutes. Go ahead, and content does not meet, gu meet guidelines. Oh, probably because I put the word fuck in it. I put shut the fuck up as the option for no. We'll just do shut up. I can't meet. I can't write shut up. Are you fucking with me right now, dog? Because the capacity for property damage? Well, then I'm then I'm a kaiju. Have you ever heard of a Molotov cocktail? Testicles. Mmm. <laughs> Sometimes when bad things happen, what you need most is just a semblance of normalcy. The boys are here. By the time noon rolled around, hundreds of staff members were filling up the kitchen. I don't want to face you, Violet, but I will if I have to. The context on the poll is Clifford the Big Red Dog is a large, aminal, capable of destruction. Is it a kaiju in the same vein as, say, Godzilla, fucking Mothra, Ghidorah, King Kong, that type deal? The drink the diet cock? Let me fucking... <laughs> oh, you're challenging me? Oh! <laughs> you're approaching me? Like a snail challenging the mighty eagle, you have my respect. Is it too late to change sides? You're going down, Violet. We're the Brothers Five, the best chefs on the island. What's that, too? What I meant to say is, wow, you really are the best chef on the island. That's right. I think three is the one that I gave the uh, that I gave James that the James voice to. Damn it, Rose, you can't just let her intimidate you like this. Not very good impression, but hey. <laughs> if we do, she's already won. Due to proportionality? Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. Say something for. We will meet on the culinary battlefield, Violet. You may have my brothers running for the hills, but not me in five. Come at me, let us brandish our forks against each other. Five, do you have anything to say? Wait, what's happening? I do hope you'll entertain me, brothers. Violet raised a pan towards them. Let us begin. It's time for the cook-off to end all cook-offs. Each cook will cook their own version of a mystery dish. I want to win. You better win. I have win. come second twice. Well, I'll make sure you come first, Marcy. Each cook will cook their own version of a mystery dish, a dish that I will reveal soon for the first time ever. The judges will be everyone who is not a contestant. You must be joking. There's hundreds of people here. How could we ever feed everybody? Uh, it turns out Clifford's not a kaiju uh, because Poi dumped channel points into it because he's rich. That's not my problem. And I definitely didn't come up with rules for this tournament on the spot. Liar. Violet laughed once more. That was enough to keep this charade going. The mystery dish will be spaghetti and meatballs. Somebody touch my spaghetti. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. Not this again. Oh, I think I'm gonna faint. One collapsed on the ground. One down, four to go. Bro! I knew we should have been accountants. Why are we fooling ourselves? You each have an hour. Nice, Marcy. Fucking dub. What a gamer. No late submissions will be accepted. Let the games begin. The contestants that were still conscious rushed off to gather ingredients. How are they going to make that much food? Yes. Yes, Mako. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marcy's a, Marcy's a fucking queen, honestly. Yeah, don't worry. I'll um I'll bring back a certain costume redeem sooner than later, boy.
I just have a lot of projects I'm working on right now that make that hard. I'm sure they'll figure something out. I watched each of them cook furiously at breakneck speed. Violet was hard at work, sweat streaming down her face with the biggest smile I'd seen her have all day. I couldn't help but smile as well. At the same time, Four was trying to cook his spaghetti with only a microwave. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not sure this will be too much of a contest. One minute left. Violet filled hundreds of laid out bowls with spaghetti and meatballs in a matter of moments. If you blinked, you'd miss her finish a whole row. Each looked both delicious and artistic. You would have thought a cook would have spent much longer than an hour putting each of them together. Your love says it's sleepy time? Well, your daddy says listen to her because she has boobs. <laughs> and she also pays for, uh, she, 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 she pays me like $3 a month, roughly, so whatever. Listen to her instead. I don't pay you anything. Five settle on making about four and a half bowls. I guess everyone has their own pace. Time's up. It's time to judge. The crowd cheered as they stampeded to lay out the bowls. They were practically salivating. Man, I want some speggy and marbles. I want some spaghetti. Um, bye bye, ploy. You will catch me again. What the fuck is today? Uh, tomorrow, Monday. I haven't decided what I'm playing yet. Maybe Blood Hunt. Ooh, Marcy, I just saw your Mian Shao. It's very good. Wait, what's the move set on that again? Slash, Mock Punch, Vacuum Wave, and Heat Crash. That's a fucking good Mian Shao. Mock Punch, having a priority move in your kit. Very. And a stab one at that. Very good. Very, very good to have. Did I see your Deli Bird? Here, let me look. Was it the Ultra Dog Shit one? No, that was your Dracovish. Um, your Deli Bird is pretty decent, actually. It's perfect special attack. Very nice. After everybody wolfed down bowls from each of the contestants, they submitted their vote. The people have spoken. And with a resounding majority, our first ever winner of the Best Chef on the Island in the Middle of Nowhere award is... Violet! <laughs> the crowd cheered, myself included. I did it, me, I did it. Violet jumped up and down with joy. Mm, boobies. I feel like a kid in a candy store, just from just from one look at her. Like, my character is fucking in love with all of them still. You won fair and square, you should be proud of yourself. Yeah, the food was the best I ever had. Though, if you consider our living standards, that doesn't mean too much. Hey, I just had an idea. What if we get Violet to cook for the staff at lunch instead of us? Seriously, it's been years since we've had real food. What's that supposed to mean? Honestly, I think it's a great idea. I know I hide it well, but I really have no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. No way, bro. Violet and I took one look at each other and couldn't help but laugh. Yeah, you just tried to make spaghetti in the microwave. I would love to, you guys. The crowd's enthusiasm reached a level of uproarious applause. Wait, how are there hundreds of staff members on this island? And they only show us, like, five. Nice poi. If you ever get a Pokemon that has, like, good stats and bad moves, you are able to re-roll the moves. You could buy that... You could buy that in the, uh, in the shop within the, the app. Or the extension, rather. Um, let me catch this. Oh goodness, you're all too kind. I put my arm around her and smiled. Guess you've got a new job now, Violet. I guess I do. I... Violet leaned in to kiss me on the lips. For a moment, time stood still and the only thing you could hear was the crowd's cheer getting even louder. Violet! 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 We laughed together. I've had so much fun today, Daddy, thanks to you. Care to join me by the beach after we clean this place up? Fuck yeah. It feels like I'm legitimately romancing Violet and not the other ones. Which wasn't really my choice. But whatever. The world would pale in comparison. Hey. She reached her hand out to mine and I held hers tight in return. 
Hey, Violet. I'm quite the Casanova, thanks. <laughs> you really gave them a great show today, you know. I couldn't have done that without my ever-so-charming television host. We walked along the beach, our feet bare in the inviting water of the ocean. Show feet. Really, I'm so grateful to you, Danny. Last night, finding out what my parents did, I... That was the lowest point I'd ever been to. I held her hand even tighter. Honestly, I didn't see a way out. Escaping the island or not, everything seemed like a dead end. But today, you helped me remember that even without them, I've still got me. And I like me quite a bit. You really are incredible, Violet. That was all you. With you. Violet mumbled something under her breath. Sorry, what was that? Among Us. <laughs> uh, sorry, let me try again. I know I'd be fine on my own, but I'd like me better if I was with you. When we get out of here, I do hope you'd join me for that cruise. She kissed me again. It felt like magic. Violet, I... She put her finger against my lips. Shh, I know it's not quite the time for this conversation yet. But please do remember what I've said when this is all over. Stored power in nature's madness? That's fucking baller. <laughs> you mind if we just walk for a little longer? I... I don't want this to end. I'll walk for you as long as you wanted to. See, I'm picking the more romantic um, of the phrasings because I'm trying to smash some puss. <laughs> we can walk till the sun comes up and we can talk about anything and everything. So how about we start with planning our cruise together? That would be lovely. We walked together till the dead of night. It was nothing less than magical. Just after we came back, a huge storm hit outside. We just missed it. Hope you two enjoyed your date today. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's time we get this show on the road. Allie took out the master key from her pocket, spanned it around the ring with her finger, spun, um, and then put it in the locked door. And we're in. She turned the lock and then pulled the door open. Wow, the door's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Must be soundproof or something. Oh no. Whatever, let's go. Why is the door soundproof? Oh man, not another staircase. They would have saved so much more money if they just put this on the main floor. But it wouldn't be very secret then, would it? Secret schmeekret, it's behind a locked door. I guess you have a point. Though there was another staircase, it wasn't nearly as long as the one to the lab. We'd been walking down the steps for only a few moments when we saw where they led. Is this the surveillance room? This has to be it. What's it? A while back, Kat told me all the information on this island was stored in the books. They didn't use anything digital or with the internet. I think I remember that too. Well, it's bullshit. They're an evil corporation intent on world domination through fear and control. Of course they have the internet. True. Uh, and, we, and I think we've just found a way into their closets, skeletons and all. Sounds like a pretty big deal. That's an understatement. The information in here could change the tide of the war. It could give the resistance a real fighting chance, I think. But there's more than that, too. What do you mean? My dad, mom, and brother got taken by these guys a long time ago. I don't even know if they're still alive. I was too young to really understand what was happening. If there's anything that can help me find them again, or at least find out what happened to them, it's in this computer. That was the real reason I came here, the whole reason I risked everything. I... What if it doesn't have what I'm looking for? What if... Allie! Yui ran to Allie's side and hugged her tightly. It's gonna be okay! You believe in me, right? She took deep breaths. It is a trap, probably. More than likely. Why would there not be fucking cameras in this room? <laughs> and, like, that door would have, like, an alarm on it, right? Like, fuck. Usually doors, like, secure doors like that have, like, an alarm code that you have to input. Um, 
before a certain amount of time goes by. Otherwise, it'll, like, sound an alarm. So, I'm um, calling that. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm okay now. Thanks, Yui. I didn't do anything. As usual, you boring bitch. Are you ready? I don't like Yui, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do this. I looked to Violet as Allie prepared to turn the computer on. Tara's bullshit aura? I don't know, man. I... I'm not sure. Tara's the one that we have, like, the least amount of information on. Technically. In fact, she didn't share anything about her file other than the fact that she fit the little gamer gremlin archetype. So we don't actually know... If, we don't know why Tara's here. You know? Kind of, a uh, suspicious. A little bit sussy. <laughs> she's just a silly gamer. Watch, she's not- she hasn't been playing games on that thing this whole time. She's been monitoring all of them on the- the fucking- I don't know. I'm bad at conspiracies. She looked as concerned as I did, but we couldn't let it show. The screen lit up with a single message. Among us. <laughs> Password required. Well, I did think it was going a little too smoothly. I'm not giving up just yet, though. Type password one. She tried a few different passwords on the keyboard, but none of them worked. Damn, I bet only Damien or Kat know this, and there's no way we could just ask them. Silence fell upon the room. It can't end like this. It just can't. I've got an idea. It's not going to involve wrestling zombies again, is it? Hey, I've had better ideas than that. What I mean to say is that I think I have a way to crack the code. Okay, is she finally going to be fucking useful? She's been posting memes in general. <laughs> I'm a programmer. I can make something that could, actually, that could try out all the possibilities for the password. Finally, you're being fucking useful. It would take some time, especially if it locks me out after too many attempts, but eventually I'd get the password. Though there's no guaranteed we'd get the answer before the show was over. It's a lot better of a shot than I thought we had. Allie ran over to Tara and hugged her tightly. These guys love hugging each other. Very cute. Thank you, you awesome little you. Uh, this is nice. Feel free to compliment me more. In the meantime, the rest of us could try to figure out what the password would be as well. That reminds me. I need to tell you guys something important. What's that? I have our escape plan. Hell yeah. I haven't saved in like fucking four hours, by the way. <laughs> if this were to crash, I would probably kill myself. Nice, she has the escape plan. She took out the master key and held it out for us to see. There's a hidden hangar I found by the beach, just a little further from where I first found the plane. Now that we have this key and we know that it works, we can use it to disable the hangar's security, commandeer a plane, and then fly the hell out of here. Practically jumped for joy. Ending stream soon? What do you mean, me? I mean, when I get to an ending. I can't believe it, we're almost out of here. It's been a long time coming. Well, soon, but not just yet. With this storm raging, there's no way we're getting anywhere tonight. Least of all off the ground. But if there's clear skies tomorrow night, that's where we'll be. What about the computer? Don't you need to crack it before we go? Yeah, what about your family? The music was on a super short loop. I was trying to get through that dialogue. It was going to annoy the shit out of me. Will that be the ideal case? But honestly... I've gotten to know you guys and care about you guys, and I... I've decided that's more important to save the people I care about that are right in front of me than chase a pipe dream. No, I won't accept it! If I were in your shoes and I was looking for my brothers and I just gave up looking for them, I'd regret it forever, and I know you would too. But I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer. We're in danger if we stay here. Yui speaks for us too. 
To have a family that you really care about and that cares about you too? You can't give up on that. We're not going anywhere until we crack that code, even if it takes till the last day. You guys. No, I can't allow it. I won't take that chance with your lives. I'm not backing down on this. What do you think, Daddy? Oh, no, I, I this is an actual decision that needs to be made. Um, yeah, we're getting out of here. Fuck it. Gotta fucking skedaddle, boys. Trying not to stay on murder fucking island long enough for them to wipe my brain again. And this whole plan goes out the window, right? If I stall too much, then I die. So... You need to take this chance, Allie. I think you need this. Save scum? I'm not gonna save scum. Whatever ending I get the first time is the ending I fucking get. I... Guys, guys, take a chill pill for a second. I'm a programming god. Best of the best. Did she already get it? Oh, damn. I'm gonna have that code cracked by tomorrow, and that's a promise. So don't worry, Kay. I love you guys. Thanks so much, really. Why are you thinking all of us? I'm the only one who has to write the code and shit. We laughed together. Something that I thought might have been impossible after the initial bad news. We're in this together, and we're getting out together. No one gets left behind. Yeah, I've heard that before, and it was not true. Look up fucking Pat Tillman. After we called it a night, I laid in bed, deep in thought. Who, who'd have thought I could have escaped? Bleh. Who'd have thought I could have ended today feeling inspired after everything that happened last night? We've got this. We. Daddy, one more thing before we turn in for the night. Oh, I like that when she appears, she has the game room music with her. Very cute. What's up, Tara? I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier, and... Oh, no. I got no idea. No, 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 no. I do not like where this is going. How to do this, because... I remember that all I know about hacking are videos of people typing really fast and saying, I'm in. God fucking damn it. <laughs> and... <laughs> Fuck. You sure you're Terra, Marcy? Because you just fucked us. You bitch. <laughs> I practically flew out of bed. Thank God, it was just a nightmare. Oh, it was a nightmare. Okay. Okay, it's fine. We're fine. We're good. It's chill. <laughs> what are you smiling about? Um, today, yesterday's date with Violet. Sure, I'll pretend the, for the fucking she only knows movie hacking. No, I think that that was a nightmare. Hopefully, I don't know, because sometimes the nightmares that happen on this show actually fucking happen, so who knows anymore. It just feels like things are going my way lately. Yesterday's date with Violet still has me feeling giddy as a little kid. It's almost like there's perks to being on a killer dating show. Well, don't get too comfortable. You've still got a few days left, and then it's back to the regular. I'm looking forward to that. I bet better sooner than later. You cost too much to keep around. Anyway, the million dollar question. Who's today's lucky girl? That'd be... And now we flash back to this. So tomorrow, it's gonna be either Tara or Allie. It's probably best if we go with Terra. No, Terra's supposed to be busy fucking hacking the goddamn computer. Why would I distract her? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I was gonna say. Doesn't Terra need time to crack the code? Nah, I already finished making the code breaker. It's trying every password as we speak. Oh, she's kind of lit. No guarantee it'll finish before we're both done our, done our dates, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> Thank you, Terra. Don't worry about it. Besides, I think it's better if we save your date for last. Why is that? I don't know, you're some super spy from some super secret organization. You definitely got bigger heist potential than I do. I don't know about that, but sounds good to me. I'll use the time to prepare some contingency plans. Scarlet, Violet, Yui, I'm gonna need you guys for this. 
I'm happy to provide assistance. <laughs> you bet. I'll help however I can. Sweet, all right. Uh, <laughs> Daddy, what's up? I didn't just build a code breaker, I built a game that works with it too. What are you fucking doing, bitch? Like, can you get your shit together for five goddamn seconds? What do you mean you built a fucking game? What do you mean? <laughs> she handed me her console. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I just whipped it up real quick. It, it looks like a code breaking game, but really it works directly with the computer we found. If you get the password right in this game, we'll have access to the computer. Makes sense? Amazing, I can't believe you whipped up something so fast. It wasn't hard. It was just a big middle finger to my mom who thought all my screen time was a waste of time. Anyway, I figured we could play this game here during our date and try whatever passwords come to mind. Oh shit, am I actually gonna have to code break? Because I'm stupid. Obviously not for the whole date because ratings and all, but as much as we can. What the fuck ever, dude. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Tara. Bwahaha. No, I'm not doing that. She cackled maniacally. I'd like to spend today with Tara. Is that so? Well, we'll make it happen. Try not to spend all of it playing games, though. Believe it or not, that isn't what viewers want in the primetime slot. No promises, but I'll try my best. It ain't much, but I'll take that. Sorry, cat. That's pretty much the plan. <laughs> hey, Daddy, you have to play some games. And if any hold, if someone fucking said that sentence to me in real life, bruh, bruh, I'd love to, but Cat wants us to do some other games. It is sweet. Just fucking, hey, Daddy, wanna play some games? Like, fuck you. This is now an ASMR stream. There's no stopping Tara when she puts her mind to something. We started playing together in the games room while making pleasant conversation. Normal enough to seem like a normal conversation, cryptic enough to disguise what we were trying to do. Even if Tara and I went on crazy adventures like I did with Allie, it didn't make moments with her any less special. Or if we never went on crazy adventures, got it. If I forget that we're trying to hack into some confidential database, this really is like a fun day at home with your partner. How about Tara's the best? It's worth a shot. Nope, doesn't work. The nerve of them! <laughs> Marcy! Down, girl! I said real life, Australia is not real. Nice try, though. Terra rules? That's a miss. Was the T capitalized? Maybe add a 1, 2, 3 at the end of it. Thank goodness we have the code breaker running in the background. <laughs> Time to switch gears. Let's give Kat some footage to work with to keep us alive. No, just because Australia is not real and you're trying to sell me a fantasy. Good God, Daddy, why the sun? Go on without me. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Some way or another, we always end up back inside the mansion, huh? And there's nothing wrong with that. I guess you're right. Up for a few more rounds of that game we just played? Sure. How about Damien Black sucks? Nope, doesn't work. Cat Black sucks? Not that either. How about Daddy? Oh, come on. Now you're just guessing. Like I wasn't before. Well, I'll try it. The password was Daddy. The password was Daddy. The password was Daddy. <laughs> the two of us looked at each other like deer in the headlights. What? We cheered as if our favorite team just won in a sporting event. Wait a minute. Why would the password be your name? That doesn't make any sense. My guess is as good as yours. Maybe we'll find out tonight. <laughs> I hope so. There you go, Crit. Thank you for referring to me by my title. 
Well, I think I've had enough of games for today. I never thought I'd hear you say that, Tara. I'm full of surprises. You're gonna be full of fucking cum if you keep bringing home W's. We can spread the good news after. How about we try something new today? Is this something outside? Sounds like a plan to me. Awesome, let's go. We ended up going back inside a minute later, but the rest of the day with Tara was still a lot of fun. And we're in. The password prompt closed with a satisfying ding-ding. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. Why would there be a folder called Homework? Because that's a fucking great Daft Punk album. Whoa, that is definitely a porn folder name. Tara was about to open it until Allie intervened. Do you mind if I take a look? Oh, forget why we were here for a second, sure. What the fu- what? Do not lose sight of the fucking goal in mind right now. We are almost out of here. Let's see. Allie started going through folders, databases, reports, anything that could be useful. At the same time, Tara started downloading all the files to her console. I... can you I somehow doubt that that's achievable. <laughs> It doesn't look like there's anything here about why my name was the password. All the rest of us could do was give Allie and Tara the space they needed. Seems like it's only gonna be up from here, team. I was worried for Allie, especially if we couldn't get into the computer, but it looks like we got it after all. It's too soon to say anything, but I hope you're right. Let's not jinx it! So what's the first thing you're gonna do when we're out of here? I thought we weren't gonna jinx it. I'm going to get straight back to helping people the way I know best. Nothing's changed in that regard. That is a lovely aspiration. Welcome back, Shadow. We got into the computers, dog. We got in. Do me a favor and make sure your inventions don't get used on yourself again, okay? I mean, it's not like I was trying to. I admire how you, how you could be so sure. As excited as I am to leave this place, I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing after. That's totally okay, Violet. That's part of the fun of life. Just figuring it out as you go. I... I suppose so. Violet looked at me and smiled. That's pretty much my plan at this point, too. Welcome back, other gamers. Guess who's back, bitch? What Tara wants to say is we did it. I've got everything I need to help turn the tide of the war, and I know where my family is, and they're alive. I'd never seen Ellie so happy. She jumped towards me and hugged me. That's fantastic. That's such a relief. I'm so happy for you, Ellie. Good job, Tara. You cracked the code. Not all at once now. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. We didn't have to wait this long to leave, but you guys did it for me and my family. I can't ever thank you enough. She pulled out the master key from her back pocket and swirled it around in her right hand. You guys ready to get out of here? Actually, I was thinking of staying here for the rest of my life. Not having internet's the best thing ever. I couldn't agree more. Er, let's get out of here. After you, Allie. It's time to get the fuck out of here. We followed Allie out to the mansion, through the forest, and to the hangar. Oh, the music is picking up. I think we're doing it. Whoa, I did not see this. Granted, I don't go outside. I don't blame you. It's pretty out of the way. Not that we have to worry about it now. Allie pulled out the master key and swirled it around in her right hand again. Uh, she walked to the door of the hangar and put the key into its lock. She tried to turn it, but it didn't work. I hate this. <laughs> she tried a few more times, but the lock refused to budge. I don't understand. I've seen Kat use this key everywhere, including here. Oh, did she figure out that you guys have the key and maybe they changed locks? They must have changed the locks. Yeah. 
Does this mean we're stuck here? Who's ready for the climax? I'm always climaxing. I don't... It was rare that Allie tripped over her words. It hurt me to see her so defeated. We know where there is another plane. I don't know. That was... I used the wrong voice whenever. Get over it. An uncomfortable silence fell over us. Am I gonna die here? Are all of us? I... No, we're not out of this just yet. I, I refuse to give up again. Keep it in my pants? You want me to fill my pants with cum like a fucking animal? No, open your mouth. <laughs> but we can't get in the hangar. There's no way to break in without triggering the alarms. For now, yes, but getting in later is a different story. If I remember correctly, whenever you went on a third date with Daddy, you would fly in a plane together. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> Fair point, Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> Never hurts to ask. Well, I'm assuming the plane was just you two. It's just like you to try something crazy and drag in Daddy. So they're going. Are, are they able to find the other plane now? Was that why was that not the original plan? I can't refute that. That was definitely us. How we never died on those plane rides, I'll never know. Why did they keep letting you take the plane? By the way. <laughs> That means the staff don't mind if you ask if you take the plane during the date, which means we should be able to ask for the key temporarily. So wait. I did just say, yeah. But you said no and then I listened, so. We'd still be able to get the plane. It has to be during tomorrow's date. So I'm confused. How many times have they taken that plane? Because I thought it was only the one time that they did where she revealed all like the information about the situation. I don't. Whatever, I guess that's just part of like, the memories they got back? There'd be way more of staff around than usual, but we'd still have a chance. Yeah, let me drink up. Yer. My voice is gonna be so fucking gone tomorrow, fuck. I don't talk this much. And my eyes hurt from reading. Exactly, the rest of us can be relatively close by. <laughs> Touche, Shadow. Touche. The rest of us can be relatively close by, perhaps at the beach to avoid suspicion. Then when you get the plane, we run over, you pick us up, and we're out of here. This could work. It's better than how my plan turned out anyway. I was worried for a second there, but it was for nothing. We've got this. We'd be in a tight spot without you. It is a team effort. Without each of us here, we'd be stuck here and with no chance of escape, I'm sure. Speak for yourself. I'm sure I could get out of here on my own. You would shut down the second you reach the beach, Tara. On second thought, te maybe teamwork makes the dream work. We laughed together. The mood was infinitely better than it was just a few moments ago. We spent the rest of the night talking through the details of the plan, including what we do if the unexpected happened. Well, then you expected it, no? If you already planned for it, that's that's considered expecting it. One thing was for sure, though. We weren't giving up on getting out of here. It all ends tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. We're almost, we're almost fucking done. Progress is being made. What do you know, Daddy? You actually made it to the last one-on-one -on -one date. Water's finite and will run out? Yeah. Don't worry, they'll start, uh... The, the water wars. It's gonna be a thing, I'm telling you, bro. Unironically, probably, though. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Honestly, pretty good. I'm excited to see how a day with Allie will be. Oh, you've got a real surprise in store. She has all of us in the crew working extra hard to prepare a special date for you. And by all of us in the crew, I mean the Brothers Five. How about you go find her, spend some time together while we set things up for you. Sounds like a plan, Cap. Let's see. Oh, looks like she's by the beach. Guess that's where I'm headed. Don't do anything we can't air. Murder's okay, but God forbid someone takes their top off. Facts. I waved a cat as I went on my way. 
Just as Kat said, Allie was by the beach. She was looking out at the ocean. Morning, Allie. Daddy, it's always nice to see you. The difference between Allie's voice during the day and night was like day and night. Okay. I guess we do have to worry about the cameras, but still, it takes some getting used to. Ice beam and brine? That's bitchin'. I know it's gonna be tough to top your previous dates with all the other girls, but I think I have a good shot, like I said. Just top me instead. I'm looking forward to it, Allie. You better be. I'm so we're saving the best for last. She reached for my hand. Walk with me? Just you. Yep, just you. Maybe you should have tried a great ball. <laughs> I reached for her outstretched hand. It'd be my pleasure. The two of us walked around the beach for a while, getting to know each other. So what will you be doing when this show's over? First thing I'm gonna do is say hey to my family again and make them a nice dinner. Really, Marcy? I think you have pretty great balls. I'm sure that they've gone sick with worry in the week since I've been gone. I wonder what they're thinking now. It's been at least two years since then. Cat was right. Sometimes not remembering is a blessing. Ellie doesn't have that luxury. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Come on. She pulled me along by the hand into the forest. I have to say, Ellie's really impressed me. Of course, it was in her deliberate plan to come to the forest and get up uh, and get to the hangar, but she made it seem so spontaneous. You're going. To, yeah, honestly, dude, just stick with Pokeballs because. The RNG's bullshit anyway. You're gonna love... Uh-oh. It. I saw it the same moment she did. It was all we could do was just stand and watch. No. She staggered and almost fell. And who could blame her? The hangar was engulfed in roaring flames. Mother fucker. <laughs> Night, Mako. The heat was incredible. There was no way either of us could take another step towards the hangar without being burned alive. The stench of burning oil assaulted me without mercy. We were at a loss for words. And in front of those flames was her, walking away from the flames. Somehow I just know it was her. Sorry, Allie, Daddy. There's been a small change of plans. I'm sure you can tell, but we've hit a few snags with the hangar. How about you two spend your day on the ground instead? I want to scream. I want to attack her with every bone in my body. I... Fuck it. Yeah, this bitch is going down. Are you kidding? As soon as I took one step towards her, I could feel a hand pulling me back. It's Allie. One look from her says everything. You can't do this. And she's right. I can't afford to put everyone in danger. To hold myself back from giving away that this plane meant to me took all the strength that I had. I need to calm down. Cat might be able to read my face and see that... Sounds fine to me, Cat. I'm just glad you're safe. What happened? We're still looking into it. Well, either way, there's nothing we can do about that. How about we go somewhere else, Daddy? She reached for my hand and held it tight. How could she smile like this at me? Of course, Allie. Son of a bitch. For the rest of the day, Allie and I put on the performance of a lifetime. Though our faces were all smiles and laughter, we knew, now more than ever, that we were trapped in Cat's macabre... I hate saying that word, it's so hard to pronounce. Puppet show. And Cat loved to make us dance. She looks fucking crazy in this close-up. She's, she's kind of spooky here. She must have known we were trying to escape, but how? Did we make a mistake? Did Four give us away? Should we have ever trusted him in the first place? I know, she was just like, oops, I fucking burned down the hangar. What are you going to do about it, pussy? Fight me. Who can I trust now? Time is ticking and the end of the show looms closer and closer. <laughs> She's like, cope, seethe, and mauled. I burned down the hangar. Fucking ratio. <laughs> it's time I'm supposed to meet with the group, but what would we even do? There's no way we can escape and our last chance died with the hangar. Should I just make a break for it? No, I'd never make it, and the others would suffer for my mistake. What do I do? You don't look so good, Daddy. What do you want? What do you want, Cat? Not in a great mood right now. Can we talk later? 
<laughs> You're not much for acting, are you, Daddy? Look, I already know about you and your plan to escape. My blood ran cold. You know, take the plane, fly away from here. It wasn't hard to figure out. I tried to say something in my defense, but my voice wouldn't come out. It was all I could do to on oh, that. It was all I could do to stand wide-eyed. I know you and the others found the lab, got your memories back. Well, at least the others did. And I know that every night you all work together to try to find a way out. I mean, of course I'd know. I'm the reason why you got this far. What do you mean? Just follow me. You'll save all of us time. We walked to the locked room near the games room. She took out her master key and span it around. Spun. <laughs> you never really thought a bunny could take my key from me, right? Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. She opened the door. The others were inside, looking as surprised as I was. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, Cat. How about two? First, your inside man was never four. It was me. I mean, come on, he wouldn't be smart enough for something like this. Second, you only ever had a choice in escaping this island because of me. Newsflash, Alley, those tanks never just bug out. You're the one who let me out of my tank. The one and only. Allie was at a loss for words, and I was no different. Yeah, me too, bro. Fuck. What do you want, Cat? Honestly, the same thing as you guys. I want off this crazy train. I want out. I want you guys to include me in your little escape plan. Does this mean I could finally romance Cat because we're leaving? Fuck yes. What? Do I have something on my face? As hard as it is to believe, the list of people who want to stay on this island is pretty short. Oh, bitch, I have my memories back. You shot me. Hell no, we can't trust you. I'm not sure how, but I remember. I remember I tried to escape with you before. I trusted you. I even fell for you. Even five girls isn't un enough. Un unbelievable. Then you betrayed me and shot me. Okay, cool. So we're on the same page. There's no way we could ever trust you. You're just going to stab us in the back. Is that true, Cat? I'm ashamed to say it is. But I didn't have a choice. You know how it is with Damien. It doesn't matter if you share the same blood. He'll take the people you love hostage and use them to force you to dance to his tune. I'm sorry I betrayed you, Danny. I really am. But I had to do it again, and do it again in a heartbeat, because there was someone I needed to save. I know I must look like the villain to you, but believe me, I have people uh, I have people I care about too. You're, if you're so compassionate, how come you burned up our only way out of here? I know, the fucking audacity of this bitch. You're lucky I did, Daddy. If you'd actually flown as planned, you'd all be at the bottom of the ocean right now. What do you mean? It's a cruel trick of Damien's. He knew there was a chance that people on this show would recover their memories and try to escape. So he made us build the hangar, and the plane. It's the one place anyone trying to escape would go. Exactly. I've told you that in the past, Allie. Never fly that plane or take the boat out of sight of this island. If you did, you'd have blown up like fireworks. That Allie and I were in the plane, which was a little more than a flying death trap, sent a chill down my spine. Look, the simple reality is you need me to escape. Without me, you won't even make it past the barrier. What barrier? Exactly. And though I hate it, I need you guys to help me and my... Us. Escape. You're what? This is the second time you've made this slip up, cat. You're gonna have to start talking. She reached her hand towards me for a handshake. Allies? Let's discuss first. Cat leaned against the wall while the rest of us debated what to do. Can we really trust her? Oh, sorry. Can we really trust her? This might just be another trap. It's not like I'd be the first fire to... Uh, let me like the first fire you fall into, Daddy. This bitch says stuff so weird. This game... And then again, this game might have been translated to English. You're right. That said, it's not like we have much to lose at this point. Even if she'd done terrible things to us in the past, we still need her to escape. You alright, Allie? 
I'm fine. I'm just angry at myself. Hey, don't beat yourself up about it. We're still alive. That's what counts. She's right, you know. <laughs> I want to choke her too, but in a different way. I'm not sure how I'm feeling right now either, but we're alive. That counts for something. You're right, Daddy. As much as I hate to say it, I think we'll need Cat's help, trustworthy or not, if we want to stay that way. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on her. That's fair. Fair is fair. She did shoot me. Can't forget that. Being shot, not poggers. But we'll need to keep an eye on her. Yeah, like, keep her around, but keep an eye on her. No, no. You see, some, some, uh, some people like being choked for pleasure, you see. <laughs> I couldn't see it better myself. And that I did Yui's voice by accident. Alright, Cat, if you want our help, you're gonna need to answer a few questions. Ask away. What the hell is this sick show for? And why have you been forcing us to repeat it over and over? As someone from the Resistance, it should be obvious to you. This is just one of hundreds of killing shows we air. Shows that keep people scared, that keep people from organizing against the government. Oh no. You want to paralyze people with fear? You broadcast exactly what will happen if you rise up. You're monsters, you know that? I don't disagree with you, but we're not in charge here. Some of us still have family to lose, Allie. Continue. Before we air each show, we test them internally on test audiences to see what kind of ratings they bring for the fortunate and what kind of despair they bring for the less fortunate. Mr. H. <laughs> if they tested well enough, we'd air it. But it wasn't efficient. But what we couldn't but we couldn't just film a killing show over and over again to see which version of it rated best. You can't bring people back from the dead. It was the same for the test audiences. You couldn't just make them watch multiple versions of a show as they'd remember the previous versions that would influence their opinions. There was no way to test multiple versions of a show without losing the feeling that lives were really in danger. But my... the memory rewriter should have changed that. It did. We were able to reuse everybody, our volunteer actors, the test audiences, since we could just make people forget what happened, we could film run after run of the show, where each was as different, or er, where each was as it were the first time for all of you. And that's exactly what we've been doing here for the last two years. It was a lot to hear. I had a feeling, but to know that people looked at us like we were nothing but lab rats, well, I genuinely was afraid for my life. It's sickening. We were silent for a while. If you've been testing the show this long, when's the real thing? There is no real thing. It's only what version tests the best. That said, there's only so much time Damien is willing to spend on this show, and that time is almost up. This is the last run of the show. If you don't escape before the end, you're all as good as dead. I knew Damien, I know Damien, and I've said that we'd let you and your chosen partner go if you achieve good enough ratings, but... It's a lie, isn't it? Yeah. No fucking shit. It's always a lie. It's always a lie! They never let you go! I'm sorry I've waited this long to try to help you guys. I've been too scared to risk it all, but I've nothing left to lose now. I could just send me Sage. She extended her hand to me for a handshake. Allies, at least till we're out of here. I don't really have a choice this time either, huh? If you wanted to, you could report us right now. That's true, and my word would count for more than all of yours. But that wouldn't save the person I need to. Like it or not, we have to work together. Then it's a deal. Allie shook Cat's hand. We're, we're, we're almost through this shit. We're almost out of here. Cat, are you sure you don't want to... I'm fine, Scarlet. It's not important anymore and we don't have any time to waste. If you say so. Anyway... 
The only time we can escape is the last day of the show, between midnight and just before the sun goes up. That's when the boat comes to welcome the newly engaged couple and the only way off this island alive. It also doubles as a supply ship. We use it to replenish between each run of the show. Are there no other planes on the island? A boat would be far slower. Unfortunately, it's not so easy. There's a protective shell around the island which performs two functions. First, it renders us invisible to satellite. It's the reason why your people couldn't find us, Ali. Second, if anything bigger than a human being tries to get in or outside the barrier, it'll get fried, unless it's co emitting a compatible IFF signal. The only way off the island that will have that signal is the boat. I'm betting it'll be heavily guarded. Well, yes, but not from people on it. The ship itself will be run by a skeleton crew. It's the staff on the island who will have to watch out for. That still leaves the question of how we'll deal with them. Last I checked, there's hundreds of them and not even ten of us. Actually, it might not be so hard after all. I've got a plan that just might work. They'll have to admit, it's a little crazy. I like the sound of that. If it involves zombies again, I'm out. You explained her plan to us with a renewed confidence that could inspire anyone to believe. Luckily, we still have tomorrow, so we have just the amount of time we need. This just might work, Yui. You're a mad genius. It's crazier than anything I had imagined, and crazy enough to work. Let's get to work. Wait, were we even listening to the same plan? I didn't get to hear the plan at all! The others went their separate ways, so prepare for Violet's plan. But Cat State, our business wasn't finished just yet. We're finally gonna fuck. Oh my god. She has she always has a mic in her ear, that's like literally part of her character design. I don't know if it's relevant or not, you know? But could be an it could be an issue. But Cat State, our business wasn't finished just yet. What's up? What's your game? I wanna know. I wanna know. I want to trust you, Cat. I really do. But you're up to something, aren't you? You, Just like every other time I trusted you. I can't blame you for feeling that way. And I can't take back what I've done before. The only thing I could say to try to make you trust me is that we both have people we care about, Danny. And that if you don't escape, then the person I care about will go down with you. I'm not asking for you to put your neck out for me. You'll never have to. I'm asking for you to help somebody that you've never met, and you never will. Somebody innocent. It's strange. This woman has put me through hell, treated me like a lab rat and more, and yet, somehow, I think she's telling the truth. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you do, trust me. You'll see tomorrow that I'm going along with Violet's plan either way. I'll trust you, Cat. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> I have no Marcy. I have no idea what this bitch is up to. Okay, she she shot me. What does psychology say about shooting me? Because <laughs> I think it's bad. I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. Don't be. I literally shot you. I think that earns you the right to be angry and more, no? We've, uh, well, I've gotten to know you over the past, over these past years. Not for more than a couple weeks straight, but I got to know you. And I think you're rude and manipulative and have no problem lying to my face. Hey, can we skip to the part where we compliment me? You're also incredibly crass, you keep secrets from everybody, and you finished. But I don't think you're a bad person. Every time the show ran, you always talked to me to make me feel like I wasn't alone. And you made sure I never lost hope. You know that I was... you. I know that was never part of the job. You didn't have to do that. Yet you did, over and over. It must have been so tiring to do that over and over, full well knowing that we were doomed. 
I don't know why you're doing all this, but I believe that you do care about helping people. I'm flattered. But you've got me wrong. What do you mean? Everything I've ever done for you, the others, it's been for my own selfish reasons. It just happens to line up nicely. Though I appreciate the compliment. Unlike before, I couldn't tell if she was telling the truth. I, I still don't fucking trust her, but I still don't care as long as I can smash. We went our separate ways shortly after. I kept the rest I spent the rest of the night helping the others with preparing for the plan. I was exhausted when I went back to my room, but I still couldn't fall asleep for several hours. <laughs> well, it was on the beach, Marcy. What if she got sand in her eyes? You don't know that. It's as if something's on the very tip of my tongue, but I barely can't grasp it, yet somehow I know I'm closer than I've ever been. You failed to consider that she may have had sand in her eyes. Also, not everyone wants to kill people. I guess she didn't kill me, she just, like, shot me. That's, that's worth something, she didn't shoot me in the head. Kat was true to her word. Instead of having another date on the sixth day of the show, she planned a huge party for the staff and said, A thank you for all your hard work party. As soon as she told her staff that Violet would be cooking for the event, all of them dropped everything and helped prepare for it. Well, the staff prepared the party grounds during the day, each of us were hard at work, making sure the other parts of it went well. Oh, Shada, just so you know, with those points, you're able to do um, this. There's little games that are kind of built into that. A little slot machine will come out and you could fucking gamble to make more. Pretty fun. Violet cooked mountains of food as if her life depended on it. In truth, it did. Yui was playing games with the staff outside. It didn't take long for her to become a fast favorite for them. I'm pretty sure half the staff were playing the games just so they could get her to notice them. And she knew it. I have to admit, I'm really impressed by Yui. Her plan was really coming together. Nice, Marcy. Tara and Scarlet joined forces to make sure all the staff joined the festivities. Tara used Kat's producer room to find any stragglers who hadn't joined the festivities. As Tara found them one by one, Scarlet turned on the charm and made sure that they came with her to the party. Yeah, Scarlet's got a lot of fucking charm, alright. Then when it was time for Scarlet to switch to her other mission, Allie took over, though I'm sure she employed more force than charm. Meanwhile, I ran around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to make sure every part of our plan was going smoothly. And for once, it did. A few hours later, we had every staff member on the island partying their lights out. Everybody's here. You bet. You should have seen the ones that tried to run. I made sure everyone who came stayed too. Perfect. Everybody's eaten. As they should have. It is fine food. It looks like it's all gone according to plan. I'm just gonna go ahead and get to the fun part. Scarlet pulled out a remote from her pocket and pressed a button on it. A few seconds later, fireworks were shooting into the night sky above the party grounds. Cheers to the staff were like thunder. I thought she was gonna blow up the building. I'm not gonna lie. Like part of me did think that. I just thought we were going to do a little bit of casual fucking terrorism. <laughs> and with that, the plan is going as smoothly as it can be. Great job, team. We owe you one, Yui. Right back at you, Allie. We cheered as firework after firework lit up the night sky. Whoa, are fireworks supposed to be this bright? Come to think of it, these fireworks are practically blinding. That's right, folks, because we are raining red phosphorus on the staff, they are going to die. I have to say, I did a pretty good job with these fireworks. Though there might be some side effects to watching them from so close. Hmm. Let's worry about that later. The fireworks were the signal to those trying to escape that there was nothing left to do except wait. It's going to be a long night. I know what we said before, but it'd be such a shame to spend tonight just worrying about what may happen tomorrow. We might live, we might die, the same as any other day. How about instead we just dance the night away? 
You know what? That sounds great. That sounds lovely. Let's do it. Come on, let's dance like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Same, Tara. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly with you, gamer. Don't be like that, Tara. It'd be good for us to blow off some steam. Dancing sounds like exercise, and exercise... Allie picked up Tara over her shoulder, and away we go. Violet, Tara, and Allie are best girls. I Honestly, everyone but Yui has a lot of uh, good qualities. Scarlet grabbed my hand and pulled me with her to where people were dancing. The others followed close behind. They sure are carefree, huh? Some things never change. Maybe we'll get out of here tomorrow. Maybe we won't. I hope we do, though. I like to think that one day we'll look back and remember this day. It was the most fun night I've ever had. Out of the nights I can remember. Sorry to hiccup. You can't turn off <laughs> all caps. Uh, good luck. Uh, ooh, don't turn off all caps. Just hold shift when you're typing lowercase letters. Just, just, just opposite shift. We live like there was no tomorrow. And now we'll find out if there's a tomorrow for us. See, I'm helping. We waited in the darkness for hours, waiting for the boat to come. The plan was simple, yet had no room for error. First, we need to make sure the boat really is coming. It's later than usual. You think they're onto us? No, it'll just be a little longer. It's cold. Shut up. There's no point in worrying at this point. If they're onto us now, we're already dead. And all we can do is wait. We waited for an hour more, then another, and then another. We were losing hope. I guess we're... It's here. Cat pointed towards the ocean. We all looked in unison. Just as she said, the boat was coming. It looked huge despite how far it was. It must be massive from up close. Alright, it's only going to be a few minutes before it reaches the shore. Let's book it back to the mansion. Second, we need to get back to the mansion before the boat reaches the shore. From what Kat told us, the staff will physically inspect the mansion to make sure we're there. We can't rely on overriding the feeds. If we're not there, they'll sound the alarm and our chance of escaping will go from slim to nil. According to Kat, it's how I got caught last time. Makes sense. Like, they look before the boat arrives to make sure that, like, everyone is indoors and not trying to get out. Too easy. We made it back to the mansion and rushed to our respective rooms. I turned off the light and then jumped onto the bed and pretended to be asleep. A few moments later, I heard the sound of somebody opening a door. It must be them. There was a mechanical rhythm to it. Footsteps, a door would open, more footsteps, a short pause, footsteps again, a door would close, repeat. Over and over, closer and closer, till it got to my room. I tried my best to make my breathing sound natural. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, footsteps. A second later, my door opens. I can tell there's probably about five people. Breathe in, they're walking closer to me. Breathe out. I could tell two of them are in front of me. They're muttering something under their breath. You have to pity her. Come on, she could do better. Rude. Breathe in. Hey, something's wrong. It feels like my heart stopped. Breathe out. They're moving closer to me, step by step. What's that? Breathe in. I think it takes everything I have to not move when every nerve in my body screams to run. This is it. They're on to me. I can't help but ball up the fist in my hand. I... Never mind. We're done for the night. Let's head out. Sounds good to me. I heard them walk further away from me than outside the room. I, that feels like bait. That feels like bait. That feels like bait. I'm, I think I'm getting baited. Finally, they closed the door. I breathed out like never before. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Oops, I didn't mean to buy an Ultra Ball. Or whatever. I'll save it for later. Read out like never before. On to the next part of the plan. 
We regrouped downstairs. It wasn't so difficult, was it? Like taking candy from a baby. Wait, where's Tara? I'll go check on her. As if on cue, Tara came running down the stairs. I'm good, don't worry about it. Why is Tara late? Why is Tara late? What was Tara doing? Terrible things, maybe? And I definitely didn't fall asleep just now. Tara? What are you doing? I didn't buy it, and the rest of us didn't either. Yeah, I'm not... I'm. This is not... Not cool. Tara's, Tara's on to something. Alright, back to the problem at hand. We may have avoided detection for now, but there's going to be an upwards of a hundred guards on patrol between here and the boat. There's little no chance we can all make it there without being seen, but it's a chance we'll have to take. If you Naruto run, you can go faster than their bullets, so you should try that. Actually, we have just the thing for that. Oh, thank God that's not all for me, Marcy, because I don't feel like reading even more. Yeah, also, this game is, like, it's set place in, like, a fucking not real place in some very weird scenarios, so I don't know that applying real-life logic always works. Courtesy of Scarlet and I. What's that? Well, we went through all the trouble of preparing such a big party for all the staff. It would be a shame if we didn't give them a little extra to chew on, no? You didn't. Oh, she did. It was like an absurd scene from an art house movie gone mad. Did she kill them? Nope. Oh no, she made them into zombies. There's there's zombies again. Hundreds of zombies littered the field. We turned them all into zombies in order to escape. That's brilliant. You know, I can't believe we ever let you make shit, Scarlet. You better be glad that you did. Now that I think about it, couldn't we have just put a sleeping agent or something like that in? Where's the fun in that? Well, we still have to go past them to get to the boat, right? Don't worry about it. I've got a fair share of experience in taking down zombies. Oh, did she bring her minigun? <laughs> Something about that rubs me the wrong way. Please bring your minigun, Scarlet. Don't worry about it. Let's be on our way. You managed to sneak out of the mansion without so much of a fuss. And as soon as we got into the forest, it was smooth sailing. There were just a few zombies in there. To be honest, I how much Scarlet enjoyed herself taking them down was more concerning. I'll worry about that when we got off this island. For now, I'll focus on getting out of here. A few moments later, we made it to the beach. The boat was clear in sight. More. Yeah, Twitch, has, Twitch probably cut off the message. Wow, it's huge. Uh, it's supposed to be my voice. Wow, it's huge. Let's not waste any time. We rushed onto the ship and ran straight for the captain's deck. Yeah, I cut you off, Marcy. You guys just wait here. It's practically guaranteed that the engine's been tampered with and I need to fix it. If I know my father, he'll do, he'll do it just the way it was last time. You know what? Daddy, come with me just in case. Maybe that's where the crew members are. Lead the way. It's a nice boat. It was pitch black inside. Cat had to shine a light to see anything. Strange, where are they? Well, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Found it! Chalk it up to my dad outsourcing everything to the grunts. This is child's play to me now. Cat got to work fixing the engine. Watch my back. We still don't know if we're in the clear, and this is gonna take a minute. Got it. I turned around and kept a lookout. It was almost impossible to see anything, though. Since when were you a mechanic? Honestly, since my first failed escape. I had to teach myself. There isn't exactly a trade school on this island. If I hadn't, I'd never be able to help anybody escape this island. I'm sorry I didn't trust you before, Kat. I get it now, why you did what you had to do. Keep talking like that and you'll raise a death flag for the both of us, jeez. We could talk more later if you'd like. In the meantime, this boat is fixed. Nice. Let's tell the others and get the hell out of here. We ran back to the others and told them the good news. At the same time, Cat revved up the engine of the boat. We were good to go. 
We literally jumped for joy as the boat started to move. We got hit by a fucking predator missile. <laughs> we, gosh, I can't believe it. We're really doing this. AC 130 above! Not getting out of here. We're finally getting out of here! When is Damien showing up? Damien's calling in an AC 130. That's. That's what's happening. <laughs> it is hard to believe, but it is true. We did it. Now, now, you don't have to thank me all at once. We really did it. Thank you, Cat. You really saved us. You did it! We wouldn't be able to get to this point if it weren't for you! There's no need to thank me. I actually should apologize that I didn't do any of this sooner. I... Um... <laughs> We're not out of here. We're not. We're not. We're not. The intercom rang out. Cat turned white as a sheet when we heard the voice that was all too familiar. No. Damn it. <laughs> Damien. Damien is showing up now. <laughs> That's what happened, Marcy. Ding, ding, ding. I guess you learned at least something in school, Cat. Not enough, clearly, but hey, it's something. That's gotta win a participation ribbon somewhere. You knew what I was planning. Of course I did, dearie. I made you. I know exactly how you think. And I have to thank you. Your mother would be proud at the show you've given us these past two years. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to tell you? While you were busy filming, Daddy and those other bitches, my team was filming your brave attempts to save these idiots. Gives the audience a little more reason for why they should stay in line, you know? After all, if I do this to my own daughter, imagine what I'd do to someone who wasn't. You're a monster. Flattery will get you nowhere, Kit Kat. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter now. Do whatever the hell you want. We're getting out of here. We fixed the boat and there's nothing you could do to stop us now. We're getting out of here. Saying garbage like that's just playing with fire, love. The earth started to shake. Even though we were on the boat, I could tell the island was rumbling. In the distance, a metal barrier slowly rose out of the ocean all around the island. It climbed higher and higher till it cast a shadow over the boat. Higher and higher till the only daylight we could see was just from a circle above us. We were trapped. How about we play a game, little rats? Damien spoke down to us from some type of holographic screen on the walls. He gestured to some kind of machine behind him in what looked like a strange kind of stadium. I've got myself a little switch here that controls the barrier. One push of this, and you'd be free to go. It'd be easy for you to waltz on in and flip it. You've gotten rid of all our security. But this switch is only going to work if you have two people's handprints with producer level clearance. Sure, you've got a cat, but you'll never be able to get mine. He pulled out the same gun I'd been shot with before. Though don't let that stop you from trying. The hologram disappeared with a click, leaving us in an uneasy silence. Our hands are tied. We've got no choice but to go back. Hello? He's got a gun! He'd take us all down before we even have a chance to grab him. We've got no choice, though. If we wait here, it's only a matter of time before they could send people after us. I guess we have to head back to the beach! Let's turn this around. We've got an ass to kick. No, that's exactly what Damien wants you to do. The turning around part or the ass kicking? I'll leave that to your imagination. Damien has a script that he wants to see play out. People try to revolt, fail, and get killed. I guarantee you that if we do just that, he has a plan for it. He'll find some kind of way to turn us against each other, and then none of us will be making it out of here alive. Even so, we can't just stay here and wait until we're out of time. Daddy and I will go flip the switch. Besides, we're the only two people here could, who can do anything about it. What do you mean by that? I thought only you and Damien. I'll explain on the way. There's no time. Daddy, are you ready to run? I won't allow it. There's no way we're letting Daddy go back there without us. You said it, sister. Fucking, I hate that I said that. I'm not letting you all lose your one chance of getting out of here. Scarlet, please, you know exactly what Damien's capable of. I don't like this, cat. I know. Let them go. 
believe me, I hate this. I hate this to my core, but Cat's right. I mean, my name was the password too, so like, what's going on? Cat didn't waste a moment. She reached for my hand. Okay, no, hold on, because fucking Cat said that she had someone else that she was trying to get out of here. Is that me? Oh, dude, if Scarlet's Cat's girlfriend, that is the literal hottest pairing possible. I am so here for that shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> but yeah, they, they do speak to each other now with like a degree of familiarity. Cat didn't waste a moment. She reached for my hand. Before I knew what I was doing, we ran off the boat together and back to the mansion as fast as we could. I was running on pure instinct, like my body had done this before countless times. I looked back to the boat just once, but I couldn't help but linger for a moment. I could tell from their faces that they wanted to be running with me, not waiting for us to come back. I'm gonna make Damien pay for making them suffer like this. We went back to running. I followed Kat's lead. It's earlier than I planned, but there's no time like the present for exposition about your past. It would be good to know why I'm running with you. Would I happen to be resistant to bullets? We'll find out if we are together. Though if you look at your history, I'd say no. Hey, I survived the time you shot me. I'm pretty resistant. Touche. Before you came onto this show, finally, fucking Christ. You were a producer, just like me. We, we used to work together. We were partners. In more ways than one, though. That was forever ago. Fuck yes, I was smashing cat, that's awesome. Living and working on this island was the only life I'd ever known. It sounds awful, but I didn't have a problem with running these shows. There was nothing different to compare it with. But then I met you. I've got no idea what would bring someone like you to this island, but you. Meeting you changed me. She smiled like I'd never seen before. You made me see that there was a world out there that was beautiful. You made me hope that I could be a part of that world one day. And you helped me realize that we needed to shut this place down if we ever, if we wanted there to be a world out there at all. For years, we worked together to free as many people as we could from these death trap shows. We'd ship them away to safety, fake their deaths and everything. And we did just that for a time. Then Damien started to suspect something was up. Each day he got closer and closer to figuring out until I knew we couldn't stay any longer. But it was too late by then. Damien caught us. You mean you betrayed me? I can't remember much, but I remember you and I. We were together. And then you sold me out right when we were trying to escape? Why? It's like I said before. I didn't have a choice. And I still don't. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore, and I don't expect you would. But we need each other's help to get off this island now. Since both of us are technically still producers, we can activate the switch if we work together. We don't even have to take Damien down, though I doubt he'd let us use it that easily. Can you trust me enough for that? Honestly, I don't know. Part of me wants to trust Cat, the same part that unconsciously remembers that I did for years and years. But how can I forget that betrayal, even if she had her reasons? Sure. I'll keep an eye on her. When we got back to the mansion, Cat made a beeline for the lab. What happened to the zombies, by the way? I ran with her as fast as I could. Our footsteps on the winding metal staircase echoed like a thundering drum. You're about to see the real reason why the show is on this island. Kat took out her master key and slid it into a hidden socket in the wall behind one of the tanks. Don't say I didn't warn you. The same wall split into two doors, slowly revealing another hidden staircase. You think you guys could get an elevator instead? I said the same thing. As soon as I took one step down the staircase, I could tell something was different. Something was telling me that I shouldn't go down there. Come on, we don't have time to waste. I've got nothing to lose. With each step down, it grew darker and darker. Eventually, I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> then, light blinding light and applause welcome welcome you finally made it oh my god are we in maze runner 
Damien's face was plastered over countless screens in a stadium that could fill tens of thousands of people. Countless cameras littered the seats, all focused on center stage, a battleground sprawling with maze-like walls and shapes and sizes, and littered with guns. Thanks to the walls, we couldn't see Damien directly, but he knew he was here from one of the screens. We wouldn't have a show without you idiots, so I'm glad you actually came back. Oh man, you couldn't even bring back the others? You're no fun. You just really gotta make me work, huh? Anyway, congrats on making it this far, etc, etc. I gotta say, proud of you for making it here, daughter of mine. I'm impressed that you remembered your old haunt. Oh, oh, oh! Your old haunt from just a few seconds of video. He said the thing! He said my name! <laughs> no thanks to you, you dirtbag. Is that any way to thank someone who gives you room and board? You gave Daddy a way nicer room than I ever got. Blame your mom for that one, kid. Anyway, how about you be a deer and explain the game we've got going on here? The switch we're looking for is somewhere here. The problem is, so is Damien. And he's, and he's got a gun, and more ammunition than he needs to kill both of us. What about the weapons on the ground? Maybe there's something we could use to level the playing field. What the fuck is this climax? It's all we can do, but the odds aren't in our favor. Most of the weapons laying around are useless. They were meant to make people lose hope that they could fight back. Most is better than all of them, at least. Well, yes and no. There's not hope to lose if they knew all of them were fake. That's Damien's MO. He'll give people trapped on his shows just enough hope for escape. And then he'll use that to trap you. Real guns among the fakes. Boats and planes when you're trapped on an island. If we're gonna make it through this, you can't fall for his game, understand? Loud and clear. Then let's go. There's no time to waste. We ran from wall to wall, taking cover between each time. Whenever we had the chance, we'd pick up what looked like a gun and see if it was real. We only had seconds to check for each one. Damien was hot on our trail. A gunshot rang out, blowing a hole through the wall Cat and I were hiding behind. What's the matter? You're like two rats in a lab. He fired again, and shrapnel from the wall scraped my arm. Fuck. It was like my arm had been lit on fire. Daddy, you okay? I'll live, don't worry. We need to find a weapon. And we need to find the switch. We ran behind another wall, narrowly dodging another shot from Damien. It dawned on me that he wasn't even trying to hit us. He was trying to make us scared. And it was working. But why? He's reloading, come on! We dashed out from behind a wall and ran past Damien, looking desperately for the switch for any, and for any weapons we could find. I managed to pick up two pistols. Cat did the same. Damn, looks like they're fake too. How's yours looking? I took a look at the first one. Upon further inspection, it was clear as no more than a plastic toy. But the second one... Cat realized it the same second I did. It was real, with a single bullet loaded. All right, that's good, let's... Another two shots rang out, blowing a hole in the wall just next to where my head was a second ago. Fuck, how come he gets... How come he gets that fucking hand cannon? The budget's gotta go somewhere, I guess. Anyway, we've got the gun, and that's probably the only real one in the stadium. We need to find the switch now, even with a gun. We're no match for him. Sounds good to me. We ran further through the stadium, opposite the entrance, until we were square in the middle of the stadium. And there it was. The switch! You'd think they'd have hit it better. Damien's laughter echoed through the arena as he reappeared on the screens above the arena. Do you really think this motherfucker's letting you out? Congrats! You found the switch! It's a damn shame I forgot to mention something about this switch here. It won't do jack shit, even if you both have access, as long as I've got a heartbeat. And I plan on sticking around. But I'm not heartless. In fact, I think I'm a pretty decent guy for what I'm about to do. Cat looked like she had just seen a ghost. Cat Daddy. Or Cat Daddy. I like he's calling Cat Daddy. Cat Daddy. Nice. Cat Daddy. I've got an offer you can't refuse. But only one of you can claim it. At the e if either of you kills the other one, I'll let the one left standing go. We'll forget that this ever happened and call a rap on Fine Love or Die Trying. I'll even let the survivor leave the island. I can't even guarantee I'm telling the truth because this is airing live to the world right now. People bow down and get in line because I tell them the truth. 
because they know I keep my word. They wouldn't believe me for a second if I ever went back on it, you know? Not a bad deal, huh? Especially considering that if no one takes that offer, I'll just kill both of you. I'm giving you five minutes to decide and then I'm coming for you. The screen shut off. Kat and I looked at each other and a mix of horror and fear on her face. There was no doubt that mine mirrored hers. Daddy. I can't imagine what's racing through your head right now. You probably think I'm going to betray you again, right? Well, I'm holding the gun, so if it's going one way, it's going my way. I was a loss for words. You don't have to say anything. Look, I can't blame you for doubting me. And honestly, if you just shot me right now, I'd be okay with it. Because then you'd be free to go. I know Damien will keep his word. But if there's even the slightest chance that you want me to be able to escape from here too, then I need to ask you something that I know sounds insane. What's that? I need you to give me the gun. The only real one we've got. You are not fucking getting the gun. You are not. The last time I saw you holding a gun, it was shot at me. <laughs> Look, I'm not stupid I'm not stupid enough to know, not know how that sounds. The simple reality is I've known you for so long now, and the one thing I know about you is that you're a terrible shot. Okay. Bitch. Me? I'm as good as you can get on this island. I think I'm our best bet to taking him down. But I understand completely if you're not willing to trust me. If you think I'm lying, I get it. And if you don't trust me... She closed her eyes and pressed her finger against her forehead. Then please, just make it quick. The gun in my hands had never felt so heavy. On one hand, a guarantee that I can make it out of here alive. Should I be giving her the gun? Really? Do you think so? Because... Uh... On the other, trusting Cat. Can I trust Cat after all she's done to me? Can I really believe her words when the memories that can prove her or deny them are lost to me? I've got no time. I have to choose. I... Oh! I trust the titties. I trust the titties. I trust the titties. It has never failed me before. I trust you, cat. I held out the gun to her. You do? After everything I've done? After everything you've done, yes, I still trust you. I know you've been forced to do some awful things to people that didn't deserve it. But I know there's good in you, and I believe in that good. Take it. Thank you, Danny. She took the gun from my hands and immediately shot me in the fucking face because I'm an idiot for listening to Marcy. I won't let you down. <laughs> well, if you do, it's not like I'll be around long enough to regret it. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Let's do this. We decided to seek Damien out and try to get the drop on him rather than waiting for him at the switch. My heart was practically beating out of my chest. Well, he can see us like everywhere we're at though. He's got cameras. I couldn't tell if Kat was as nervous as I was. If she was, she hit it with the same poker face she always had. We dashed to another wall for cover, look around, and repeated. How much time has passed? It feels like we've been looking for him for hours with the pressure, though I know it can't be more than a few minutes. Yeah, I, I imagine getting shot immediately. The fact that I haven't been shot yet gives me a little more faith, but you never know. As the minutes passed by, I could tell Kat was growing more and more impatient. She trained her gun to wherever she looked, her trigger finger ready to shoot our only bullet at the time. Left, right, I glanced around and looked at her and then back again. Her hands were shaking. But I'm still shooting. And I'm still getting headshots. Like, boom, headshot. <laughs> look left, look right. We've only got one shot to make it or break it. Look back to Kat. She's checking a corner ahead for us. She looks left, she looks right. It takes everything I have to stay focused. If Daddy was getting shot, you'd be timed out, maybe. Probably not, though. I don't really time people out. Unless they're being, like, actually fucking annoying. Don't think about dying. Not even the possibility. She turns to look back at me. Oh, no. Damien's walking closer and closer from behind her with his gun resting on his sh With his gun resting on his shoulder. 
He can't be more than 10 meters away. He slowly lifts the gun off from its resting position. Before I know it, I'm running towards her with everything I have. Something's making me run. Something I've forgotten. Something I'm just starting to remember. It's the two of us at the beach. I can see it now. She's shooting me again. <laughs> How many hours has it been? We made it to the ship, but it wasn't enough. The alarms were deafening. Security was going to be here any minute. And our only saving grace, our ship wouldn't start. Now imagine them. That, that's it then. I never heard Cat sound so desperate. Well, at least we tried, right? Who else can say that? She lowered her head and leaned on me. No, we're not giving up just yet. There's nothing we can do, Daddy. The engine's broken and the guards will be here any minute. We've got at least some weapons. It's not over yet. I grabbed the precious few firearms we had and split them between us. There's two of us and hundreds of them. There's no point. Not to mention, you're a terrible shot. You're right. Taking them head on would be suicide. But that's not what you'll be doing. Me? I'm just some nobody. But you, you're the big man's daughter after all. Your word means a lot to them. She was horrified. I would be too if I were in her shoes right now. No, I won't. I, I won't let you do this, Daddy. We don't have a choice. Look around. Look, I'm not happy either, but both of us dying here would be worthless. But if you live, you get a second chance to make it out of here. A second chance to see the other side. I know, but what's the point if it's not with you? You'll have to find that out yourself. They're almost here. Come on, we're running out of time. Her hands were shaking. It looked like she was going to drop her gun any second. I hate you for this, you know. I know, and I'm sorry. She slowly raised her arms and trained the gun's sights directly at me. Oh, I am getting shot again. Well, no, this is a flashback. And now we wait. Can you do me a favor? What's that? Don't shoot the face, please. I'm rather proud of it. I don't know what I'd do without my supernaturally good looks. She laughed through the tears. I would have still loved you even without them. I, I bet I've been shot by her more than twice, not gonna lie. Right back at you, Kat. She kissed me for the last time. I love you, Danny. I love you too. Sorry, but it's gonna be the face. Let me just take off the safety. Wait, I didn't sign up for this. I heard my favorite sound one last time. I could hear the guards coming now. We've only seconds left. On the bright side, I won't owe you ten bucks. Our bet? She laughed. I think it's pretty clear who won the bet. I could see the guards now. My time is up. What makes you say... You did it. Okay. You shot me in the fucking face. I'm alive? Everything hurts so bad, I almost wish I wasn't. The shock must have knocked me out cold. I coughed up blood as my vision flashed in and out rapidly, too fast to tell if I'd been fatally shot. It was all I could do to try to stay conscious. It's as you said, Father. Anyone who breaks our law must be punished. I could just barely make out her voice, but it brought comfort to me. You really do take after me. You've made your old man very, very proud. Oh, you look at that! Looks like our little hero's got some life left. You know, Daddy, you're in luck. See the whole escaping thing? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to fire you. No severance. I tried to make a witty comment back, but the only thing that came out of my mouth was coughed up blood. But you're in luck. A new opportunity's just opened up, and I think... He kicked me in the stomach and then rolled me over with his foot. You'd be the perfect fit. He laughed as he crushed my palm under his foot. You might think I'm going soft on you by not killing you outright. Oh, another gigalith. Nice. Uh, 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 where's my ultra ball? There we go. He looked down at me and then back at her. But mark my words. You both wish I had. Do whatever you want. I don't care about daddy anymore. He laughed maniacally. I never did like daddy much anyway. My vision's fading. His words turned to vapor as I could feel myself crumple into nothing. The last thing I saw was her face. She was holding the river back with everything she had. Who are you gonna fool with a poker face like that? Cat. I love you. Always have. 
Always will. I'm so sorry for what I forced you to do. Even more so, I'm so sorry that you'll be alone now. But I hope one day you'll understand. Flashback to reality. Oh, the goes rabbit. <laughs> I've almost reached Cat. I push myself to run faster and faster. Faster than I've ever ran in my life. Get yourself a starter, Crit! They're free! Cat doesn't see him, but she sees the alarm going off in my eyes. Damien points the gun at his daughter. He's preparing to take the shot. Cat starts to turn around, but there's no time. Damien's finger pulls back on the trigger. What am I doing? I see the world turn to slow motion. Why am I throwing away my life for Cat? These memories, they're mine, yet not at the same time. Who can say if I'm the same person as before who loved her so much? Who can say if these memories form a completely different me compared to what I am now? There's no time for answers. Even if I've forgotten you over and over, somehow I remember you and I know that I would do anything for you. I run past Cat and throw myself in front of her because I love her. A gunshot rings out. It's like my body struck by lightning and set aflame. He fires again and again. Undescribable pain ripples across my body as shot after shot rips through me. It's not like the movies where someone could stand after being shot over and over. The firing stops and my vision starts to fade. I could barely hear him reloading over the sound of my body screaming in agony. My knees buckle. I start to fall. As I fall, I could see Cat with her gun trained on Damien. There's no fear in her eyes. Her hands aren't shaking, but she's biting her lips so hard that I could see it bleeding. The last thing I see before the dark takes me is her finger pressing down on the trigger. Wake up, Daddy. Please, please don't die. What's happening? Am I alive? I'd never heard her sound so desperate. Please just wake up. I can't lose you again. Not again. It took everything I had to open my eyes and breathe. Cat was cradling... Cat's cradle. Nice. Cat was cradling me in her arms with tears streaming down her face. Thank God. Don't pass out again. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, Cat. I... I coughed up blood. Save your string. Did you get him? We did it. That's great. The switch? We should be able to get it now, but you're in no shape to walk. And to be honest, I'm not in the best shape either. You just shot your fucking dad. I looked up at her and felt my heart drop. You've been shot. Oh, never mind, she also got shot. We done made it, boys! Yeah, now I know what that feels like. I'm even more sorry for shooting you back then on the beach. There was nothing else you could have done, Cat. That didn't stop me from regretting it every second of these past two years. That day, I made a promise to myself. It didn't matter how many people I'd have to hurt or how much I would have to hurt. I would get you off this island alive and well, even if it was the last thing I did. Even if I had to see you fall in love with somebody else a hundred times. Even if I knew it meant I could never be with you again. I made a promise back then, and I'll keep it even if it kills me. Slowly Cat carried <laughs> slowly Cat tried to lift me off the ground and onto her back. She screamed and coughed up blood as she tried to lift me up. Stop, you're gonna get yourself killed. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. She li lifted me onto her back and took one step back towards the switch. I told myself back then, she stepped forward again, her legs were trembling, that if you weren't leaving this island alive, neither would I. Another step closer, because I love you, you know. One more step. I know you don't remember most of our time together. Her breath was getting ragged. She'd take several steps then have to pause for breath. Honestly, I'm glad you even remember bits and pieces. I'm grateful for whatever I can get. The switch is in sight. And maybe the you I fell in love with doesn't even exist anymore. We're so close to it, yet so far. But I'd like to believe it's still you, Daddy. That you're still the same Daddy I fell in love with. We are just steps away from the switch that I'm still the one you love. She laughed bitterly. It's just wishful thinking, I know. We're here. We made it, you just... She coughed up blood again. You need to put your hand on the scanner. Can you do that? Got it. I used the last of my strength to reach my hand forward. 
With every inch I drew closer to it, my vision grew darker. I pushed harder and harder with everything I had. Got it. My turn. Done. And all that's left is to pull the switch. Sorry, Daddy. I'm gonna have to put you down for a second. No problem. Cat gently rested me on the ground. Fuck, I can barely stand now. She, tr she tumbled towards the switch. She managed to catch it with her hands and she refused. Er, she used it to keep herself upright. God, I'm getting so tired I can barely read. <laughs> Here we go. Mommy Milkers. Not now, Crit. This is an emotionally charged moment. You're ruining the movie! <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. She pulled it with the last of her strength. A second later, she fell to the ground by my side. The cacophony of machinery filled the stadium. That must be the barrier opening. We did it, Daddy. I'm so sorry, Daddy. What for? I I don't think we're getting out of here after all. I can't even move. It's okay. We had a good run, you know. I guess you could say that. At least the girls will be able to get out of here. They deserve better than to die here. Woo! I think the girls are going to come back for us. Yeah. I... I love you, Daddy. Always have and always will. For these last two years, I dreamed about us starting a new life together somewhere far from here. But I guess life's not like the movies. Dreams don't come true. I wish we could have met in a different place, a different time. Maybe just maybe then, Daddy. We... Cat? Cat? Her eyes were closed. Streams of tears ran down from both of her eyes. Well, dead people can't cry, so we're good. My vision blurred even more as tears welled up in my eyes. If we could have met in a different place, a different time, I'm sure our story would have been so different. I wish we could have, Cat. I tried to move closer to her, but my body refused. It was all I could do to move my head around. I looked around in futility for some kind of miracle that would, uh, save us both. This is too sad an ending. I looked to Cat. I looked to the heavens, which had all but abandoned us. I looked behind us. And I saw what could only be described as angels. I fucking knew the other girls were coming. I tried to speak, but no words would come out. I knew my baby girls would come get me. Let's go! I must be dreaming. I must be... I... The world turned to black. Am I dead? If I keep asking myself that, it's bound to be right sooner or later. But somehow I think there's more to come in my story. And I know there's one person that I want to spend the rest of it with. I love you. Um, I have to pick. Honestly, dog? Cat. It's gotta be Cat. Cat just fucking did everything for us. Cat did absolutely everything for us just now. She was sketchy as fuck in the start, but like, it's gotta be Cat, right? It's obviously Cat. It's Cat. I should have saved scummed that and just seen what all of the Mommy all the choices get us. <sighs> I woke up in an unfamiliar room. Is the room shaking? I tried to get up. Ow, fuck. And looked down to my body. I'd been bandaged up enough to look like a mummy. I, I dude, I'm right? <laughs> if, it, if it was just like, throw all of the past fucking eight and a half hours of me reading bullshit away, I would pick Scarlet because titties. Like, I get it. But, <laughs> I'm not losing my voice over a bad plot. I want a good ending. But I'm alive. Danny, you're up! Hey, Yui. Where are we? We're on the boat! We're miles away from the island by now! That's a relief. Everyone okay? I'll let you be the judge of that. I mean, I came around on Cat, you know? Like, it, it fucking, to a degree, makes sense, most of the things that she did. Does suck that she shot me. Pretty cringe. Don't like that. But it happened. What am I gonna do, dwell on the fucking past forever? I didn't even have my memory until, like, three days ago, so, you know, why am I gonna pretend to care now? Yui ran off and then came back a few moments later. Oh, I, I forgot what voice I was using for Violet. 
You had us worried, Danny. I'm so glad to see you're all right. <laughs> you didn't make it so easy to save you either. Oh, and if you find yourself craving brains or bananas, that's entirely unrelated to how I treated you. I'm just thankful it worked. It's so good to see you safe and sound, Daddy. If you died after all we'd been through, I'd kill you. But I'm really happy that you're here for me to say that to. You did great, Daddy. The Resistance could use somebody like you. Besides, it doesn't look like you have a real job anymore, huh? I mean, it's fair to dislike Kat because you feel deceived by her, but there is, there are fucking pretty valid reasons. And ultimately, she did save a lot of people to include you. So, you know, gotta break a couple eggs. Thanks, guys. You really stuck your neck out to save Kat and I. I could never thank you enough. It's what you would do for us, Daddy. Indeed, we ran after you two just moments after you'd left. There was no point in escaping us, in escaping if it wasn't with you, Daddy. Yeah, I know Kat said not to, but hey, I didn't remember that at the time, so it's all good. We managed to sit- I love how she still has her little fucking PSP in her hands. This is the most unserious bitch in the world. We managed to save the Brothers Five, too. <laughs> I couldn't let them be stranded after, well, all that we've been through together. I'm glad to hear that. There's no way we could have escaped without them. I'm kind of- the only reason that I don't like the Damien's dead is because he was one of my favorite voices to do out of all of them, but whatever. I nervously looked around the room. Is Cat? Cat's doing well too. She's resting in the room next door. Oh, cool. Cat's alive. She didn't think you wanted to see her. I see. Thanks for letting me know, Yui. I should be thanking you. None of us would have made it off the island if it wasn't for you and Cat. It's true, despite what you may hear Tara say. I'm just saying, I have a pretty mean right hook. It's so good to see you all. I've got no idea what the world ahead has for each of us, but whatever it has in store, we'll face it together. Dude, I just... I clutched up and got a whole ass harem. A whole... I got a full set. I got a fucking royal flush. Checkmate, dumb bitch. I, I got all of them. You bet! <laughs> I'm surprised you could say that with a straight face, but yes. I wouldn't have it any other way. I could really use you as a PR person for the resistance, Danny. You've got a thing for speeches. Yeah, I'd be so fucking mad if I chose Kat and then she died, because then it's like, alright, I would have picked Scarlet if I knew she was gonna die. Or maybe Allie. Allie's got the whole fucking tomboy thing going, and honestly, I'm kind of a slut for it. Wait a minute, if everyone's here and Kat's next door, who's driving the boat? Everyone looked at Tara. And that's a series exit for Tara Bite. Her last name is Bite. Of course it was. Of course it was. Violet, though? Um... I... Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, they they all, except for Yui, have reasons that they're cool and lovable, but... I don't know. She ran off like a cartoon character. We laughed together. I'm sure there is an ending where Cat dies. I'm just, just to clarify that, I'm sure Cat dies in at least one of the endings. We laughed together. It felt like it's been so long since we could just laugh. Oh, Preserver's a pretty good appearance. A little, little, little good spawn. No fear. Just friends fooling around. Anyway, it's good to see you're okay. That said, team, we need to give Daddy some time to rest. Once again, I'm not trying to quarantine you because we didn't use a zombie virus's unique properties to save you. Thanks, Scarlet. Yeah, you totally did. And thank you, everybody, for coming to see me. Yeah, I was gonna say, Cat probably would die if I were the one that had kept the gun. Like, that's probably where that plot splits. Don't mention it. We're all in this together and all, and all that, right? 
all in this together. See you later, Daddy. All right, all right. Enough with the cheese. Get out before Daddy turns. I mean, before Daddy needs rest. Yes. So I'm a zombie also. Just, just a minor subplot is that I am also a zombie now. With that, I was alone. Whew, I thought they'd never leave. Thank God, Scarlet's gonna fucking throat my dick before I go next door to talk to Cat. I really do get the best of both worlds. Hey, Scarlet, what's up? Nothing. I, I just... She was hiding a syringe behind her back. Need to give you a shot for good luck. Right. I put my arm out forward. Well, the doctor knows best. I'm not a doctor. She injected the good luck into my arm. I just wanted to say, thanks again. <laughs> Is there a problem, Marcy? I want my life... I, my life went off the rails back at the island, even before the show. That's putting it lightly. She laughed. I know if I stayed there, I never would have been truly happy for the rest of my life. I would have never been able to approach... Oh, because you caught... Oh, no, you didn't catch the Pokemon. Nerd. Suck it. 50% <laughs> is 50%. Flip a coin. I never would have been able to help people ever again. So thank you again, Daddy. You've been out, so there's no way you'd know, but... Today's the day that would have been the last day of the show. The final ceremony where you ask one of the girls to be with you. Now, I'm not saying anyone's rushing for a proposal, but I think everyone wants to hear an answer from you. That kind of decision takes some time to think over, so I figured you'd need a little space. Thanks, Scarlet. You're right. It's my pleasure. No, cat's in the room next door. She kissed me on the cheek. Well, I'll see you later. I'll see you, Scarlet. And then I was alone in the room. It's a tough choice, but it's one I know I have to make. They're all such incredible people, except for Yui. I'd be lucky to be with any of them, except for Yui. Anyone would. I sat in silence for a time, both resting and contemplating what to do. Is it a life of excitement with Allie? A life of rediscovery with Scarlet? A life of enjoying the simple things with Redacted? A life challenging our limits with Violet? A life of freedom with Terra? And then, I just knew. I got up from the bed. I walked to the door of my room and looked for the room next to mine. There. I looked through the window and I just knew. I opened the door. Hey. Hey, Daddy. I love how she's still wearing her earpiece. <laughs> you look like hell. You don't look much better. Actually, she still looks fucking banging. Whatever. I'm surprised your face is intact. It's survived a lot now, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, the girls are hoping you'll ask one of them out today. They'll get the wrong idea if they see you here. I came here for you, Cat, and only you. You've been there for me from even before I could remember meeting you. Yui looks like she's 12, and that's why I'm completely dismissing her as an option. There's no way I could have ever gotten off this island, or anyone else could have, if it wasn't for you. And I know that there's so much we could... I know that there's so much we have to figure out, and so much we don't know in this world. Yeah, Yui, Yui's like... I get it, like, she's supposed to be, like, the girl that you, like... Like, the whole girl next door thing, like, whatever, fucking... You guys have, like, history, but, like... They didn't have to draw her, like, a fucking lolly. Like, it wasn't necessary. They could have made her, like, a hot adult-looking woman. And then maybe she would have a shot. But her personality is cardboard, so... L's all around. Might as well call her Louie. Because she's taking L's. Scarlet or Violet for you? Yeah, those are both really good choices. Uh, I... So, if it was not Cat, my choices would go... Surprisingly, still Allie for number one, immediately followed by Scarlet very closely. And then probably Tara shortly thereafter. But I want, but I know I want to face that world with you, Kat. 
Tears were streaming down her face. I didn't want to hope for it. I walked next to her and got down on one knee. I tried so hard to convince myself it would never happen because it was too painful to even hope. I don't have a ring or anything, but I'm sure I can get one later. You don't need a ring. Will you marry me? Yes. Well, no shit. What if she just said no? Also, how did I win from the jump catch game without inputting the jump? Whatever. I love you, Kat. I love you too, Danny. More than you could ever know. Wherever life takes you is where I'll go. Violet Terra, Ally Scarlet. Yeah, I I place Ally pretty high. Like the the tom the the tomboy thing really fucking works for me. Also, the head scratches. Oh, did someone drop a bomb? I didn't know. We held each other close and kissed for the first time in years. Memories flooded back with each passing moment. The day we met, our first kiss, fights in the rain, making up, the joy of just being with the person you love. The day I proposed to her, the first time, and now, today. And I'm sure there's many more to come. Here's to making new memories together, Kat. I love you. Fuck yeah, dude. Just got a vibe out with the credits for a sec. That was pretty good, actually. I, I don't do visual novels, but like... Kind of cool, honestly. I might do more of these. Maybe I'll not name myself daddy next time on account of that fucked me pretty hard.